The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives 50 If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker, Ivy House, Henley Road, Outhill, Studley, B807DU. Get making and good luck. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. You can watch us every day, 8am till 10pm on Sky, Virgin and Freesat and every day from 8am till 1pm on Freeview. Everybody, how are you? Good afternoon. It's lovely to be with you today. My name is Rebecca Redican, but you can call me Becky. It's so nice to be with you today here at Jewelry Maker on a, I've got to say, I think one of uh, kind of the most bang on trend, kind of exciting things we've had in quite some time. It is our Woven Wonders Day. A lot of you will know that I'm big into my weaving at the moment. I've been doing um, um, uh, some courses at college, etc., based around fabrics and, and weaving. And, and I just think it's something that is really, really going to inspire. And I think you're going to be learning some new techniques today that maybe you haven't tried out before but really can open up a look and a design and our guest designer who is helping us learn some of these new techniques is the wonderful glorious smiling I'll talk over the dropping Gem Hawks. Good afternoon just for once it wasn't me dropping stuff. Yeah I know all me that's bizarre. Hello lovely lass how are Hello, you? I'm okay thank you. What how are you? Been, yeah not too shabby thanks. What have we been doing? What have we been up to? Where have you been all my life? Uh, basically, coughing and breaking a rib. Yes. Uh, yeah, that was a uh, that was unfortunate to say the least. It is, but look, smiling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How is it? How is it? How is the rib? It's taped up to within an inch of its life just for the journey up and down. Brilliant. And I promise, because I know I'm not supposed to keep it taped, I'll take it off when I get home. Yes, okay, good. But it's, you, you're good to be here. I am good to be here. Thank you very much. Oh, good. And I can tell that you've been having a lot of fun making because you have made and made and made and made and made and made some more. Beautiful take a kits. Look. Stunning. Both of them are. Stunning pieces. I mean, some of these you can imagine in mobiles as wall hangings. Um, some of them just really easy to wear gemstone jewellery. And this kit is entirely genuine gemstones. Tell us how that feels, Gem. It is absolutely fantastic gems as well. Really beautiful quality, stunning tones. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous and beautiful when you're thinking about fabulous relaxed weekends during the early summer months it's absolutely bang on it really is gorgeous bang on with those color palettes yeah. and they're all genuine real deal gemstones and you can see how we've got that wonderful muted palette perfect for showing off your tan and perfect for your kind of everyday glamour pieces i just think it's an exceptional collection you've made stunning isn't it really beautiful and we're going to be learning how to create some of those pieces and many more today of course because this is the mid show and that's what we are all about here so, do you fancy a little bit of a show and tell about some of the goodies I've got coming up for you today? I have got a Labradorite coming up for you in approximately 25 minutes. Just remind me which box it was, D, sorry. The Labradorite, sorry, my love. I thought it was that one, just double checking. Um, this is one that's coming up for you literally about 25 minutes. An extremely workable example with just, well, true exuberance, really. It exudes light, it gives beauty and bounce. That is a natural strand. A true, real, natural strand I have for you here. 
I absolutely adore it. How great is that going to go with my first kit? Can I give you a little bit of a heads up about the first kit? Do you mind? Now I know it's about, I know it's about an hour away, but I'm going to give you a heads up um, with it now. I'm going to be doing one of the biggest price drops we have seen on a genuine gemstone kit in absolutely ages. I said to you at the weekend, actually, or when I was, I was last in with you, that, you know, we love getting five pounds off. We love getting six pounds off. Because remember, our prices are so competitive out there anyway. We love getting five pounds off. We love getting six, seven, eight pounds off. But when I get to give you, wait for it, over 15 pounds saving on a kit we know full well that we are in for an absolute treat and when i'm giving you over 15 pounds saving yes over 15 pounds saving and i don't mean by 10 or 20 pence when i'm giving you over 15 pounds saving on the likes of your gorgeous rose quartz which has got this beautiful glass like quality to it it's just so i clean but also aquamarine also the likes of your Morganite Hughes. I'm going to be giving you a huge discount on this absolutely exemplary kit that includes the likes of our pearl wire, which again I've not seen in ages. I'm so excited to bring that to you. Genuinely, if you've got stuff to do today, I would say to you stick around for this kit because people will be talking about this kit. They genuinely, genuinely will. Genuine gemstones galore in that first kit coming up for you very soon. But I should really dive on in because it's already seven minutes past. What am I like? Okay, I'm going to start off with. Is this a duo? Rose gold, perfect. I'm bringing to you now a really, really large um, um, design in precious metal. And this is our woven design really taken into silver. These wo woven elements of the, of the silver that have got lashings of rose gold on them. Very much the metallic color of this whole year and probably beyond. Isn't that absolutely delectable? These woven elements of glorious silver, absolutely oodles and abundance of rose gold. Rose gold is everywhere right now. Rose gold is in hair dye, it's in makeup, it's in soft furnishings, it's uh, you know in, in nail art, it is absolutely everywhere. From high street to you know high end, it is absolutely everywhere. It is the colour of the moment. I'm going to tell you that I have got this design in a gold coming up straight after. Imagine these two on a design together on a silver chain. It's going to look stunning. I've got less than 20 of these ones now available. It's £6.95 for that huge amount of silver that all kind of interlaces. It's got these wonderful delicate swirls and trims and woven detail which just fits in so nicely with some of the big trends we've got at the moment. If I show you this from the side you'll be able to see just how large that, that aperture is and how likely that is going to be able to go through so many of the chains that you already own or so many of the chains that you actually may or, um, be wishing to get your hands on. I think this is absolutely sensational in its design. Jem, so happy to see you back, says Mandy. Hi Mandy, how are you darling? It's good to be back, thank you for having me. Does it feel like you've, you've, you've kind of been away from school for a bit? It does. It feels like that kid that breaks the leg on the ski trip and then comes back three weeks after everybody else. <laughs> I know what you mean, yeah. Oh, you little love. Not that I can ski. <clears throat> I could imagine you were a great skier. I might have just blown a raspberry there. I'm very, very sorry if that's offended anybody. Very attractive no, noise, no. I'll be honest with you. Um, Leanne said, welcome back, Gem. I'm glad you remembered the tape. <laughs> Thank you, darling. It's good to be back. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, well done you. I'll let you know I've got less than 15 of these ones now available, everybody. £6.95. I've just seen if I've got a chain around. I've got a little bit of chain here. I just wanted to give you an idea of maybe, an idea if that makes sense, of how these would look together. I know that we've done this one, a design also in the silver. Um, um, I don't know if we've still got any available, but you might have one at home. Imagine doing a dual design, or actually, do you know what I might do? I might get two of the gold and have two of the gold on either side of a rose gold just that as a necklace design I think would be absolutely beautiful Most really definitely. pretty really easy to wear maybe two of the golds and um, one of the rose gold in the center I have got the gold variety coming up for you right here right now but mixed metals is big at the moment I've now got less than um, 10 of those ones available in the rose gold if everyone checks out I'd probably have about three left and um, well done on the rose gold let's get our hands on the gold now shall we let's go for gold um, here we go I've got slightly more of the gold get the hair 
hair out the way available for you today so if you did want to get two and one of the rose gold to go in the center then you can and I've been able to match that price even though this is genuine yellow gold yellow gold does demand a higher price point than you would expect for um, quite a lot of metals and um, you know even even the likes of your rose gold rose gold is going up in price though actually um just as a heads up it's supply and demand, isn't it? Yay, Gem, you're back. And I got back from the cinema in time to watch you. And that's from Tanya. Oh, bless you, Tanya. Thanks for coming back and seeing us. I hope the film was good. I hope the girls enjoyed it. Um, Tanya, what did you go and see, please? Am I allowed to say? What? Yeah, is it pirate re related? No. Is it, is it Guardians related? No. Oh. It's baby related and boss, boss related. Yay! <laughs> oh my goodness, Tanya, what was it like? I'd love to hear, because I've heard some quite good reviews about it, actually. It does look good. I love animation as well. I do. I did see the Guardians related film the other week as well. I saw that last oh, night. Last that was night. immense. It was really good, isn't it? Do you know what my friend told me? Go on. The Go lady who's blue in aforementioned film. Yes. Used to be an assistant in a very long standing British TV drama about uh, people that go around in telephone, well, police boxes. Really? She was in a... Uh, yes, she was, yeah, yeah. Karen Gillan from Doctor Who. Yes, it is, it's her. And she was also, wasn't she, the one who's in that film with Britney Spears? I did not know that either. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was that one. I'm almost positive. I was very impressed anyway. Yeah. I thought that, she did amazingly. It's nasty, isn't it? Um, anyway, <laughs> hello everyone. You've got the gold here. What have you been up to? I know a lot of young people are off. Yes. School holidays. What are you doing for your school holidays? Let us know. Who's taking you out? What you're doing? Maybe you've had your eye on a toy that you just think a little nudge, nudge, wink, wink might be handy on telly. Do feel free to let us know. <laughs> Ask the bill pays permission. But do feel free to text us in 60777. Start that text with JM Studio. Um, you said something to me then, Dion, and I completely ignored you. Thought so. Um, thank you. Coming up, alongside my style by very soon, very soon is these, are these is these. Do you know, sometimes words just come out in the wrong order. But sometimes it's a little bit difficult to know which ones it should be anyway. Yeah, no, I agree with you <laughs> on that. I do agree with you on that. Sometimes it's hard to know, isn't it? And sometimes I think there are words that sound like they should be words, but they're not. Like dove. Dove's not a word. We were talking about the past tense Dived. of sword. Saw. To saw something. Yeah. Was it sawn or was it sword? Oh answers on a postcard and what about if you saw something flying past <laughs> you, you don't say I saw that do you no. say I saw that I saw it or I have seen it or I did see it throwing up the questions that matter everyone <laughs> here at Jewelry Maker have a little look at these coming up for you just before my star by they'll go perfectly alongside it oh oh that's good oh you can't see the purples I can see hang on it's the angle. I've got, I'm not quite got the angle. Look, you can sort of see them, but I tell you what, I'm getting an abundance of these purples. Oh, that's luscious. Oh. oh. <laughs> I like that. That noise? Yeah. It's like an excitable Furby. <gasps> oh. oh, what I imagine Yoda would sound like if you tickled him behind the ear. Oh. Pete is shaking his head like Yoda would not make that noise. <sighs> Well, he wouldn't like it. Maybe when he was baby Yoda. Yeah, little Yoda. Yoda. Yeah. He grew up, he grew up. Anyway, um, I've got a green kyanite coming up for you as well. Plot spoiler alert. I've got some chain coming up for you now, which actually, um, if you've got a little bit of know-how about you, would be great to hang those little woven balls I've just given to you um, from. Take a look at this, it's gorgeous. The amount of silver in this is so impactful. Now let's talk silver. As I said, rose gold is up in price at the moment. Silver is also up in price at the moment. In the last 30 days and the 30 days only, the price of silver is up dramatically. We're looking at a around about a 14.19% price hike. That's just in the last 30 days. Now, if you imagine that 4.19% continuing at that rate, now obviously it probably won't, it might drop down, it may well continue to skyrocket, um, but if that does continue, even just in the next six months, which is of course when you're gonna be getting yourself ready for you know your festive presents, etc., etc. If that projectile that we're going at continued, 
you would be up at 25.14% on this price. Now that is a huge amount, isn't it? That is a massive amount. Now if it does continue at that, think about how much you're going to be spending around the festive time. And I know it's far too early to start talking about that time of year, but it is something to pay attention to and it is something to take into account. In particular, if you are going to be doing very special pieces, you want to spend a bit of time over, a bit of love over. The time itself obviously costs in essence. You don't therefore want all the products to as well. This is a big amount of silver that you've got in here, a huge amount. 18 inch chains we weren't doing three years ago, let alone with all of these added details. Every single element of silver and it's eight pounds and 95 pence. Three years ago, I wasn't bringing you necklaces at 18 inches. When I did start bringing you necklaces at 18 inches, we were minimum the 12.95 mark, weren't we? And that was often if we did a little bit of a nudge and a bit of a tweak and we knocked them down in price. We weren't doing this amount of detail, this amount of added silver on top of it but today we are and we've managed to drop that price even lower for you it's so important that we keep our eye on silver it really is literally the amount we can pay different week by week well I've just told you haven't I we're up 4.19 percent just in the last 30 days so realistically there's a load of you flying through this you're obviously loving this design and I'm not surprised at all look and imagine wearing this if you love a necklace sorry if you love a necklace that almost feels very weighty and feels really beautiful and, and, and sort of heavy but actually is still very comfortable then this is the one for you. I don't know about you but sometimes if I think heavy necklace I think really large link chain which is great but sometimes that can twist quite easily or sometimes that can catch in your hair quite easily. This isn't going to do that. It's going to be like wearing sort of metal silk almost. Um, well, if that makes sense. Um, I sawed the plank in two. <laughs> the plank was sawn in two. Yeah, that makes sense. There you go, Farrell. There's the answer for you, darling. I sawed the plank in two. Yeah, it does. Sounds like a really naff second film, doesn't it? <laughs> I sawed the plank in two. Um, anyway, um, well done to everyone who's coming in and getting this lovely to see you all today. It is a necklace by the way, it does come with your clasp. That for me is a necklace to be worn alone or of course you can add elements onto that if you so wish. I think it's just going to be glorious. I mean the detail on it is exceptional, it really is. £8.95 on that one today. So much of that precious metal giving it a really weighty and therefore um, sort of precious feel actually. I think this is a gorgeous design. Good luck to everyone who wants it. 8.95. How about I bring to you now a very high grade gemstone indeed. Um, we're talking multicolour. Um, I'm going to be talking to you a lot about colour because today my one to own is so brand new it's not in the building yet. It's a pearl and it's in my favourite colour and 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 I think it's pretty much yours as well, actually. Um, I've got for you here a big amount of colour on a strand in one of the rarest gems out there. We've had information that has given us, um, basically, as presenters, we've had a, a, a message sent around that has basically said, you need to be watching out for three gemstones at the moment. Tanzanite, Spinel and Tourmaline. Why? Price hike. Dramatic get these whilst you can if you love an exquisite gemstone in a glorious vintage rose garden colour palette and you are a bargain hunter because although we're still going to be able to do you the best prices we can it's you're going to notice a pinch in the pocket in the future if it continues to be as difficult to get your hands on as it has been the array of colours in this is astonishing. I know, Gem, that you are a fond fan of strands like this. Tell me what it is about this strand that has quite simply made you stop making what you're making and kind of just look over. I did have to stop and I did have to take it all in. You've got so many beautiful tones of different tourmalines in the strand. What I particularly like is that all of a very similar size. Yes. I adore having that kind of strand because you can pick and mix with your colours. Green tourmaline for myself is something exceptional. Um, I remember several years ago trying to source a ring 
and it was easier for me to source a Russian chromium diopside than it was a green tourmaline in this style of ring that I was looking for. Yeah. So I, I have a, a quite a fondness for it. Mm. Once I received the piece that I was looking at, it just blew me away. Yeah. The fact that there's a tiny touch of purple on the end there as well is really tickling the taste buds. Yeah. But you've got those cognac-y bronzes as well. Totally. Everything that you could want from a mixed tourmaline is, is right there for you. Every single glow. thing. I mean, it's stunning, isn't it? Every single thing you can want in a palette of tourmaline you've got here. You've got some of the most exquisite high-end colours out there. Remember, this strand is from one of the best loved producers of tourmaline in the world. This, the same producer of this, um, you know, some of the biggest jewellery brands in the world will go to. Tourmaline is extremely rare. And when you're getting it naturally in this colour sway, you have to pay big amounts. And that big amount is only going to continue. This gem isn't getting any more uh, readily available. This gem isn't getting any kind of easier to source. This gem is, is just quite simply, absolutely, as hard as you like to get. We are being outbid at auction sometimes um, um, on strands like this which means prices have gone up and they will continue to go up. If you want to get it whilst you, you can, you've affordable prices, I would say, even though they are still often quite considered, I would say buy in bulk when you can. Once this is gone, it's gone. And at £24.95, a great deal. But I'm going to make this exceptional. We are genuinely almost prepped and prepared for actually... Now, I can't say this for a fact because literally things change, don't they? Things always change. But with this colour, with this beauty, with this amount of splendour that you have, if we are purchasing this again in the future and we are paying more for it in the future, we are expecting maybe to get to the point where actually price drops are not applicable when it comes to tourmaline. Um, you know, it is one of those we've been told as presenters to keep our eye open for, we've been told to keep our kind of eye on it um, and, and to prepare basically for price hikes. I will at some point be sat here, I'm sure, bringing this to you at double, maybe even triple the price and I will still say what a great deal, but actually now, uh, you know, that we can get it below £15, make the most of it essentially, just because we have been prepared for that to change and quite dramatically. Um, well done to all of you who've got it. If you've got it in your baskets and you're thinking, mm, do I, don't I? I would just say go for it. Why? Well, because it's 30 day money back guarantee. So if you change your mind, hey, not a problem. I would also say to you that if you are considering purchasing two, why not go for it? If you purchased two and maybe one had more of the colors that you preferred on it, you could always send the other one back, couldn't you? Um, um, so it's kind of like you're getting a little bit more to choose from almost. At £14.95, when we've done you a price drop that won't last, it only stays until 8 o'clock, I would say you may as well check out. Because remember, you're not paying that extra £2.95 for post your packaging every time you check out or every time you ring us. It's a one-off payment. So if you've already bought one thing, your post your packaging is done. This is just coming your way for, for free delivery in essence because you've already paid it. Um, so well done to everyone. Get your hands on this whilst you can. And let me just show you if I may, if I pop that down, I just want to show you it next to two things because I'm saying um, Rose Garden. I'm thinking. I'm thinking Vintage Rose Garden. Give it that incredible, genuine, natural, green kyanite beauty i know i know i know i know i know it's stunning that's coming up for you very luminous very soon i've got that labradorite coming up for you as well and i think the labradorite will go sensationally well with this in particular as the size of these ones oh look at that oh that is sensational, isn't it? Mystical garden. Oh. Okay, so that's coming up very soon. I'll pop it on my tea bar. Okay, everyone. It's time to bring you an abundance of colour that just makes you smile. Let's talk about truth, shall we? Let's talk about truth and honesty. 
you can get genuine gemstones that can be truthfully beautiful but they can be created that way by man which is fine they can be created by man to give a different color than maybe mother nature intended they can be created by man to give a different optical effect than mother nature intended they can be created by man out of a few chemicals to give a look of something that mother nature does create but maybe it's a bit more affordable and a little bit more readily available for man to make it from scratch with chemicals straight away off the bat and they're all fine things to heat, to dye, to treat, to create, to make glass, to make crystal. All of that is fine. That is what is wonderful about the world that we have the opportunity to do that. But now and again, there are certain times that Mother Nature does such an optimum job at pure creativity that it purely can't be beaten and nor should it be. This is totally true. Style by. <laughs> Truth and beauty, hand in hand. I mean, there's loads and loads and loads of quotes out there and songs out there based around truth and beauty and, and love. And I think that when you have a collection like this, it's just Mother Nature showing you truth and beauty and love so profoundly, so effortlessly, and, and the fact you get to work with it is something to never be ignored. Genuine, real, case in point, Labradorite. You have an exceptional quality of truthful and honest, natural Labradorite. Labradorite can now be copied. Labradorite can now be treated. Labradorite can now be made in a lab in moments. Obviously, it's not genuine Labradorite, but it can be promoted that way and it can be said to be Labradorite-like. And they're fine. That is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But when Mother Nature offers you the purest of gifts that is this gemstone in its natural form, who will we to tamper with that beauty? And this truly is beauty, isn't it? How many times do you get that golden glow that melds into pinks and purples so effortlessly? How often do you get this quality of Labradorite, which is actually so beautiful in its quality that the facets we have created with impeccable craftsmanship give you this patchwork woven effect of Labrador essence that Mother Nature has given to us? We have obtained maximum beauty with these stones. And let me just pick another one for you, just to show you, just to show you that realistically, you know, it's not just, I'll, I'm going to pick one with a real different colour shade now, um, just to show you that it's not that, just that one that we have with its beauty and with its quality. Each and every one of these is beguiling in its own right. In fact, if you look on the either side of the one I'm holding now, you can actually see there's two just there beside them in the background that are out of focus, but still you can see the Labrador essence on them, even though they're absolutely static. That is quality. And when you have that true natural beauty in each and every one, which has only been slightly enhanced, not with any treatment, but actually with what Mother Nature has given us, then you've got something very specially framed in sterling silver that I think just brings these collaboration pieces to an absolute pinnacle point of beauty and ease and workability. If you want true exuberance, of Labrador essence and colour and beauty in its truest form, I think you've got it here framed exceptionally well. I'm going to give you a star by deal on these and I will make you aware that at £35, which is the price you should be, minus 5p, at £35 I genuinely think you've got yourself something exceptionally here. Because say, I would even just get a small piece of cord with these and with the luster of them, what cord would I go for? I'd probably go for a really nice high shine satin cord myself, um, maybe even one of the multicoloured ones just for a bit of fun. Um, 
even just with one of these with a little bit of cord literally whether you're 7 or 77 you could make something like this put a little bit of cord loop it in knot it in loop it in knot it in one of those in the center of a bracelet with a little bit of a clasp on or a macrame knot on the side if i were to see that and to be looking at selling that for even just 10 pounds each i would feel over the moon and back again to be able to own a true genuinely exquisite quality labradorite these aren't £10 each, though, at all. They're not even working out at £8 each. <laughs> Today, for you, they're working out at around £2 each. £2 for this quality, £2 for this beauty, which will not quit. It will not die out because, let's remember, this is natural. This is the true true deal, the real deal. There's a load of you didn't expect that price point. <laughs> well done, every single one of you. Don't forget, this is a true nature. So the fact is that if this were treated, if this were dyed, if this did have a coating on it, over time, it would fade. Over time, it is likely to rub off or run out. This won't. This is genuine. This is real deal, natural quality. And quite frankly, you know, the natural beauty of this is something very, 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 very hard, first off, in my opinion, to beat. But second off, to lose. That quality and that beauty, that story, that tale is here. And imagine it as well, if you will, with this Labradorite, which I've got. Those, for me, I mean, that is perfect pairing any day of the week. That for me right there with that quality is perfect pairing. Not only just for the fact of the size, I think the balance with the strand is nice, but also the fact that they're both faceted, I think works so well. Gem, I need to know what you think about these incredible connectors, please. Absolutely stunning. Oh, nice. Absolutely no. insane price. I've got to be honest with you. I wouldn't bezel set a single gemstone for 20 pounds, no. let alone 10 of them. Yeah. And they're also, because of the cut of the gemstone and the fact that uh, Labradorite is equally masculine as it is feminine, I can see one on a single faux leather strand across the wrist with macrame either side. The fact I do. So the macrame gets wider and yeah. it makes it a slightly more masculine feel. I love that idea. So you've got lots of choices. Also, a single one of those connectors with three of the beads from the strand you're holding hanging down from a chain with three or four tassels of loose empty cutoffs of chain they don't even need to match i think it looks really nice when you have one of these slightly jumbled affairs yeah. so you, you've, you've bought your chain on a reel put your little bits and pieces to one side and make your beautiful boho jewelry then love that idea and that's a huge trend this year it's huge trend this year and i'm speaking of huge trends my one to own is a bang on trend for its color and i'm going to be talking to you a lot about color and color palettes and, and how to work with color because I think that's something that really has been raised this year um, in particular with you know rose gold being massive and in particular with the color this year being greenery which actually was a little bit of a sort of unusual decision if, if you ask quite a few people and um, to be the color of the year so we'll be talking about that a lot later on but um, I think if you love color if you love truth if you love beauty of nature you've got a perfect pair in here and easy to make as well actually there was something this morning on BBC Radio 4 and I know you can actually um, go and listen back to it um, it was it was uh, on bank holiday it was um, in woman's hour um, um, they had a whole section based around a competition to do with crafts and they basically picked 12 crafters to to show their um, pieces of work at um, the V&A Museum and they were talking about lots of different crafts. There was textiles in there, jewellery in there. And there's really useful stuff on that website, actually, to do with like how to sell and promote your jewellery and, and lots of different bits and bobs like that. Um, but it's just made me think then, you know, it, that one of the main sections was to do with kind of handing down and passing down your knowledge and creativity into your community and in your family. Um, and I think strands like this are ones to captivate all ages, so what a great way to do it. Well done, everyone, on those. I will make you aware it is low stock now, and I'm going to bring you this strand right here right now your graphics are in for it 90 carats worth as you can see up there on your screen they work beautifully together i think um labradorite on a strand like this Let, let's talk for anyone who is brand new if you've never thought of making jewelry before jewelry i think is one of those things or any kind of craft actually is one of those things that you can start from a young age 
I think, and do you, Gem, think Labradorite can help with that? Definitely, because it is entrancing. I, I've never met anybody who wasn't at least interested to stop and find out what it was. Mm. If they know Labradorite, they want to see more Labradorite. They want to see what you've got personally, all the different shades and tones. You get some which is quite grey with a granular filling. You get some with the different peacock colours. It is absolutely fascinating, and for that fact, you're absolutely right. If you want to entrance somebody into your world of jewellery making, it is a perfect gemstone. And again, perfect for any gender. Definitely agree with you there, definitely. I think, you know, when I was younger, I remember buying my first piece of fool's gold and being captivated by that. Blimey, if I could have got my hands on a rough piece of Labradorite, pff, I'd have probably started my jewelry making journey years before, and I'd probably got way more into gemology and even geology. The sciences would have probably sort of sparked my imagination a bit more. Because you have to remember, this is all to do with sort of the sciences and, and Mother Nature and geology, and the way in which Mother Nature literally mm. builds this in, in all of these fibrous lines that then scatters the light. A, a bit like when you skim a stone. You know, if you go on your holidays or you buy the ocean, you get a nice smooth flat stone and you skim it across the water. If you get it at the right angle, it goes bam, 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 bam. It's a bit like that with the light inside, and that's what causes this beauty. That's what causes this interest and intrigue. And I just think it is an absolute splendor. I really, really do. It is splendor, it is beauty, and a really interesting one. I mean, just as a thought, you know, I know it's school holidays, and um, just as a thought, if you are planning on, on maybe, you know, doing something that's a little bit of a lower cost, because lots of, you know, going out all the time at this time of year can get very expensive, can't it? Um, but if you did want, you know, just an afternoon in maybe on a rainy day teaching someone how to create something really simple with an exciting gem like this and maybe almost make it into a project maybe see what they can find out about the gemstone and try and find a fun way of maybe or an experiment of explaining how that light is scattered and and you know how the colors in the spectrum work things like that will captivate and things like that could start a lifelong passion and what a fun passion to have as you fully know this is your labrador it is a star by double deal and for you right here we've done it for a star by double deal price this is your nine pounds and 95 pence everybody you have got here a stunning strand at just nine pounds and 95 pence i mean that for all of this beauty and all of that nature for me is quite simply exquisite and you know um, full well when you get these home and just imagine doing this for the first time, whether you know, you're know you six or 16 or whatever age, imagine getting this home and kind of being like, wow, I kind of don't understand how that works. And then cutting them off the strand and seeing every one, because it's all nice and well and good seeing you seeing it here when it's stranded, but you know full well that excitement when you do cut it and you actually see, wow, I didn't see that color before because it's all separate now and I didn't see it at that angle and you get that ping and that sheen because it's a slightly different cut around the outside. It is captivating. And I think this strand does it so well because of that cut, because of that nature, and actually because you're getting such a big swaying colour. It's not just a one colour palette one, is it? Absolutely correct. I'm sorry, I should have been looking at you while you were talking, but I've been looking at the little screen over here because it really does display all the things you want in Labradorite. Yeah. So please don't think I was ignoring you, but the screen <laughs> over to my side has been letting me see what you've been seeing. You're absolutely right. You've got your peacocks, you've got your gold, you've got your greens. There's hints of other tones, the warm tones yeah. in there. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. And one thing I would say is that you are genuinely getting hints of purples through here. Now, purple is notoriously a different Labrador essence um, colour and shade for you to see due to the fact that you're looking at me through number, numerous different lenses and screens. So purple is a difficult colour to see, but trust me, you're getting a lot of purple on this strand. You really, really, really are. And if you love purple which me and Jem do, um, you want to keep your eyes peeled for my one to own, quite frankly. Brand new, it's not even in the building yet. Um, we've been given a sneaky peek of it, but it's not in the building yet. It is brand new, one to own, that comes up at 3.30. Well done everyone on this Labradorite, £9.95, pence. a real nice treat there for you. Gorgeous together. How about I bring to you now, a little bit of something else very natural that has a phenomenon to it. Wow. A phenomenal phenomenon as well. Now, um, 
if you are new or you're tuning in for the first time, maybe I don't know, you, you're with your, you're with your, you know, your, your granddad or your grandma or, or, or your your cousin or, or whoever it might be, and you've never watched us before. Hi, lovely to meet you. I'm Becky. It's really nice for you to be part of the family. Ooh, I love it when a family member brings you a brew. Thanks, Sam. Um, you have got to see this gemstone if you are new, because you might not have ever seen it before. It looks magical. It looks like fairy wings or, or something sort of from a film or from your favourite book. And when you have quality like this, it's hard to ignore. But again, this is a natural effect. And wait, even on the back. Oh, blimey. Isn't that great quality? Now, this is your Rainbow Moonstone. And we haven't given it the name Rainbow Moonstone just to make it sound a bit fancy. It's not like some of those, in particular, I noticed this on the likes of shampoo adverts. You know where they essentially make up words? <laughs> Do you, you know what I mean? Like, like, oh, with this new chemical of... of Luxuriousness, hydroclyside, the shine. Do you know what I mean? They come up, don't get me wrong, that's not a specific name, but they come up with names like that, don't they? Luster boosting, summit, summit, and it, they usually end it in like, a, an, like an eight or a teen or something like that, don't they? Um, you know, hair deepening, richness, chocolatine, you know, things like that. <laughs> It's not one of those names that we've just made up. This has to go through added extra tests um, to be proven to be Rainbow Moonstone. And it has to be basically your ultimate quality. And this stuff definitely is. And you can see that. You can see that beauty. Now that is caused again by these elements of, of these fragments of feldspar. So it's a type of gem. Um, essentially, it's a family in essence. And the feldspar is so, 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 so super fine. Off the top of my head, it's 0 0.05 microns thick in general, which is a tiny bit thicker than a beam of light. Tiny bit thicker. So these are tiny microscopic rays that sh um, scatter that light and give you this magical look, and it is magical. It's even more magical when I'm not just bringing you one. Ooh, imagine a pair of earrings. Imagine a pair of earrings with these. You could do a chandelier with these easily, couldn't you? I know exactly what I'd be doing with them, but I'll tell you when you're ready. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, let's get that pricing, shall we, before um, we get a great idea of what to do with these. You ready? We're rolling them down one. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. 14 pounds and 95 pence a price for a pair of massive, big, I mean, they're huge, genuine gemstone earrings. That is astonishing. For actually a pair for you and your mate, it's even better because you're not getting two. You're getting four of these in total for 14 pounds and 95 pence. This is astonishing. And just look at the amount of, 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 of gemstone you've got in there. I mean, that is huge, isn't it? That is such a dome. Gemma, I need to know your idea. You're so naughty. There's four of them. Nah. That's amazing. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? I was going to say, when I thought there was one, buy two, please, because what I want to do is put one on either collarbone yeah. and then come out to six of the Labradorite connectors. Oh, and then love. between each of the Labradorite connectors, that beautiful faceted strand of Labradorite that we had as well, mm. have those coming across. Oh. You'd have the most amazing neck piece. I need that And then that just chain back up round behind imagine that imagine that so if i put these down and i can sort of show you ish what we're talking about use your imagination but just to show you ish because i know some people are sort of more visual learners so you do it like that and that and that and if you needed a little bit of chain between the chandelier and the connectors to make it sit right then so then, be yeah it. of course you can do that 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 and that and then have that labradorite strand going across yes but obviously in threes, in so three sections. one, two, three. Oh my goodness, that as a design, so I j'adore. Literally start with the shallowest end of the strand yeah. at the top, between yeah. the top two, oh, and then work my way in using thicker the entire strand. Thicker. Yeah, exactly. Oh, how great would that be <laughs> as a piece? And I mean, that would be one to catch the eye, wouldn't it? Oh, most definitely. definitely. And that, that would, would easily be, be a three-figure piece to sell as well. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, quite simply. Absolutely agree with you on that. Well done, all. We've dropped that price. It only lasts until 8, so make the most of it whilst you can. Free phone number at the bottom of your screen or join us at jewelrymaker.com. £14.95 for all four of them. Well done, everyone. What'd you say then, Sam? 
Oh, hey up. Are you selected or deselected? Oh, you just sound, you just sound wispy. Wispy. So, now I'm bringing to you, is it the Mukai? Oh. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Bees caps, I'm bringing to you now. How very floral. Bead caps. What are they, Jen? What on earth is a bead cap? Traditionally, you would use this uh, on the top of a gemstone in an earring, perhaps on a head pin, or you would have bead caps either side of a gemstone to kind of highlight the gem. Mm. Um, what size are these, please? You have got a size on these ones of approximately, what are they? Sounds working out now. So you can go for the same size as the bead cap. Right, yeah, yeah. And so you get these are seven mil. So s s maybe a six mil bead. Yeah. And it would look all nice and snuggled in. Mm. If you wanted to protect something, that's a really nice idea of doing it. Um, but equally, you can use these with a much bigger gemstone, Love and that. it's going to look amazing. Like those, absolutely adorable. So um, you can see, yeah, the, exactly what Gem's talking about here. Perfect, absolutely perfect. And it just snuggles around and gives it a really nice, fine, look-at-me centrepiece. Mm. But you can also, if you're very, very careful, squish them flat and use them as spacers mm. in a rosary link design or a pair of earrings, maybe. Love that idea. Especially when you've got five. Yeah. You've got plenty there to do that, haven't you? You have, yes. Um, I think it gives it quite an ornate look. I think it gives it a very sort of standout look. That's our deal of the day. Don't forget. I'll recap that for you in a little bit. Um, but but yeah, I think it, you're right. It, it, it focuses. It almost frames something. Just me. It's like you can get a canvas painting, and and you can you can frame a canvas, can't you? If you want to. Um, that's what these do. They frame it and framing in silver. I mean, well. Very Rude luxurious. Yeah. Very luxurious. So you could have perhaps on the wrist line some very, very nice diminutive white pearls. Yeah. And then in the cent in the centre even, one much larger, perhaps a peacock pearl with one of those either side. Love and that. it was just drawing attention. Love that idea. Draw attention. And we can draw your attention to these by giving you a very special deal. This is genuine silver, remember? 92.5% real silver. Not flash or plating, genuine silver, and yet still we're able to do a price like the one you're about to see. Get ready, get raring. Oh, it's going low. Oh, this is gonna hurt. It's not gonna hurt you. It's gonna put a big smile on your face. Here you go, everybody. 5,095 pence on these ones today. It's actually quite tricky to get your hands on decent quality sterling silver. Be captain in my experience in the local store I go to, um, it, you can get sort of silver plated copper ones or brass ones or whatever and but it's actually quite hard to find sterling silver, it's quite bespoke and I think when you find something a bit bespoke and a bit niche, you pay more, don't you? You pay more for things that are a bit unusual and things that are a little bit different and what I really like about these ones in particular is they've almost got this sort of um, petal-like or teardrop-like um, or sort of, um, um, it is floral when you look at it as a whole, but actually you almost pinpoint them as little hearts almost around the outside or little droplets. Um, I think it's really pretty and I like that we've gone for the texture as well. When you look at the um, sort of um, sort of central section, if you will, this kind of open section at the, at the end of it, it has got this lovely sort of woven filigree look about it, which I think makes it less harsh Sometimes with a bead cap, and it depends what you're looking for, because sometimes you do want this, but with a bead cap that is just a flat edge when you cut it off, almost imagine you've made a bead and you just slice it in half, it can be quite harsh, can't it, from sort of gem to silver. But with this, it's got that kind of filigree look, it's almost got like a little petticoat look to it, which I think is really pretty, really attractive. It does take time and effort, but we have managed it nonetheless. So well done to every single one of you. Um, good work. Five pounds and ninety-five pence, everyone. Nice work to you all. Shall we do a little bit <gasps> of something special? Now, we're going to enter the Reddick and Fiolas. Yeah, we are. Um, for this strand. And I just want to um, I just want to sort of explain to you beforehand how important this strand is. It is brand new. Never ever ever before seen. I haven't even shown it to you yet. Um, this strand is something 
from a very rare location in the planet. It used to be something that we said you couldn't mimic, you couldn't copy. Time to change, science changes, now you can. What I'm about to bring you is from a very elite location in the world, which is so, 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 so tiny. I wanted to show you a picture that I haven't shown you in quite some time. Now, I'm gonna show you a, a picture to the entrance of this mine. And I just want you to think at the moment, how many doors do you have in your home? You know, here at Ivy House, we are rolling in doors. I mean, there's almost too many doors. We've got a door there, we've got a door at the side, we've got a door at the conservatory, we've got two doors on the other side when you come in, you've got a door over that way as well, right at the very end. I mean, doors are plenty. This is one mine, that provides the entire world with this one very rare natural gemstone. And this is the grand sum of its entrance. That is it. Now you can sort of see an arm next to it. You can see that that is smaller than your average human size. Very so slightly. That is the main and only entrance and exit. Every single one of these gemstones that you're about to own has come out of that one entrance right there. This location supplies the world with this exceptional gemstone. It is your brand new Starby. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. We are searching for it right now. We are searching. Um, now, this gemstone, I, I promise you, I'm going to be able to bring to you at some point today. Um, 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 we are looking, looking, looking. I mean, there is a team of people in here right now. Sam with his hair perfectly coiffed, looking a little bit hot under the collar. And then Sam, other Sam, in her dress, sort of, I would say, pretending to be flustered, but she's, she's chilled out now. Brother Pete, aimlessly looking in boxes. Um, we're looking for it. Let me just let you know, whilst we're looking for it, that I promise you I will be able to bring this to you at some point today. It might just be brand new and therefore not with us yet. Um, um, it, it hopefully will be very, very soon. Um, but this gem, let's talk about this gem, shall we? You know exactly which gem we're talking about from that one-off, very special Anahi mine. Oh, I do, yes, I you do. You do indeed. Um, this gem, without giving too much away about it, what is it for you that is so captivating about this? It's the blending. Yeah. Absolutely the most perfect blend of sunshine and my favourite colour. Mine too. And it's going to go great with my one to own, um, which is brand spanking new. Um, this strand that I'm about to bring you, um, fingers crossed, I definitely will today, definitely will bring it to you today, I promise you that, um, is... is uh, truly exquisite and truly a very exciting gemstone. Um, I was talking about kind of the truth of Mother Nature earlier on with the Labradorite that brought you a star by. This gemstone has it. And like I say, there are lots and lots and lots of treatments and, and things that do go upon this. Now, I don't want to, I hate letting you down and I'm not really going to let you down, but I'm not actually able to bring that gemstone to you right now. I'm so sorry. We are going to put in an order for it right now and it should be with us in our next delivery, fingers crossed. So I'm so sorry, I will bring it to you today. I quite simply will. Um, um, even if I have to drive down there myself. I, I can't do that though, I'm not allowed. But you know, I will find it for you. And to tell you what as well, as a promise, I'll do you a very, very good price on it as a little bit of a sorry. It will come up for you, I promise. As soon as I know, I'll give you a heads up. Thank you for sticking with us. Okay, next up we're going to then. No problem at all. Tanzanite. 
another very special gem from one special gem to another. Let's bring you this one, your tanzanite. These are huge pieces. They're huge pieces of tanzanite. We are officially around one thousand meters into the crust of the earth on this it's around about a kilometer i mean that's massive isn't it i, I said this the other day but it's, it's true imagine digging your garden you know when you you put in a new planting or whatever and say the tub on it's about that big so you want to take out about that much of earth and you dig into about that point and then the earth just becomes like solid do you know what I mean that's only in your garden isn't it imagine being around a kilometer into the crust of the earth it's almost unimaginable isn't it but we are that's where we're at uh, at, at the moment we're around a kilometer deep and and with that comes its own trials and tribulations and with that comes its own stresses you've got to remember that we're around about a 45 degree incline on this at the moment so again long story short what happens when this formed hundreds of thousands etc years ago um, basically there was tectonic movement around that time which of course we know is, is constantly continuing so basically what happens is two pieces of earth meet each other say your tanzanite's along here two pieces of earth meet each other and there is so much pressure almost an unimaginable amount of pressure that basically one side has to win it doesn't just crumble and kind of you know collapse it one side has to win so what happened is the one that had the tanzanite let's say lost out and it buckled and as it buckled you got this um, kind of um, gradient let's say we are in the D mine so we are literally right at the base of this right now around about sort of as I say a kilometer deep um, and the way in which it's moved is is it's about sort of 10 meters across for each 10 meters you go across you have to go down 10 meters so there's that kind of stepping motion which means in this area here you're getting nothing you have to really work to get to the good stuff and because it's getting more difficult, because it's getting more expensive to train people, to get the machinery that's right, to develop, and we've had to to get this deep, to develop new and interesting ways to get this out of the ground, the money of Tanzanite is naturally going up. Of course, the rarity is, of course, therefore going down. No, but going up also, which means the amount we can get, sorry, is going down. Um, this is a very special, special quality because you can see the richness of this. You have got those absolutely idyllic tanzanite hues. They are that perfect lilac -y blue colour you would hope for, but a lot more richness than you might expect. Now, why is that important to you as a gemstone lover, please, Gem? It's what I'm looking for in tanzanite is to see a depth. Of, of the colour tone and to have that shy out at me I know that I'm looking at something that's a bit special. Mm. Tanzanite is not something you see in every single store in every single boutique even now I mean ten years ago it was unheard of really yeah. Yeah, in really. most places mm. but to see a Tanzanite with that level of colour makes me a bit tingly and mm. I just think oh that's definitely definitely what I want. Yeah. Definitely something special. Mm -hmm. Definitely something you want to get your hands on. And I think that's what we have here. We have a wanted strand, don't we? It has everything you could hope for. It's a bit of a different shape. It's got a real nice intensity. And the fact is, I think it would only take you about a minute and a half to get this home and then have a little check um, online and just get up maybe the, the grading color palette of Tanzanite type it in a search engine, something will come up, and then you, with your keen eye, have a little look at which colour department you think this fits into, because when it comes to the colour, it's not an A in my opinion, it's not even a double A, you're a triple A easily on colour alone with this, for its quality and for its property, therefore you wouldn't expect a price drop, let alone one of such dramatic proportions, that is huge, £34.95 is your deal on this one today, that is exceptional for the richness, for that intensity, for that beauty in these huge sizes, I mean to be able to get such a big size and the colour to still protrude evenly over each and every one is exceptional, usually if you're getting bigger pieces in particular of the likes of Tanzanite, bigger pieces you're going to get bits where, where the, the colour is kind of lost, you almost get extinction points in it or like we 
Ding Doing almost, where you get beautiful, bright, rich blue colour like this, and then all of a sudden it feels a bit like it's given up. It kind of just becomes a little bit wishy washy and watery. That is not where this strand is. This is strength and strength and strength of colour and saturation and beauty. Uh, that huge bright drop, you really have got yourself a bit of a deal there and a half, haven't you? Absolutely, most definitely. I treated myself last year to a strand, not dissimilar, not exactly the same, but not dissimilar, and I'm pretty sure it was the thicker end of £50. Yeah. So yeah, that yeah. is exceptional. Yeah. Well, that one, this should be £54.95. That's what it should be. That's what it has been. That's what you've been enjoying it at. And enjoy, enjoying is the right word. This is an enjoyable strand. Um, and I think... If you really want to show off that colour even more, you know, this over a black t-shirt is going to make that richness shine out. But how about you juxtapose it with something in the same colour or sort of category? Maybe going with something like this very special aquamarine that's coming up in the kit. Remember for me, the kit that I've got for you is one of the biggest price drops we have seen. It's coming up to you sort of, you know, soon-ish. Um, very, very special indeed. But by juxtaposing that, although it's in the same area in, in the spectrum it's a little bit more dainty a little bit more muted a little bit more of a baby sort of powder pink color sorry blue color which i think is giving that time tonight even more of a pop and an impact absolutely massive well done to everyone on this when you get it home you're going to see the quality of this and you're going to be bowled over i believe i really really do i'm speaking of bowled over after the break you are going to be learning how to create some stunning stunning weaves if you've never, ever made an item of jewellery before, we're going to take this almost back to basics in what is a weave, let's look at this weave and let's really take our time. So within the next hour, you're going to be able to get some inspiration and one of the biggest price drop kits we've had in ages. If for any reason you're not satisfied with your purchase, you have the benefit of our 30 day money back guarantee. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $2.95 or, if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $4.95. Buying from Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When we bring an item to you, all the graphics come on screen. And this gives you all the information that you will need to know. From the item code to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on. And whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So, when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jury making journey today. Jury Maker, the one-stop shop for all your jury making needs. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives 50 If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker, Ivy House, Henley Road, Outhill, Studley, B807DU. Get making and good luck. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
You can watch us every day, 8 a.m. till 10 p.m. on Sky, Virgin and Freesat and every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. on Freeview. Everybody, welcome all to Jewelry Maker. <laughs> My name is Becky, and I'm joined by an absolute gem. No, literally, it's Gem Hawks. Hi, Gem. Good afternoon. Lovely, lovely people at home. Let me just let you into something. We are going to be bringing you something exceptional now. This is one of the first times I have said this in feels like months. <laughs> it's probably not weeks, but but still. Um, a genuine gemstone collection for a kit. All genuine gemstones. Every single one of these strands is the truest form, the real deal. And you're going to love it. I'm about to do one of the biggest discounts we've done in a very long time. Now, we're not going to get the graphics in for you just as yet. Because what I want to show you is, first off, exactly how much Gorgeous Gem has made with this very high-end kit. You must have had so much fun with this. It was a delight, an absolute delight. Easy peasy to know what I wanted to make from the get-go. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad you had fun with this and you can really, really tell. I mean, there's just so much going on with it and, and it goes so far as well. It really, really does, absolutely. Now, I know that you are a lover of high-grade gemstones, so you must have been over the moon with this, really. Absolutely delighted. Genuinely, every single gemstone on every single strand was a dream to work with, hence the wording. Yeah. It really was. <laughs> Is that why you went for dream? Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And that's what this um, collection is going to be for you as well at home. If you've missed your genuine gemstone kits and if you've missed kind of this colour palette, which again, I feel like I've not seen in quite some time, this beautiful muted yet high end gem kind of colour palette, then you're going to want to get your hands on this. Let me just tell you something first off. I'm about to give you one of the biggest savings from RLP available that I've seen in, in genuinely months. I said earlier, didn't I? I love getting five pounds off something. I love it. I mean, genuinely, if you sort of five pounds on the floor, you'd be, you'd be going, you'd be grabbing it, wouldn't you? So to get five pounds off a kit is exceptional. In particular, when you think of all the time that goes into it, the time of actually, you know, um, um, getting a, a collection, having to actually order each of these things separately and, and maybe going to auction and trying to bid or maybe going directly to the mine to try and source these things and then to have them all shipped over, to get them all back, to then think, OK, we've got this guest designer on this day and what does Gem like and what would she appreciate? OK, will they even work together? Let's try and think of that. Let's get a whole kit team to kind of come up with a colour palette that works, that is suited to the designer and then send it out to the designer who then has to think well, what am I going to do with this and has to plan and design and then create and not just create but create stages and then work out can I even demo that on air is that going to be possible with kind of the stuff I have for you and then for us to be able to get enough to actually be able to package up to bring to you all of that work goes into this and yet still we give you five pounds off or six pounds off or seven pounds off and we give free inspiration I've got a breakdown of exactly what is in this kit for you that I want you to have a little bit of a look at for me because I think it's going to really show you and prove to you that you've got quality here. Take a look. In this kit, you will be getting the following components. You will be getting the likes of your wire, which is coming in two, um, um, uh, which is coming in, in main forms of your beautiful pearl. Now this is one of our newest and most popular wires. You are getting, as you can see, your 1.25 mil. This alone is 6.95. You're also going to be getting the likes of your 0.8 and two packs of your 0.4. All of this wire with that gorgeous individual sheen, all of those on that um, slide, as you can see. Also on the slide, is this strand here right at the top your aquamarine your price point on this 12.95 rrp now that for me is exceptional i mean that price already for this is astonishing isn't it i would be 
checking that out straight away at 12.95 anyway. Yeah, yeah definitely. I mean, for the quality of this, for that, it, 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 it's a nicely saturated strand. Tonality wise, you're probably about the sort of, what you say, probably about 30, 40% tonality, but saturation wise, boy, you're up there. So you get this beautiful, almost periwinkle delicate color, but a big impact of saturation, which works wonderfully alongside the delicacy of the rose quartz. I mean, the way that you can see through this is beautiful, isn't it? That transparency is wonderful. Often if you get a rose quartz, it can be quite milky, can't it? It can almost look like it's full of silk. Um, this is beautifully crisp in its translucency, which means it's going to pick up colour really nicely. As you can see again on that slide, we have had this available for you in the RRP on this strand of the gorgeous rose quartz, which is just so, so, so pretty and so, so elegant. Even that strand there is just Five ninety five. Really? That's incredible, isn't it? That is astounding. The glow the on glow those pieces yeah. is absolutely amazing. Totally agree. And another one of our amazing strands that has for you colours such as Heliodor, such as Morganite, such as Aquamarine, is the mixed barrel strand. I mean, the beauty in that palette is exceptional. Now, I just want to tell everybody something very briefly. I have got just shy of 200 on this. Now that sounds like a lot, but when you see the discount I'm about to do on this, it's not. Now, please, just before I bring in any more information about this, let me remind you of a couple of things. Remember all that work we kind of just went through of actually bringing this to you. Remember for me that this is, I think one of the aspects that you love most about Jewelry Maker, don't you? You love and adore that we do demos for you and, and that we put these great kits together for you. Remember for me that this kit can create everything here that Gem has created and more because Gem did have some elements left over from this so you could create even more jewellery from this. Also remember for me this is a genuine gemstone kit and one of the best ways to, to tell us what you love and what you like is to buy it, is to talk about it on social media, is to get in touch with us and text us and tell us how much you love a kit. And that means that if you're loving, for example, your genuine gemstone kit like this, you're absolutely adoring it, then of course we're going to get more of it for you. We're going to do more of it for you. Let me just give you another look at that slide and I want your eyes to scan that total. £56.65, and pence. this would be, any other day, if it wasn't in a collection. £56.65. and pence. I am going to count those graphics in for you now. Three, two, one. Your graphics are now live. Now, I cannot encourage you enough to come on in and get this. We're going to drop that price point in for you ASAP, okay, everybody? You've just got to get checking out. You ready for this? Remind yourself of that price that was on that slide. £56.65. and pence. Today, for you, this is going to go loopy. I mean, genuinely, I think the web bidders, you should now be able to see that price that we're going to on this. You have got a few seconds to get this in and out of your basket. This is not one of those that you can dilly nor dally on. Remember, if you saw a five pound note on the floor, you'd be picking that up and you'd probably be texting people and calling people about it, wouldn't you? You'd be over the moon and back again. But now imagine actually that you've got 10 pounds on the floor. You would definitely be writing about that on social media, wouldn't you? We're not going to give you five pounds back in your pocket or 10 pounds back in your pocket or even 15 pounds back in your pocket. This is your genuine real deal gemstone kit and this is your price today. Not 56.65, but 26 pounds and 65 pence. That is a random number, and I get that, but it is exactly 
30 pounds off the price that this should have been. You have got yourself a 30, three zero pound saving, 30 pounds back into your pocket. I've just made this better than half price and dramatically so. You might be thinking, hang on, that's a bit of a weird number. And I'll be honest, my producer, just back off a meeting. Dion genuinely did not want to do this price. <laughs> genuinely, she didn't want to do it. But she's done it today as a little bit of a treat, as a little bit of a chance. This is £26.65 pence today. Bang on the nose of £30 off. Now, this is a genuine gemstone kit. It is. Were you expecting that kind of price? Be honest. Genuinely, I thought if we dropped down to maybe £34.95, it would still be amazing. The quality of those gemstones, the colours in the aquamarine strands, the beautiful glow in that real stunning rose quartz. And the fact that you've got, for us weavers out there, do lots of the 0.4mm gauge wire absolutely spot on you've got the extra heavy weight which in this particular wire is really beautiful to work with if you've not worked with the pearl wire before it has a spring to it but it's not going to be difficult for you mm. it's really beautiful and then you've got your 0.8 as well the whole thing coming together is an ideal it's a dream of a kit it, is, it really it? is yeah it is sensational and again have you still got that slide bruce sorry to be a pain <laughs> He's got it. I just want to remind you, just, just to really lock these figures and this difference in your head, this should have been 56.65. And that's jewelry maker price. So that's not over the top, you know, huge, huge, huge kind of price, you know, mammoth. 56.65 is the price this should have been. Yet today, we've done 30 pounds less than that. And I just wanted to kind of remind you of that because, you know, we already do great prices. We do. At £57, which is shy of, £57, mm -hmm. this already is a ridiculously competitive selection. It's genius to be able to see that slide. Yeah. It really is, because you can then quantify for yourself, well, yeah, I'd be more than happy to spend X amount on such and such a thing. Yeah. And all of those prices make me very happy individually. Yeah. But to have that massive drop genuinely is a treat. It's, it's a dream. It's exceptional, <laughs> isn't it? Um, um, who's in with us? Hello, Elizabeth, you okay? Um, Elizabeth is just messaging saying, just tuned in to a lovely kit. Are there any instructions for making any of Gem's pieces on jewelry maker, on, on, of jewelry? Um, hello to you, lovely. Well, guess what? We here at Jewelry Maker not only bring you the opportunity to work with genuine gemstones and some of the rarest in the world, but we give you demonstrations as well. And if you've never made jewellery before, then we will be showing you how to create some stunning woven pieces right here. So all you need to do is ring that free phone number. If you've never done it before, ring that free phone number. You can set up an account literally in minutes. You don't have to like pay a membership or anything. You just join us for free. It's a free phone number. You speak to a person. There's none of this, you know, difficulty of trying to type all these codes in and everything else. Really easy to do. You can set it up in minutes. And, um, you can own this kit, it'll be with you in a few days, and then you are gonna get a free demonstration right here that means you can make along at home. And if you do need a recap on how to make it, you'll be able to get that later on on YouTube when you buy this kit. So um, it's a great way to get involved. And yes, we are gonna have a demonstration for you right now. And we're gonna be looking at the glorious rings, aren't we? We are indeed. So talk me through these, please, Gem. Oh, sorry, just to let you know before you start, just to let you know, Names have gone up on the screen on this one. Extremely popular kit, probably because of that huge saving. Literally every single penny we've squeezed off this, hence that random number. So please make the most of it whilst you can. I've got multi buyers on this. And if you have multi bought, you've basically done buy one, get one free on this kit. If you think about it that way, because we've done better than buy one, get one free, because it's half price. So it's better than half price. So it's better than a buy one, get one free. So I have got multi buyers on this. Well done to you. You've got yourself a real true um, selection of treats there. Um, okay, lovely lady, the rings. Talk us through. Okay, well, I've done two slightly different variations on a ring, but they start out exactly the same, and it's really only towards the very end that they varied. Uh, so what we're going to work with is an 18-inch length of the 1.25 
millimetre pearl wire, and mm -hmm. I've cut a length just here. Haven't pre-treated it in any way, just taken that off the strand and got it ready. I'm going to be working with one of the larger aquamarines. Are they six millimetres? I forget. Yes, they are. Those Wonderful. ones are six, yeah. So I picked, uh, just at random, from one of the pieces that I had left over, one of the six mil aquamarines. You can do it with the four mil, and you can do it with the larger rose quartz as well, if you so desire. Just makes a slightly different look. Yeah, Mandy, you've made a great point there. Amazing price for just the barrel, mm. and the rest is for free. Um, so I'll put you see you back, Jam. Thanks, darling. I'm going to send kisses. Thank you very much for having love. me back. <laughs> You're a love. Anytime. <laughs> okay, Berkeley. So we've got our 1.5 wire, which of course you get in the kit. Don't forget. It is. This is 18 inches of the 1.25. And what I've done is I've popped one of the 0.4 millimeter gauge wires into one of the plastic bags that you get so often with our kits. Mm -hmm. I always keep mine because it's a great way to tame your wire. So I've um, just sort of tied one end on and popped the other end out of the bag ready to work with. The reason I work with this out of the reel is because sometimes you can misjudge how much you need and there's nothing sadder than getting that far away from the end of a design to find that you're short of wire. Yeah. Sometimes you can add on, sometimes you can get away with it and sometimes it just looks a bit... Yeah. So um, I Better try, if sorry. I can to work with with one of these perfect sarah's just messaging saying yay got home and tuned in just in time yay. for demo so good to see your beautiful ba face back on screen and wow stunning jewelry thank you very much sarah i'm pleased to have you back with us thank it's you true, darling isn't it Mwah. You've still got time to get that kit if you want it. We did a better than half price deal, £30 off, and they're all genuine gemstones in this kit. Gem, you're awesome, and your designs are stunningly brilliant. Oh, I love you. them all. Well, people are so lovely. Thank you, darling. It's true. It's, it's really lovely to be back. Stunning, aren't they? Thank you for having me. We're really <laughs> glad to have you back. We really are. Okay, so we're, we're weave ready. We're weaving ready. I'll okay. Say that. <laughs> I'm going to use my trusty wooden ring mandrel. Uh, which is, is just here, which is a bit battered, so I do apologise for that, but I do take it everywhere. If you are making to a specific size, you will need to make the first section we're about to work on between half a size and one size larger than your desired outcome. Okay. So if I just pop the shallow wire out of the way for a moment, and I'm just going to go for where I normally make a ring to demo with, which is about in the middle. Mm -hmm. It usually ends up about a size M or so. And I'm going to spin this round a couple of times until I have three crosses on the bottom and four crosses on the top. Now you can see here at the moment, I've got three wires over the top, mm -hmm. so I need to go round once more. So if I flip that over, and I'm looking to have these two wires that are residual from this manoeuvre, mm -hmm. approximately the same length, going in opposite directions. So they're on the mandrel like that. They're about the same. It doesn't matter if there's a little bit of difference. But you can see now that I've got two, sorts of, two sets of two lines over the top. And under the neath, under the neath, I'm making up words sort now. Sort of know what you mean. <sighs> under and the neath. Bruce is singing now. <laughs> under the neath. <laughs> mm, there's three underneath. <laughs> Four over the top. So I'm just going to slip this off the mandrel for a second. And if you haven't got a mandrel, we might have a metal one on the website for you which has sizes. Or of course you can use round things at home. Wonderful. One of my favourite things to work with is a marker pen. Perfect. Some of the chunkier ones are absolutely spot on for middle finger rings and some of the narrower ones are, are spot on for ring finger rings. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got four across the top, three underneath, and I've just opened that out a little bit that you can see, so there's a bit of a gap in the middle. Now, this is where my brain takes a bit of a pounding, because I have to remember how to start this off. Okay, no problem. Now, I'm going to unspool around about 10 to 12 inches off the 0.4 out of the bag to start with, just to make it easy to work with. Pop my mandrel out of the way so it doesn't fall on the floor. I'm going to go over the top of the whole design with my 0.4. And I'm going to start with this band. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be working in that direction, which is away from this open end. Now, that's quite important because it means that we can work off the spool. Okay. This is a technique I've designed specially for this ring uh, because normally I would work with cut wire, which means it's a little bit easier to think about. But I've had to think quite hard, and, and for me, that's a bit of a trauma this week, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. OK, so the cut end of my 0.4 is going over the top of the whole design, and I'm now going to post that end down the middle and back out where we're coming from. I'll pop it through and pull it along. Now, you can see here, the side that is still joined to the wire is the side which is where I have a leg coming away. So that's a cut leg going there. And I'm going to spin around 
these two bands on the one side three times. And it's not difficult, it's not fiddly, we're just going to post that end through and pull. Pull that nice and tight, so I've now got two crosses of this wire. Over the top again, down the middle, try not to get my hands in the way, and nice and tight side by side. Now to make life easier, the end that is connected to the bag and the spool of 0.4, I'm going to wrap around this leg that we were talking about earlier three or four times just to get a nice tight bite on there. Okay. So that's once, twice, three, four times around, push that up nice and tight and you can see that we're now anchored. So I've got an anchor point here around just the single leg that comes out. Mm -hmm. I've spun three times around this section which is two wires, this side of the tram line. Push the wire over the top and introduce the gemstone, which hopefully is just here. It's gone for a roll, sorry. Well, if you can go for a roll, why wouldn't you? Let's pop this gemstone. This and look you, Jam. What, I've missed you so much. and weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, woman after my own heart, as you well know. I have actually sent off for a filter to go between my brain and my mouth. Right, okay. But it's been about eight years. Right, so you're still, still waiting. Here. <laughs> so we're just going to slot that gemstone down so it sits just between and just slightly above where the tram lines of the heavier wire are. Okay. Now, this again, it's not tricky, it's not difficult, it's harder to show than anything. So I'm just going to grip the two tram lines that form part of the shank of the ring on this side mm -hmm. and my loose tail end of 0.4 I'm going to do exactly the opposite of what we did on the first side which is spin around three times so once you've done the first one your gemstone starts to sit in position give that a little bit of a pull so that you can see that you're happy and it's sitting slightly proud of those tram lines of the mm -hmm. heavier wire just to make it more comfortable to wear okay so I've gone round once around both of those around twice around both of those and around a third time. When I get to the end there, I'm just going to spin around and around on this leg that's sticking out this side. It's a little bit boring for you to watch, but it shouldn't take too long to build up. So again, we started off with around about 10 inches unspooled of the 0.4 mil gauge wire. So just going around, forming, if you like, a type of gizmo, and it's really beautiful to work with this wire. Uh, it's very, very stable. Uh, I don't tend to use nylon grip pliers, I tend to work with flat metal, mm -hmm. um, which if you had a lesser wire from elsewhere for instance, you would quite often see little dink marks, nick marks and you'd see it flattening down. But with this pearl wire you have, I don't know quite what it is about the coating on here, it's very very stable, it's very very beautiful. Um, and it's very well behaved. Oh, it's always a good thing to so have. So you can see it hasn't actually taken that long. No, it hasn't. Just to get that tail ripped around. I'm getting a bit bored though, so I'm going to trim that off now. Sorry. Don't forget, if you do want to <laughs> tool it, just call our call centre. They'll be able to help you out with that or have a little look at jewelrymaker.com and you'll get tools similar to this. Similar, area. absolutely. These are my trusty dolphin pliers, which are flat on the inside surface. Yeah. But they have quite a fine curved tip. What I'm doing is I'm going around in the direction of the cut end and we're just smoothing that down so it's much less likely to catch on something like your hair or your clothing or your skin. Mm -hmm. There we go. So we've sat that to that side. I'm going to wrap exactly the same on this side Perfect. to an almost equivalent length. Sorry. Just whilst you're wrapping mm -hmm. on that, let me just make you aware of two things, just whilst you're Ooh, yes, wrapping. Please. Let me make you aware of two things. Numero uno, just before the break, People were waiting with bated breath for that strand and then we were excited and, and nay, near elated. Um, and then I couldn't bring it to you. We have found it. It has been delivered. It is stunning. And we will be doing it straight after this demonstration. So you're looking at probably 10 minutes or so. And also to make you aware, if you've just tuned in. Hiya, how are you? I'm Becky. Really good to be with you today. I'm really good to have the gorgeous Jem back with us. Um, just to let you all know, we've done better than half price on this kit, which is why that random number is there, because it's exactly £30 saving. And as I always say, if you love things like our kits and the fact that you get free demonstrations, and if you love genuine gemstones in kits, let us know 
by ordering it and, and sending in your pictures to Wall of Fame and letting us know on social media how great it is to work with. Because obviously, if we're hearing back off you, I love the genuine gemstone kits. I love the demonstrations. I love this. I love that. I love the other. We're going to keep bringing the things you love to you. Okay. So this is all of the goodies. It should have been Fifty-six pounds and sixty-five pence. We took thirty pounds off. So make the most of it whilst you can. I will make you aware we are just shy of two hundred. We've got nowhere near that now. Um, but there are still probably about fifteen, sixteen of you with it in your baskets. Do check it out. Posting packaging is a one-off payment till midnight tonight. So make the most of it whilst you can. I've let you do a bit of wrapping. Thank you very much. And I'm back with very you. Very kind. Now I'm going to, I have literally did exactly the same on the side that is still connected to the bag, to the reel, uh -huh. um, as I did on the other side. And I've just done it about the same amount. And now I'm going to slip the whole design back onto the mandrel just to protect it a little bit okay. so it doesn't go all squinky. And that is a technical term. It's not actually, but never mind. It's not. <laughs> if you have any last minute adjustments in size, you can at this stage just give that a little bit of a tweak. Say you wanted to make it slightly smaller, pull that down, push your weaving along, and you can adjust that just a tiny little bit. So if you feel that perhaps the one size, you only really needed a half size, there you go, you've got opportunity to do this. So what we're looking to do is to curl the woven sections to create a faux bezel around that central bead. Now, if I just bend that up a second, it might be easier to show you. There you go. So this side here is going to wrap around to create almost a parenthesis, and the same on the other side. Mm -hmm. So first of all, I'm going to do the one with the wire still attached, and really just drawing that ever so easily. And this is what I'm saying. You wouldn't necessarily be able to do that with every single piece of 1.25 wire that you come across. Mm. Very, very beautiful to work with. Exactly the same on the other side. So I'm just going to switch grip and draw that loose end all the way around to create uh, what I like to call, uh, in the designs that I sell at home, it's like a vortex. Mm, you can see that little yeah. naughty bit that will annoy me, so I'm just going to trim that off because it would upset me otherwise. So if you see that while you're doing it, it's much easier to deal with it before it gets stuck into that design. Okay. Give that a squeeze down, there we go. And just draw that around until you have two of those wires coming together. So you can see you've got a vortex and when you get them back to be tram lines together, one's gone a little bit further than the other and one is half naked. <laughs> In the afternoon, I say. Well, I say. Usually only on a Saturday at this point. Are we thinking Prosecco and hot tubs? No, but apparently you are. I surely am. Wowzers! <laughs> Not this Saturday, though, because I'll be right here. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Although a lot of people would tune in to see that, I'm sure. Don't forget, Gem's here for quite some time. So do feel free to text her in. Um, it's 60777. Uh, I forgot the number entirely then. Start your text with the word JM Studio and you can ask her absolutely anything you want because Gem is always up for a laugh and is very honest. So do feel free to get in touch with her, 60777. And if you've got any questions, maybe you've never made jewellery before and, and you've burnt toast even if you've tried to be creative, um, don't worry, we're going to be able to help you out. Just ask the questions. No question is too small, so do feel free to get involved. I'm with you, and that image of the hot tub. Professional and composed. <laughs> so I'm now going to remove the design from the wooden mandrel. I feel that uh, it's quite safe and secure now. I'm just going to make sure that I'm happy with how that's sitting. I want that quite close to the gemstone, so the wire is very pliable and very strong at the same time, which is delightful. Now, it doesn't really matter if you've ended up with a woven section on the inside, as I have here, or on the outside. I'll just show you one of our work in progress is, where the naked wire was on the inside and the woven wire was on the outside. So it's just a slightly different look. And in that, I really enjoy it because it means that every single piece of jewellery you make is unique. Yeah. So don't be away worried if it's not exactly the same as, as the one you made last time or the one you've seen being made, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, so this is a very simple weave. Um, so far we've shown you how to sort of gizmo around, which is a single, it's not really weaving, it's coiling, one then thing. Mm. This one is going to be one wrap around both of those heavy wires. So you can see I've just drawn the excess wire up and it's come over the top and it's going to come underneath, pull nice and tight, and then I'm just going to wrap around the inside wire. So we're going to go once and again twice three times the beauty of this wire 
Not all 0.4 wires would tolerate being dragged along as I'm doing right here, but this pearl coated colour wire is absolutely astonishing in what it will withstand. Mm. And if you're a bit heavy handed like I am, it's good stuff. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so I've gone three times around the inner heavy wire, so once around both. Pull that up nice and tight, three times around the inner, give that a squeeze to pull that in tight, once around both. Now one of the designs that I like to work with at home is just make a weave up as you go. So what you can do if you want to, instead of coming up on the inside, you could maybe switch and do one, two, three around the outside, once around both, three around the outside, here we go, two and three, once around both. And you can see, if you get quite close up to that, that it just changes mm. how that looks. Yeah, yeah, it does, doesn't it? It gives it a totally different feel. It does, it's beautiful. And uh, what I would tend to do is probably do three of each, mm -hmm. three on the outside and then three on the inside. Uh, to a lot of people, numbers are quite important for one reason or another. It could be the members of your family, it could be the number of dogs you have. Mm. It could be anything. So, you know, just work with how you feel. Mm. So I'm going to call a stop to that now, but okay. what you would need to do is continue weaving in your chosen pattern. You could just even do a very simple, what we call a figure of eight, where you go once around one side, once yeah. around the other side, yeah, yeah. or even three and three. Yeah. But as you go round, you'll be drawing those two heavy wires around. You can do them one at a time if you get sort of plan ahead until you've got a really nice circle, you're happy with the face of your ring, how that looks, and you've got a little bit of an excess to play with at the top. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to switch over to the one that I prepared a little bit earlier on and show you how to finish off. Perfect. Um, just to let everybody know, we are getting low in stock on that kit. This is a genuine gemstone kit. All of the gemstones are real deal gemstones, and we've taken to it to a nail-bitingly low price. Uh, that's why it's such a random number, exactly £30 off. I will make you aware there's probably slightly more people with it in the baskets now than before we're looking at around about 18 now so please do check those out and I'm just telling you to do that purely because um basically we are getting low in stock I don't want anyone to miss out um but also we don't get to see kits like this often so it would be one of those that you might be a bit devastated if you do miss out on it and we've had a message in it says hi Becky and crew hello lovely um Jen good to have you back is that 0.8 or 1.25 wire for the shank Use the 1.2 wire for the shank. It is so beautiful to work with. You'll think that you're working with a 1 mil, but you have that extra depth and rigidity once yeah. it's formed. So you won't, I, I don't believe that you would have any problems with it. I suffer from arthritis quite badly, and I've managed to wrangle this 1.25 without any problems whatsoever. Yeah, well, we could see you doing it, you know, quite easily. It is. It's nice to work with. So, yeah, that's the 1.25. <laughs> and I would actually say, if you are brand new and you're looking at this going, well, even that demonstration is really easy, maybe I should give it a go. This is a great kit to do it with because there is such a big difference between the two gauges, yeah. the one you're weaving with and the base wire. You don't have to worry about one bending out of shape which can happen if you're working say with a 0.4 and a 0.8 when you start off it's difficult this is a great way to begin um so uh, do feel free to get in touch if you have any questions or any thoughts but you may as well give it a go i would say and what a kit to start with mm. those gemstones are magnificent there's Morganites lots of different intonations on both of the strands of the aquamarine mm. even and i found two or three really stunningly beautiful clear pieces yeah. on the larger aquamarine That's strand incredible isn't it absolutely yeah, astonishingly incredible. beautiful you won't be disappointed uh, especially with 30 pounds <laughs> off which we have done on the kit which okay. you can spend on something later if you want yes, to yes. <laughs> maybe my one to own which is something pretty in purple you lovely Okay, so what I've done is I've got as far as I want to go in terms of the weaving, this sort of faux bezel effect. Mm -hmm. If I flip the ring over, you can see my shank's coming across this side, and this is now coming up to what would be worn over the, perhaps the knuckle. Yeah. So if I flip that back over, I cut the wire off, so forgive me if there's not quite enough. But what we're going to do is just switch to a slightly different weave and open this out ever so slightly. What I'm doing here is just putting some nice curves. Again, you can see the quality of that wire just using the warmth of, of my hand. And I'm, I've not even really preconditioned this wire. It's just, it's happy to work. Mm. So I'm going to finish off that one. 
I, I like to call this a three and one. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go three times around this side, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to figure of eight. So I've come down the center between those two pieces, up and around, and I'm going to now go back down the center three times. So I've got three on this side, turn the ring, three on this side, turn the ring, three, I think, possibly, I've just overlapped my wires, so I'll just redo that, sorry, there we go. Three on this side. I may well run out of wire because, as I said, I had to cut it off to do the other part of the demonstration. But all I'm doing is three round one side, down the centre, three round the other side, down the centre. What I might do is just leave that slightly more open than I normally would so we get a good idea of how that would look if we filled it. This is why we work off the reel. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Once you have filled that to your uh, desired quantity, I'm just going to put some little curls on the end. And again, just scooching around that cut end of the 0.4 to get that to sit down and tighten up that last little bit of weaving. I'm then going to use a set of round nose pliers. And these are from the Deluxe Jewelry Maker kit. I'm going to go in to the inside of the curve and just start off a lovely little coil and draw that in quite slowly and gently on both sides. And you can see how if I hadn't cut the wire off, you could have filled mm. that up quite nicely. Mm. And then you can wear that so that it comes back up over the hand, perhaps. Or well, you can wear it on the knuckle if you so desire. Yeah. The choice is yours. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. That yeah. weave, it gives it, that weave and that shape, it makes it almost have like an amylite look or even a peacock feather look. I think you can really play with that and really have fun with that. And speaking of having fun, I've been having fun over the last two minutes, just getting blinged up with some jewellery. Uh, <laughs> Up to. <laughs> I'm just sneaking a little look at your jewellery, trying some bits <laughs> on. And I wasn't paying attention. It's just, you know, I'm good at multitasking. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, always best to try and um, steal um, um, a few kind of wearable pieces whilst the designer's making, I find. These are from the second kit. They are indeed. We're going to be learning how to get weavy with the second kit very soon. But before that, Gem, you are an absolute love. Thank you so much. And we're doing now that special strand that we spoke about earlier on. Um, this is something special. This is something we're going to love and adore. You've waited. And so we're going to say thanks by giving you a really great deal on a really great gem. It is the one we've waited for. Star by. <laughs> Okay, everyone. Um, if you were tuning in an hour ago, then I have already done this little bit. But for anyone who hasn't, let me talk to you about it again. The gemstone I'm about to bring you is a special one. I've got a few slides to show you about this. So we can really get our head around the beauty and the wonder that is this gemstone. This gem comes from one mine, this one location in um, a very beautiful part of the world, which is so undisturbed um, that actually there's no roads or paths essentially that lead to it. Um, the staff who work in this mine get flown in via helicopter to go and work in this mine, which is so minuscule and so tiny that there is one entrance and this is a picture of that entrance. Take a little look minuscule that if you think of of all the houses in your home or even if you even begin to contemplate all of the entrances and all of these huge areas that you would have um, gemstones coming in and out of even just for the mines such as tanzanite that is something very special indeed each one of these gems that you're going to be able to own came out of that one location that one door which should let you know just how bespoke this mine is which gives the world one of the most exceptional gemstones and it is an exceptional gemstone because it is a true labor of love i'm about to bring you a brand new strand you're about to fall in love the quality of it is phenomenal it's from that location it's from that place of the earth and you have the opportunity to own it today this isn't amethyst and citrine which sometimes you will get sometimes you will be able to purchase from us this is the true gemstone of amatrine and the fact is we've had to make every single one of these an amatrine strand to be able to give it that name totally true 
totally natural Bolivian Amatrine from that one Anahi mine. And it is brand new here with us today. And an exquisite eye clean beauty this is. I've got to get those graphics in because I know you want to own it. You've waited long enough. Here are your graphics, everybody. This is true stunning beauty. This is a natural strand which is completely to be honest a labour of love that's how I'd put it um, I've actually got a picture for you um, to have a little look at of the rough of this gem and, and that's what I was talking about when I was talking about the, the amethyst itself um, um, amethyst and uh, citrine strands that we'll do for you um, when this comes out of that location when it comes out of that mine I've just shown you we will take them out into in, in large pieces and if you have a little look at this slide this is actually a photograph from the mine itself of these large 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 pieces now they do look really really large actually they're maybe not as large as, as they look and um, the larger ones will sort of fit on your palm um, um, but, but that's about it now the interesting thing with this is you think oh well you know you must be able to get easily a strand out of one of those of ametry not the case because if you look carefully the vast majority of each of those is actually amethyst you can get just amethyst from this mine so as you can see there it says the raw crystals have been carefully removed from the geode waiting to be checked for their ametrine potential i.e is it amethyst or is it citrine? Is there that beautiful mix? So think of the work and effort of getting those out of the ground from that one small mine in that very sort of remote location and then having to find these. This gorgeous split of that beauty and color. Now when you get these home, you're gonna be able to see that every single one of these has elements of gold rippling through that wonderful amethyst. And remember that that is a natural effect from Mother Nature. It's to do with, well, Basically, there's, there's quartz that has been given colour from trace elements of iron that Mother Nature has naturally put in the crust of the earth. And as the iron is heated, it oxidises. And because of that oxidisation, you get this difference in colour. So it needs to be the perfect amount of silica within there, with the perfect amount of oxygen within there, with the perfect amount of element of iron traces in there, at the perfect temperature, in the perfect location in the world, that then has to be taken in, out into those raw thing, uh, forms like you've just seen, that have to be cut perfectly to give them the part citrine, part amethyst name. I mean, that is labour, isn't it? But it is a labour of love, and this gemstone is a gemstone of love. Um, the mine itself, actually, it's believed that the mine itself is um, um, named after a lord from the 17th century. You may well have heard this before, um, but essentially there's a lord, a Spanish lord, in the 18th century who was given a piece of amotrine from this mine, um, and he was given it as a dowry for um, marrying um, a princess um, whose name was Anahi, which is where the mine name comes from. Um, um, but it is, you know, a gemstone of love. And actually, when you look at this gem and you see some of the places it's in, oh my gosh, it's just sensational. Susie, you gorgeous lady. Hello. Hello, Becky and Gem, JM crew. Oh, Bex, I love this gemstone. This is a stum stunning example of beauty. Susie, I could not agree with you more. It really is, isn't it? To get a Nahi, genuine natural Bolivian amateur with this much clarity to it is astonishing, isn't it? When you think about the labour that has gone into this and the workmanship that's gone into this, not only from Mother Nature, but also the gemstone cutters from the rough, you can get some stunning looks from this. And I've actually got a picture. It's, it's one of my most favourite pictures of all time um, that we're about to show you. Pardon? Oh, you were talking, oh, sorry, I thought you were talking to someone else. Um, um, Bruce has got a picture to show you, which is just exceptional. And this is labour of love, labour of getting out of the ground, labour of getting it um, um, kind of to us here. And look at this sensational, sensational church. Um, you can see in the wall is absolutely encrusted with this gemstone. That is what this gem is. It is a, a gemstone of love, a gemstone of prestige, a gemstone of beauty, and a gemstone of wonder, which is why it does take, you know, center stage in, in you know, religious locations, in um, um, the likes of crystal healing and, and to do with chakras. You know, this is one of those gemstones that has a lot going for it. It is rare. 
it is one locational. It can now be copied. We never used to, but but we are um, now create, recreating this look um, because science changes. We always used to say, oh, you couldn't recreate uh, amateur, um, amatrine. You know, you couldn't get a citrine, sorry, an amethyst and then heat it because it would just turn to citrine straight away. Science changes. Technology changes changes we can do that now so i'm just saying be careful if you are buying am um, amatrine and, and it is important to you that you get it from the very rare specific one location place because you can get amethyst from anywhere in the world and, and it can be treated to look like this but it's technically not the real deal that mother nature has given us so if you do like the real deal uh, that is as eye clean and as beautifully split with its purple and golds as this is then what a way to get it Susie's in again. JM, are you, you are kidding. What a fab price. Susie, you've worried me now. Because, okay, you know what I'm like. Um, I, as part of being a presenter, yes, okay, technically, you're meant to look at prices beforehand. Technically, you're meant to read the prices. And yes, Dion, retain that information. I don't do that. Um, because as soon as I read them, I just forget them. We have a lot of products to look at. And also, I like the excitement of learning as you do the prices on things like this. Because I shop from home. And, you know, I purchase a jewellery maker, watching the telly. I do it all over the TV. I don't do uh, much of it online at all. Um, although I do have the app, actually. Um, I watch most on telly. And, and I do it in the same way as you. So I like to learn when you do. Susie is someone who likes to shop with us. And she likes to buy a nice big range of gemstones. And I know that Susie... Is, is prepared to pay, you know, um, for very high grade quality gemstones, um, but, but also loves a bargain. So when Susie's saying, are you kidding me? That's astonishing. I know this is going to be exceptional. Get ready, get raring for your beautiful, really sensational, transparent ametrine that we hardly ever get to see. Twelve pounds and ninety-five pence is your deal. That is not a price point we should have been seeing this at at all. When is the last time you got your hands on genuine Bolivian amateurine, the real deal, totally natural, with this split and with this beauty? It's not a citrine and amethyst strand. Sometimes we'll bring you strands and it'll say like amatrine and the presenters will go, Oh, I can see some, you know citrine hues in here but we will have to call it amethyst because that's the predominant color to get the name of ametrine every single one of these gemstones have to have been a-okayed for having purple and golden hues in it and they do now again i'm going to be honest i know that you're looking at this through your screen you're going that one looks totally purple to me but it's not like technically it can't be we've had to do the tests on this to, to get it the a-okay -okay, and it's not because this is the one that to my, my eye then on the screen looked the most purple but as soon as i pick this up i can see that that third of it there is bright yellow it's just the angle that you're getting it at that shows you these colors um i think this is absolutely astonishing astonishing and jill agrees hiya jill good afternoon lovely um becky please can you hold them still so i can count them yes i'm holding we've got to go wide on two wide on two get counting jill <laughs> Less than a pound each that's working out, Jill. Please tell me what you think of this, please, lovely Jam. Absolutely outstanding quality, Isn't absolutely it? stunning. When I first started making jewellery, I sought out some Bolivianite and the strand that I received was a gemstone. However, it had been irradiated and heated so that there was an almost perfect split between a really icky yellow and a not very pleasant purple and it was like somebody had taken the worst of the worst and made it even worse i then found jewelry maker and i found bolivianite ametrine to be just the most stunning beautiful natural phenomena mm. and I, I can't get over the price that's that is crazy good it really is isn't it when you think about the rarity of this and how difficult this is to get your hands on um tommy's messaging um saying becky the um geographical history lesson was brilliant can you do some more on other gems tommy absolutely and of course um 
I am obsessed with that kind of thing when it comes to gemstones. You know, don't get me wrong, I am a magpie and I do love anything that's shiny and pretty and beautiful. But for me, the <laughs> thing that I adore about this job is learning all about everything to do with that, all the ins and outs and everything else. If I could sit here and do, you know, tell you all of that info on every single gem all the time, I would. Um, it might get a bit repetitive, um, but I would do it. Um, it's obviously just timings, which is why it's great to be able to do star buys on something as unusual as this. Because with a star buy, I'm allowed to spend a little bit more time getting to 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 really kind of get in touch with the gemstone. So, Tommy, absolutely and completely. And um, when we've got when I've got some time and stuff, I will absolutely divulge that information for you because it is exciting, isn't it? And I think it's something which you know does pinpoint no matter how beautiful man-made pieces and elements are they don't tend to have stories like like that do they you're absolutely right and i was delighted to learn that the anahi mine was named after a lady i think that's beautiful it's lovely isn't it really beautiful story yeah, beautiful. to reflect a beautiful gemstone and i and agree I'm with fascinated. you fascinated when you start talking and you tell me new information I absorb it. I absolutely love it. It's, and that's what's exciting about gemstones, it that is. they have all of those stories attached to them. And, um, you know, and that's another thing that I think is interesting about the gemstone as well. Even though it was sort of named and, and it, the kind of first time it was really looked at with that story of the, uh, the Lord and, and falling in love with the princess was the 17th century. It didn't actually hit the market until kind of the early 1980s um, as a, kind of a big proper gem that was kind of out there. And just goes to show you, it's it been a hidden treasure for centuries therefore which I think makes it even more magical anyway enough of the ranting hi Anna <laughs> how are you and um, I think you may have gone mad over the last few months the prices are absolutely fantastic it is a nice change to have a real gemstone in kits and that's from Anna Anna I totally agree with you some of the deals and prices we've been doing are just loop de loop de loop and I'm really glad that you're messaging about that kit which by the way if you're just tuned in we did a fully genuine gemstone kit three strands of genuine gemstones um, it's well, over there actually I haven't moved it yet but it's 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 it was um, um, aquamarine, multi-barrel strand, uh, rose quartz and 40 metres worth of your pearl wire and we did all of that for way better than half price which is why it's a random number at the end it was £26.65 and it was exactly £30 off and I was saying to you earlier on, if you do love genuine gemstones in kits, and if you do love all of our free tuition and everything, um, my best thing, to, my best advice for you, so that we, you know, we do carry on doing it. My best advice to you would be treat yourself to the kits, send in your pictures, text us in, let us know how much you love it on social media. Because if we're doing something and you're enjoying it, we're going to carry on doing it, aren't we? And um, so, um, and I'm really glad that you liked that, and I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that you're enjoying it today. Um, don't forget, I've got another kit coming up for you actually, which I'm slightly strewn in at the moment just a couple of the pieces in our woven day these are coming up in the second kit which again is our longest demo of the day well done every single one of you on that amatrine i'm just going to give you final few seconds now to check out okay because although this is a brand new strand it is a very rare strand and i will make you aware that i've got way less than 100 now i mean i, I we don't get to order like 300 of these when we buy it because it isn't that kind of gem. So we are low in stock already, even though it is brand new. First time to see it. Totally natural. Congratulations to all. Please check out because I don't want you to miss out because that's one that everyone should own. Um, speaking of to own. Uh, the one. Should be like a... I don't know, it sounded like that should have been a perfume advert then, didn't it? A little bit of sort of hazy music and then someone just saying, The One. The One by Jewelry Maker. <laughs> this is coming up as your one to own at 3.30. It's kind of creepy if you whisper a time. Isn't that weird? 3.30. <laughs> okay. Before the break. I'm going to bring to you an under £5 deal. It's a bail. It's here. It's sterling silver. It's yours for under £5. Go, go, itty, go, go. We are going to run towards this break. Well, it should be £6.95, but actually it's not going to be. This is sterling silver. 
fancy pendant. It's got this lovely woven design. How great would it go with those bead caps I did earlier that had that same sort of filigree finish. £6.95. Everybody pays that final closing price. Let me spin it around so you can see it. There you go. Everybody pays the final closing price. It's £2.95. That literally has just given me instant heartburn because I did not expect that price point at all. Wow, that's incredible. £2.95. This is sterling silver, right? Yes, check. This isn't plated or coloured or, or, or coated or flashed. This is genuine sterling silver, which, if you remember what I said earlier on, is up um, from last month by 4.19%-ish at the moment. Um, so that is huge. And the amount of you coming in for it is huge too you will probably 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 want to pair this with the little bead caps i did for you earlier on um as well you know the ones i mean the lovely bead caps i did for you because they've got the same sort of feel even the kind of swirls around it have got the same sort of feel this is going to be great if you don't know what to do with the bail oh it's really easy literally imagine the tweezers a chain you can just pop the chain through this loads of different sizes pop a gemstone from it maybe maybe the likes of the Labradorite or something I did for you earlier on, which was also in sterling silver, and you kind of done and dusted. Sorry, my hands are in the way, but, but you kind of get what I'm saying, don't you? Really easy to do it. Really easy peasy. Loads of viewing for this one. It does not surprise me at all. Do you know what else might be quite nice from it too? If you got that chain earlier on, let me just show you on this chain so that you can kind of go, oh yeah, that might work actually. Have a little nosy nosy. There you are. Look at that. Something like that, and then imagine your gemstone from the bottom. In fact, I can show you that because that is the power of, of tweezers. Here you are, look at that. Look at something like that. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. So that's the chain we did earlier on, and this is the star buy I did earlier on. That's nice, isn't it? That's creepy, wasn't it? What do you mean we're being mocked called the Redicans Red Rebels? By, not by, not by Ryan. Oh, not by Ryan. There he is. Look at him. What are you saying? What's your shift side or your team nickname? <laughs> <laughs> Xena Zebras? <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> yeah, well, it's you're not quite the Redican Rebels, is it, really? <laughs> Although I do love the idea of you all coming in as Zebras one day. I think we should make that happen. I think you'd all look lovely. I really do. You'd have to be careful, though, walking into shops, wouldn't you, in case people were thinking you were like barcodes. You just kept going past all of these, all of these tills and just hear these beep, beep. Oh, no, it's Zena Zebra's in again. <laughs> beep. Um, anyway, loads of you in for these. Well done, every single one of you. Okay, everyone. After the break, I have got for you a bit of something special. We, um, we've, um... Dion's been off in a meeting, yeah, but she's back now. The meeting was entertaining as meetings are, but she's ready to bring you a little bit of blue and a bit of a blue bargain deal. <laughs> I need to uh, try to go for another B, but I'm going to think of one. So, I nearly went Beal, but that's very East Enders and nothing to do with jewellery maker. Anyway. <laughs> It's been great joining you so far today. I probably will be back after the break. Um, <laughs> it's wonderful to be with you. Don't go anywhere. More creativity and unusualness after this. Did you know when you book on a Jewelry Maker workshop, you are given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call center. Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker, Ivy House, Henley Road, Outhill, Studley, B807DU. Get making and good luck. 
Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. If for any reason you're not satisfied with your purchase, you have the benefit of our 30-day money-back guarantee. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. This new strand I have for you. It is a bit of blue for you and Dion, my producer. She's been waiting for this all day. Brand new graphics alive now. That means she can own it. Ooh! Holiday! Celebrate! Da, 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 da. That could be a song, that. I might write in. I have got for you here your astonishing, out of this world, neon blue green gorgeousness appetite. This is a highly desirable, vivacious neon colour, which we can't ignore. No chance. We're not just going to make this another strand. This is brand new. This is brand blue. <laughs> Somebody write that down. This is not just any old strand. It is a star blue. Star by, don't lie, we'll try, you buy. <laughs> Wait, someone photograph this, get it on a, get it on a poster. <laughs> Just that's the tagline. That is what this strand is. It is inspiring. It is, it is quality. It feels out of this world. And quite literally, it can be out of this world. Quite literally, it could be out of this world because this gemstone has been discovered in out of space. Um, it is a gemstone which is vivacious. It is so bright and bold and beautiful in it, in its honesty and in its kind of, you know, it's 
it's unstoppable personality i would say that's what this is it has that glorious brightness and intrigue and beauty which does not quit and the fact that this is natural and it is natural in this color it's just had a little bit of heat which mother nature does ever anyway most people and places and companies don't class heat as treatment because mother nature does it anyway we do just because we like to be totally honest um but this is what its color is like it just got a little bit Bit added extra intensity and the thing is with this color in a neon appetite it's lovely to be able to see but you very rarely get to see it with this glow now the glow that you're getting in this the brilliance that you're getting in this is unignorable you're going to be able to see it even better in real life but the fact you can see it even under these studio lights and through all of the lenses and screens you're looking at me through now that is something exemplary it goes to show you the vitality and how vivacious this strand is this is not a shrinking violet this is bold this is proud this is vivacious this is there to take center stage and it is a center stage gem don't you think so Absolutely incredible. I, it's the neonest, bluest neon blue appetite I think I've ever seen in my entire yeah. life. That is astounding. And to see that that central section is up to five by three is mm -hmm. amazing as well. Stunning, because in my personal experience, I've never seen pieces that are quite that large. Right. And the larger you get, the more intense you get. Absolutely outstanding, stunning as your... I'm thinking Caribbean islands, I'm thinking Definitely. Cyprus, I'm thinking all the sorts of places that I'd like to go. Yeah, you're thinking feet in the ocean, mm. gentlemen serving you a cocktail. An iced cocktail. An iced cocktail, mm. while someone fans you with a tree leaf and, mm. and, and maybe, you know, rubbishy magazine being read to you by someone without a top on. Possibly, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, you're getting that kind of image, aren't you? <laughs> definitely, definitely. You are now, aren't you? You are now. But that's what it feels like. It feels like the most luxurious holiday you could go on. Absolutely, isn't it? definitely. I mean, I, I like a nice iced strawberry daiquiri. Mm. Uh, but there's one of the pubs in my town does something called a Blue Lagoon. Other cocktails are mm. available with blue curacao in it. Yeah. And that is really a very strong and beautiful Thing to think about. Oh, it is, isn't it? <laughs> this is Dion's ideal strand, captures her personality. Susan, hey. you're not wrong. And you know what? It's her birthday tomorrow as well. Oh no, it is her birthday tomorrow. 25 again. Um, um, it is her birthday tomorrow and she's actually off tomorrow. Um, so she's going to be giving to you sort of pre-birthday deals today on her blue strands. And this is a blue strand. She's already got the cocktail in mind. Um, she's already kind of stranded this up in her own head. And she is ready to give you a birthday standout brand new star blue deal on this for <laughs> you today. You have got it all for less. You ready for this price? Eleven pounds and ninety-five pence, usually. But today, as a Dion's pre-birthday deal, she's bringing it to you at nine pounds and ninety-five pence today. This is a launch price offer only. I do have to um, sort of say that very seriously. Launch price offer only. I cannot guarantee this deal for you any time in the future. This deal will only last until eight o'clock. Please make the most of that discount whilst you can, because realistically, at the twelve pound mark, we've got something really good there. You've got you wouldn't be able to find Neon Appetite on your high street really easily, would you? So £12, great deal. £9.95, though, is a special Dion's pre-birthday blue treat for you. That's made you smile even more, Gem. Pourquoi? Tell me why. Because it's less than a jug of said cocktail. That's oh, why. And that's forever. Hey, you're not wrong. <laughs> and you know what a jug of cocktail's for? A bad head in the morning, isn't it? <laughs> that's all that's for often. Not always, but often. Um, <laughs> £9.95. pence. This is going to last and last and last. And that deal is not. So do make the most of it whilst you can. Low to you. In fact, the majority of you multi-purchasing on this. It is a rare gemstone in one of the rarer colours. You've got these cool yet warming neon hues that give you that royalty of colour. It's, it's almost sort of a, a bright in, indigo-esque hue 
you. It is quite simply exceptional. I absolutely love and adore it. There is a queue on the phone lines. Um, at the moment in time but please just be aware that if you do hang up now and you do try and come back in on the phone lines I will make you aware that you may well be missing out on this it is new but we were only able to buy I think it was about 200 ish and um, we were only able to buy so I do apologize I think this will go well with three strands in particular and they're all totally different one is one I've already done for you this one your Labradorite I think it will go so nicely with that because I think it will bring out those blues in the Labradorite even more. That works nicely, doesn't it? If I do so, so myself. I think if you want to add a little bit of delicacy to it, then possibly go for this special strand. Hello, green kyanite. Oh, gosh, they're good together, aren't they? Oh, oh, you sort of just, they're like best mates, aren't they? I love those together. Um, or you could go for my uh oh a uh, do one to own. Now those together also work, don't they? I mean that's a, do you know what? Interesting point to make. This strand, you might think, well, that is a quirky colour. What it's like when you go down the shops and you see in the veg aisle generally that new veg you've never come across before. Hey, the one down the one down my way. There's new veggies in there all the time, quirky shapes, you can't pronounce the names half the time, never seen them before. And you look at them and go, that'd be exciting. But I haven't got a clue how to cook it, or what to do with it. And um, you might think of that when you look at this strand, you might think that's a bit quirky, I have no idea what I'd do with that. But actually, just by showing you those three very different strands, they worked with every single one. So actually, it's one of them that you should get home and try um, um, with what you've already got. And actually, you can see how far this will go. Well done, absolutely, every single one of you is coming through and getting your hands on that, and you are still going. And we'll let you know, everyone, there is a bit of a queue on the phone lines, but don't worry. The phone number is free. It costs you zero pounds and zero pence to ring it, and you do get to speak to a real human being, not a robot or any of those shenanigans that sometimes don't understand you, in particular if you've got a strong accent, and then you've got to repeat yourself over and over and over again. None of that. Um, so it's really easy to get involved. Um, <laughs> yes, right, so it did happen, I'm over it now, but basically, all I wanted was a takeaway, ended up with 17 toilet seats. It was very awkward. <laughs> but um, it's really easy to get involved, so do feel free to. 9.95, final chance on your special star blue. Well done, everybody. Someone's texting. So that was my, that was, I know what you're thinking. Who's left their phone on? <laughs> no, it was actually me. It was actually me with my text noise. Um, Becky, can you tell me what gems are in the second kit, please? I'll give you a sneaky peek. Well, I'll just give you a sneaky peek, shall I? I'll just do this. Ba-boom. I'll give you a clue. I'll give you a clue, Beverly. Ooh. He looks a lot like me dad. Now I understand that's quite a niche clue <laughs> because you probably don't know me dad, Beverly. <laughs> Unless you are au fait with the um, Redican contingency in Spain. Um, one clue is the person it sounds like looks a bit like me dad. He used to present something to do with a certain coloured ball and his last name is similar to that of a orange vegetable. Vegetable, vegetable. <laughs> I hope that helped. If, if not, Sorry, it's the, <laughs> the best I can do. Okay, everybody, we're going to hand deliver it. What did I just hear then? Where? Where is it? Where? Where are you? I've not been delivered anything. No. Oh. Right, will you present this to me with the, the sort of gravitas that it needs, please? That's it. Sorry. <laughs> Alright. So I'm sort of running up them stairs then. <laughs> this is a very, very special strand of which I have 
two chances. Two. That's it. Once it's gone, it's gone. Dion's birthday tomorrow. It's blue. There's two. It's a treat for you. Goodness. Poetry books. I see it now. You... <laughs> when did... When did Eminem get into the building, I've just been asked? <laughs> Closest I am to Eminem is... Ooh, when you get them blue ones in the packet. Ooh. Have a little look. <laughs> Faceted blue diamonds. Your price point is not yet on your screen, even if you are online. This is your genuine, real blue diamond, a very, very rare occurrence indeed. Now, please, please remember for me, there has been a lot out in the news about diamonds recently for lots of different reasons, some positive, some not so. I need to make you fully aware this strand in front of you now is absolutely and completely Kimberly process assured. What does that mean? It means that it is absolutely conflict free this is a conflict free diamond which has been ethically sourced it is a very very scarce opportunity to get your hands on the final two of these ever i mean we've not been able to reorder this strand in as of yet we only have two available in the vault if you have got someone whose birthday is coming up very special to you even just three of these on a strand would be exceptional please remind yourself of the price of the likes of your blue diamond jewelry please look out there for the likes of your um you know your blue diamond engagement rings for example if i type in right now blue diamonds and i have a little look in the shopping section on my search engine then i'm going to be reminded of the types of prices you can pay first price that comes up um, obviously, this is not like for like. Obviously, you know, these are set into jewelry. First price that comes up, £1,963. Next price that comes up, £2,950. I mean, these are the types of prices we expect. Um, there are big, big, big prices alongside this gemstone. Um, £700, £1,750,000. Wow. Okay, well, this is, I mean, this is exemplary. This is, this is a shocker one. But just to, this is a shocker one. But just to prepare you for this, this is Blue Nile. It is 22 carats. It, it's by itself. It's a certified gem. But just to let you know, it is a blue diamond. Two million, seven thousand. That's £738,270. I mean, obviously, that's not like for like, but just to make you aware, these are the types of prices you can be paying. You've got one here, which is a beautiful one. It's a 0.20, um, so it's a 20-point diamond, blue diamond, um, £490 for, for 20 points. Have you seen how many points you've got in here? That is very, very, very big amount of pointage you've got in here, but it won't be £499. It won't even be. £399. This strand is the final two. I, oh, okay, do you know what? I said final two. That's now a lie. Um, you've got you one chance now. You only get one shot. Let's do it. Let's get it. Let's own it. £129.95 pence is a deal and a half on this one. For the amount of carrots you've got in there, for the amount of workmanship that's gone into this, totally blemish-free there on the surface. At that price, one chance. I wish every single one of you look. If you've never it's sold out, I'm so sorry it sold out. Well done. There were a few of you fighting for that. A few of you fighting for that. <laughs> someone's, someone's just texting going, send us a picture of your dad, Becky. Um, I haven't got one with me at the minute. Um, if it clarifies matters, my cousin's baby has the same name as the gemstone in the second kit, and that's from Sarah. Right, okay, so if anyone didn't guess my clues, if you know Sarah and you know her... Uh, uh, Cousin baby, that's very helpful. Thank you, Sarah, for that. Someone said, get, I haven't got a picture of my dad around at the minute, but basically, imagine this person, and then, then with my nose, and <laughs> you've got it. You've nailed it. Well done, everyone. Okay, next up, Morganite. Hand delivery. <gasps> really good quality. Nice intensity on this one. Oh, okay, I've got just under 50, 49 of these, to say. Um, um, of these ones available for you. You have got real nice colour, look. 
intense, beautiful, rich colours in your morganite here. What does morganite mean for you, please, Jeff? Delicate, elegant, maturity, opulence exquisite mm. i know that's more than your three words that you'd normally want no, i'm known but for yeah, I've yeah, gone yeah. For it. no I've, i'll let you off i'll let you off because it is you it um, has that ethereal kind of pink to it it's not a very obvious beautiful absolutely beautiful stunning isn't it? it is and i've got to say on this strand in particular that saturation you're getting remember for me saturation very important <laughs> thing to make note of very important thing to notice um, saturation, um, um, let's think of it with the click, shall we? We'll do it for all of you sort of audio learners today. Um, I'm clicking now. If you pay attention to that note and the speed in which I'm doing it at, that is kind of like your um, colour and your hue. But the saturation is about to change. It's the same note, it's the same timing but there's a lot more impact from it. That is what saturation is in a strand. You can get the easy, kind of gentle, delicate pink, or you can get that gentle, delicate pink that isn't wishy-washy, that isn't as, did anyone else get a bit hypnotized then by the, tick, the clicking? Um, um, it is a, it, 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 I was like, I started to sort of sway and dance. Um, but yeah, it is, it, it's that impact basically that you're getting with this. So it's like the difference between butter and a high visibility jacket, okay? They're both yellow, they're both the same tone, but one is much more in your face than the other. That's what this has got saturation morganite isn't known for saturation it's known for being quite wishy-washy as a general rule but this one isn't i bought two of the morganite strands and the color is lovely says joyce hi joyce the gemstone um the gemstone strands are the best that is why i buy from jm and that's from joyce hiya joyce how are you thank you so much for that kudos that's lovely of you and i've got to say you're right um with this strand in particular the color is sensational pardon are we actually right we are going down in price on this and and morganite you don't expect price drops morganite i'd never expect under 30 pounds let alone under 14 pounds and under 10 nine pounds and 95 pence for this morganite strand today that is a go 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 that is why gem looks perplexed to say the least that's a really polite way of putting it. <laughs> confused, slightly annoyed, but more confused than anything, that's ace. That is ace, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing, absolutely fantastic. That really is quite an awe-inspiring price. Because, you know, obviously, we say the word awesome, don't we? Certain, you know, certain words we use quite a lot, don't we? And I think awesome is one of the words that we use quite a lot. And this, for me, is a truly awesome strand. From the basis of the word awesome, awesome, kind of awe-inspiring, sort of, um, you know, kind of overwhelming always. That's what this is. It's awesome. It's awe-inspiring as a gemstone because it's richer. It's got more saturation than we would normally expect. It's a high-end gemstone that we are used to paying higher for, but actually it beats expectation for its saturation, for its carat weight, and for its price. It's beating expectations so it truly is an awesome deal if you like what you see you know what to do free phone number or join us at drawingmakers.com 995 well done moving on i've got for you a cone <laughs> oh stardust beads okay completely misheard she's chatting about the uh, the uh, <laughs> large aperture on these <laughs> Sterling silver, big old stardust beads I've got for you now. Now, why is that a good thing, Jam? Because it opens up a whole lot of different mediums which you can use with it. So you can pop that on your faux leather strands, mm. you can use your faux suede, mm. uh, you can even sort of include it with some mediums which you weave together, such as your kumihimo fine strands perhaps, something like that. Great idea. So lots of different options rather than just having a fine uh, wire which you could use. So mm. really, really useful. Yeah, really useful therefore. And actually I'm just seeing, you know, it's useful for making really easy peasy designs as well. Such as, guess what? I've just made a piece of jewellery. Yeah, no really, literally just in that time. 
You throw one onto even quite a, a large sort of thickness chain, such as this sterling silver one I did for you earlier on. You just slide it on, it's done. One of these, beautiful, five of these, dramatic. But you can do that with this collection because there is five in it. You've got serious surface area on these, which means you've got more of that opportunity for shine and glamour. Because sterling silver gives around about 95% of the light that hits it back to the eye. That's more than gold or platinum or titanium. Um, it's just due to the, the makeup of it, in essence. Um, so it's... Oh, hands. Um, it, um, it gives you loads of light back. And what happens is we essentially... Uh, dimple it with a diamond and it therefore means that you get even more of that light interaction because if it was a smooth layer of silver you get a sheen as the light runs around it because this has got all that texture in it you get much more of this kind of bling 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 kind of stardust sprinkle effect which just plays with the light beautifully without being ostentatious you've got a big amount of you with this in your baskets get ready to check out because you're about to see the price four pounds and 95 pence for that amount of surface area and that amount of intrigue that goes into it and for that gram weight two grams worth we've got in here for you and remembering that we're up on on um what just over four percent on even last month um from today um you know 4.95 is a really great deal you have to remember that loads of you in for these loads you could do with it as i'm sure you absolutely and truly well know um i mean even just one of those say on either side of our deal of the day or on the side of our want to own to really highlight a piece I think would be absolutely wonderful and actually with this shape because of the way these pearls are they would almost sort of nuzzle in slightly hang on almost nuzzle in slightly let me hold it like that this is a way to do it a up almost nuzzle in yeah see what I mean like that that'd be a nice little finishing touch wouldn't it it kind of almost acts like a bead cap to them both, doesn't it? This is our one to own that I've got coming up for you in approximately a minute and a half. Ooh, not long to wait. Brand new, that is everybody. Brand new. Well done to you all coming in and getting this. Lovely to see you all today. £4.95 to really make the most of these. And again, talk about making your neon appetite pop. Oof. Oh. Nuggets of a very, very, very rare gemstone. Um, okay, let's, oh, where do I begin with this? Where do I begin with this? This gemstone essentially has so much I could talk about that, that I, I could sit here in an hour and wax lyrical, but quite simply, I don't have time. All I can say to you is, we have had an email sent around about this gemstone and two others, basically saying, watch yourself this is we may not be able to get it anymore if we can get it we're gonna have to go to auction for it more than likely and we're expecting to pay more that that may well happen and it may well happen soon just because the market on this at the moment is like a shocker it's through the roof it's 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 difficult to get your hands on big time and remember that jewelry maker we are one of the the biggest um crafting tv channels um in in the world actually biggest crafting tv channels that work with genuine gemstones and and, and have the kind of connections we do and therefore you know we are a big standing out there in in the community in the gemstone world but even we are finding this more and more difficult to get our hands on, in particular when it is in one of the rarest colours in the world. This is the type that is very well known. If I say to you, the Black Prince Ruby, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about, especially with this strand. Look at that. That is incredible, isn't it? That is not your everyday strand at all. Huge, natural where where spin up i'm going to actually chat to you now i'm going to chat to the connoisseurs now um on this gemstone because you know how much i love this gemstone i'm just going to say to you connoisseurs come on in get your hands on this whilst you can because um i think this is a very special opportunity for you i simply don't have time to talk to you about all of the rarity of this and, and how superb this is all i'm going to say is if you're a connoisseur you're probably already in on the phone lines you've probably already checked out this is your deal this is not to be repeated you are not serious. Gem? No, I know. 
I know. Seriously? Yeah, no, I would never have guessed that. Ever. Um, never. But the depth to that is and it's absolutely natural. astonishing. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is extreme. Okay, Connor says, I would never have guessed that price point. If I'd have guessed it, uh, to be honest, Dion did just say before she put the price in, I'm actually going under £10 on this. I thought £9.95 instantly. Um, and, and I was shocked at that. £5.95. Connor says, come on through and get it. Do you know what? If you're someone who is new and you just fancy taking a bit of a risk, Go on and do it on this one, okay? Because this is, and again, I don't have time to talk about it because I've got to do the deal one to own literally in like less than a minute. But um, this is an interesting one to learn about. It's extremely rare. It's genuinely like Spinel is a family of gems. This is one of the rarest colours, in particular in this natural saturation of colour. Um, if you're looking at that going, oh, it's almost like ruby colour. It's gorgeous. This is rarer than ruby, everyone. That's probably why you've not heard about it. So please do just, you know, just try us out on it basically naturally faceted by mother nature a beautiful strand here for you 5.95 quite simply that's an absolute bargain get it whilst you can because i haven't got a massive amount of them left probably got about 60 of them left now which sounds like a lot but with the connoisseurs who are viewing us today um from from all over then um uh, it's 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 not going to be around for long well done every single one of you now, I am about to bring to you a really lovely one. To, oh, lots of you multi-buying on this. Congratulations, I would be doing the same. Actually, even multi-buying on this would be lower than the price I was expecting as a start price on this one. So, well done, everyone. Anyway, distracted. One to own I've got coming up for you right now. And um, I just want to talk to you very briefly, if I may, about what to look for in your pearls. One of the main aspects that we want to look for in pearls to deem their quality is to do with the surface. Surface of a pearl is essentially created by a mollusk. Now a mollusk is, is essentially two shells together that work on an axis that work on a hinge. And these specific shells um, um, produce something referred to as necra. And they use necra as, as a way of protecting itself. And necra, lucky for us, um, when it is left to grow and to solidify, it becomes the basis of pearls. And, and genuine freshwater pearls are something that have always been loved. They are something which have been copied, they are something that have been recreated. And what I have for you now is genuine freshwater pearls. You want, to, you, sorry, you want to look at the necra or the orient, a surface of these pearls, because that is one of the main ways you will be able to get an expectant price on a pearl. If you see pearls that seem slightly dinted or slightly rippled or slightly knotted or, or almost like golf ball texture to them, you can get some that almost look like that. You haven't got the top quality, you haven't got the best, you've got something special mind you because it is pearl. A lot of people, and it does depend where you read because some people grade pearls, some people don't, some people have different guidelines and everything else, it's one of those worlds, um, depending on where you go, I would say the most stringent judging arena on pearls says that if the surface is 95% clear and by that it means smooth unpitted undotted unswirled if 95 percent of it is smooth you have got your quad a quality i.e the best the top the creme de la creme take a look at these quickly before we get those in and judge for yourself would you say these are 95 percent smooth in each pearl You would, wouldn't you? Okay, everybody, let's get ready to own, quite simply, the one to own. It's a stunning surface. I hope you're picking up the phone. When that one to own tune comes in, I would always suggest you pick up the phone because I, I will bring the graphics in shortly after for you. You picked up the phone, hopefully you're at the front of a queue and hopefully you're ready to own this. Brand new, never before seen, these are your pearls. 
and your graphics are live. Now, there they are everybody, your graphics are in, we've never seen this before on your delicate purple freshwater pearls. This is an opportunity and a half, isn't it? This really is a very, very special occasion. I do not get to bring you purple pearls often at all, let alone ones with such sensational surface upon them. Now, there are obviously some pearls that you want to be higgledy-piggledy, but when you're getting this kind of shape on this style of pearl from this type of mollusk this is what you're looking for quality and beauty of that surface if I just kind of pick out maybe one or two of these and um, remember I'm talking about the smoothness of them the smoothness and flatness of them now I'm about to give you a sneaky peek of another pearl I'm probably going to do for you in a second and um, just to let you know that this pearl isn't this type of a mollusk or anything else like that it's, it's a different type of pearl but this is a pearl you want to be uh, lumpy and everything else but you might be thinking of my description I can't even imagine a sort of lumpy pearl now I've seen those ones let me just show you this is a pearl as well look they can be all higgledy piggledy and everything else like I say this is from a different style of pearl it's a different type of pearl but they can be like this you know some you want to be like this some you want to be like this this style this type this strand you want it to be more like this but if we just have a little look at that just, even if you just pick out sort of three of these in your mind if I kind of hold them really straight and you're getting close remember um sorry quadruple a grade the highest most stringent people often will say for the top kind of quality five percent of each pearl can be pitted five percent of each and every pearl so when you're looking at this strand don't think yeah, 95% of that entire strand is smooth. I mean, look at every single pearl because that's what a lot of people out there do. This is a quality smooth surface. Now, what does that mean for you? Wow. Well, I'll tell you what it means. It means you get pearlescence in abundance. It means that you get the Orient, which, as I said, is created from this Necro, which is Mother Nature, um, um, a Mother Nature's product. And the Necro itself builds up and up and up and up and up. And essentially, when you look at this through a microscope, you will see these tiny, tiny, minuscule, almost pinpricks. And that's just because of the Necro itself and how it's made up. It's like if you, you know, look at um, a piece of paper that's been sliced at the end and you look at that with a microscope you can see all of these filaments and fibers even though you can't with the naked eye it's the same so what happens is essentially all these tiny 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 little holes and then the white light hits this and it gets diffracted it gets broken up into this spectrum of colors and that's what this strand does and because of that smoothness to it 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 sort of flows beautifully from one color to another it's captivating don't you think Jem? it absolutely is that surface luster is so impressive. Yeah. I really am genuinely drawn to just gaze at them. And if I am lucky enough to be able to purchase these when I leave the show tonight, when I get them home, I think there will be a lot of stroking and, and yeah, touching going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they are that type, aren't they? They so are so beautiful. Mm. I think this strand is just exceptional. It gives you that smoothness. It gives you that lyricism. It gives you that story. And we are going to give you a very, very special deal. This is a one-off purchase price offer. Mm. I can never guarantee you that price again. I am so, so excited for every single one of you. There's so many of you who were already in buying two already, and I bet you're, you who have been buying two will be adding another one to your order. You've bought one will be adding another one to your order. Because remember, when you add these to your order, even if you've got a ring in, or even if you join us at jewelrymaker.com and you've got to add another one to your order, do not forget, we don't charge you an extra £2 motion packaging every time you do that at all. One-off payment. If you've already bought one thing with us today, your payment is done on post your packaging for the day. Get as much as you want in that order. Make the most of it before midnight tonight. That is an astonishing, astonishing, astonishing opportunity for you today. I'm doing this as a premier price point. I cannot therefore guarantee you this in the future, but I can today as our one to own. Remember, on our one to own deal, we sometimes get a little bit more of a sort of a nudge, a little bit more of leeway on deal, which is why we're doing this. It's Dion's birthday. 
birthday tomorrow and she is giving you some real treats in prep because she's off tomorrow she's off in a way um she's she is she's like i'm I booked it off um so she is going to be um um she's not going to be here with us tomorrow so she's giving us some last minute treats and deals before she turns 25 again um this is a very very special special strand indeed just look at it with Oh, the green kyanite I did for you. Oh, well, I haven't done for you yet, sorry. But the green kyanite I'll do for you probably a little bit later on. Even in mention it, you know, as I showed you earlier on, with the neon appetite, look at them together. Ooh. Oh my goodness, how did I not do this before? Hello with the ametrine. That's oh. absolutely perfection. That is so, so... So stunning. Gem, I have purchased a strand for you. You are always giving, so now a little gift for you. Might actually just cry a little bit. Thanks, love. Aww, <laughs> you cute. You, That's darling. so lovely of you, Linda, and you're right, she is. Um, I think this is just stunning, stunning, stunning. Gem's now pulling on her eyes so that she so that she doesn't start a blubbing. That's so lovely of you. Such a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. um, this is a real special opportunity, a real special chance. At eight pounds and ninety-five pence for your one to own. Get this whilst you can. Um, I just think it is a really glorious, captivating strand, and that smoothness of quality is beautiful. Can I ask you? Do you like pearls? If you do, let's give you some more treats. I'll bring you some more now. Well done, everyone, on that. Isn't it nice to feel like you're, you're the first person out there to own that? Ivory, pearls first. Well, first, second. Mm. I'm going to go for. Okay, if you want some quick deals on your pearls, let's get ready, ready, let's get ready, ready, let's get ready to own them. Pearls. These are beautiful ivory pearls. Ivory, bridal-wise, is huge, isn't it? And it is that time of year, isn't it, that we've, we've all got weddings to go to and everything else. This is a completely and absolutely natural strand in its beauty. Again, you know, I'll just give it a little bit of a movement so you can see. Again, lovely surface to these. Nice and smooth. A little bit more of the swirling around them, but only a really tiny bit, which you would expect because the size is, is bigger. These are a seven by eight, so that means it's taken more and more and more time there are certain mollusks in the world that will take a very long time to create that necro thankfully the mollusks that we've got and these ones from and, and uh, pretty much all of our freshwater pearls do do create them you know um, at sort of a relative speed but there are some mollusks in the world which literally can take around about a year to create around about a millimeter of of, of necro and um, these ones are a little bit more speedy but still not you know, click of your fingers quick at all. They still take time and effort and care to look after each one of these. And, and we've kept it natural. So we haven't bleached them or dyed them or anything else like that. And that means, again, as we were talking before about the orient of these, it means it keeps it crisp, it keeps it quality. These are a beautiful strand. If you want them at £17.95, it's good. But I can make it breakfast cereal great. £14.95 is your deal on these ones today. Pearls don't need to be dropped in price. Remind yourself on the price of pearls. Really, really, really do. Um, they are something which, at this time of year, do seem to become more expensive, usually because it's kind of bridal season, and they do become more expensive. And remember, too, that if you are if you are going to a wedding or if you are creating for someone's wedding, do remember that pearls have big connotations to that, said to be the tears of angels. Um, a really beautiful strand there. Well done, everybody. Next up, the ones I showed for you. Your eyes went like saucers when I got these out. <laughs> Oh, if you love rainbow colour, you're going to love these. Look at those. Sorry, let me just go to a smaller section so I can sort of give them a bit of a swirl for you. Oh, look at all those colours. Oh, that is special, isn't it? These are absolutely beautiful. Genuine B-Water Pearls. 
the bee worm mollusk is different to the mollusks, uh, the type that I've shown you in previous strands that I've just brought to you. It is a mollusk which by all accounts should be extinct. Um, it became very, very, very uh, poorly basically when it was in its first location, which is a Biwa Lake in Japan. Um, it be they became polluted and they are quite a pernickety mollusk. So we managed to rescue them. We managed to save the mollusk, which meant we were able to save this pearl, which is known for its kind of higgledy-piggledy nature, which means that when the Orient of these diffracts that light, it gives you this slick movement of almost mermaidial colors because of the light and the way it is splitting time after time after time. Biwa pearls, an expensive pearl because it does take a long time for the mollusk to create the necker on these. Um, and don't forget, you don't essentially have a core to these, if that makes sense. They don't essentially have the, the big um, nucleus that you might expect. So again, you need more and more of the necker for that, which takes more and more time and more and more care and more and more money. And then you remember it's jewelry maker and we do deals like this. Nine pounds and 95 pence for center drills, drilled all the way through the longest point Biwa pearls. That means they're gonna sit differently to the Biwa pearls we're used to working with. Maybe you have got some that are almost top drilled or center drilled. You're gonna be able to do those like spikes coming out of these, aren't you? Or even if maybe those ones that do hang down, you've thought they're a bit big, they're a bit much for me. This, hang on, uh, this, it's touching at the back, full necklace length, done and dusted, ready and wearing. You don't really have to do much more than that, and they just add so much interest. Oh, hello, Sally. Just finished Katie's shell pearl and Swarovski bracelet from this morning, but used cultured pearls instead. Oh, that's nice. Those ivory pearls will be perfect, says Sally. Sally, I love an afternoon of creativity, me. Oh, yep, you've had a really nice one, have you? Have you really been in the zone? really in the zone, sort of just making a way. That's a great idea, a great way to do it. Um, get those ones whilst you can for that idea. Thanks for sharing that with us, Sally. Um, do you know what actually might also be rather snazzy? I love these. Wait, is this one right? This can't be right. This is shell. Yeah, where, where's the one you're talking about? I haven't got that. I haven't got that box at all. These are coming up for you a little bit later on. Shell pearl. Oh, here they are. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look at those. Arr. Black pearl. That film's out as well at the minute, isn't it? Um, oh, these are lovely. These are coming up for you right here, right now. Black pearls, actually with the one to own how do i look at they now our graphics have just logged out <laughs> don't worry they'll sort themselves out whilst they are let's talk about what we might do with this black pearl strand absolutely adore pearls in more modern or slightly edgy colourways. So when you get your peacocks or your bright greens or your deep blues, and especially the black pearls, they're exceptional good fun to work with. Mm. When you have the opportunity, as we bring you quite often, uh, the chance to get lots of nice pearls for under a ten or something like that, what I tend to do is keep those to make my bracelets with, and then I'll have something really special in the centre and that would be one of my centerpieces. Mm. So one of the more diminutive pearls going all the way round, one of those in the middle. I love that idea. Just as, and that, that will just give you a central point, that will just give you a focal point, but you're gonna be able to do that over and over and Many, over. many, many times. Those are stunning, absolutely stunning. It's kind of the gloss <laughs> that I'm really drawn to on these. They are glossy, aren't they? Like magpie feathers. Yeah, exactly <laughs> like that. What kind of colour metal might you use with these if you wanted to do a bit of, say, weaving or whatever? I would want to mix my metals and I would go for the warmer end of the scale. At the moment, I'm really heavily into my antique bronze and my coppers. Mm. So I'd love to see those with maybe a warm copper because it's quite bright. That's the perfect counterpoint. That's and in really fact, cool. one of those where the mystery gemstone in this bracelet yeah. sitting instead would be perfect. 
stunning that'd be your graphics are now live on this one there you go if you want to get your hands on them do apologize for the slight technical issue but it's all back up and online and sorted right here right now well i say that but my things logged me out now um but anyway we are going to do you a great deal we're going to give you a great treat we're going to roll it down to a very special price point of just £7.95. That's your deal on this one today. If you like what you see, free phone number at the bottom of your screen to add to your order or join us at jewelrymaker.com. Don't forget, you can download the app as well if you want. Um, um, you can take it on your phone, on your tablet. You can um, take it kind of anywhere with you. If you're on the bus, if you're going somewhere nice, A up. I'm going camping this weekend. I'm going back down my neck of the woods. Um, I'm heading up to Windermere this weekend for a lovely camping trip. I oh, know, nice, I'm excited. Um, but yeah, you could take us camping with you. That'd be snazzy, wouldn't it? Because let's be honest, sometimes when you're camping, you can't sleep, can you? Sometimes when you're camping, especially if it's raining or it's just a bit gaily, you can't sleep. Well, what about having us on your phone? Just pop that on, you can watch us at your leisure. Um, £7.95 is your price point on these black pearls. Well done, everyone. So essentially, I've done for you three strands of pearls back to back, and we're going to want to finish them off, aren't we? So let's finish them off with a clasp. Cord ends. Now we are talking, talking? <laughs> talking. What, you, what am I talking about? Um, we have been talking about woven designs today. And one word that we've thrown in there, like it's nothing, is kumahimo. Kuma who? Um, kumahimo. Now, kumahimo is a medium. Discuss kumahimo with us for anyone who is brand new and joining us today. It's not my area of expertise. I'll be the first to admit that. But as far as I'm aware, uh, kumahimo was used for quite strong structural pieces, things like the obi belt and also for hanging weaponry, yeah. um, among other ceremonial items as well. So my function of, of kumihimo is quite basic. I'll do an eight weft weave and just changing the colours around can give you a completely different look. Mm -hmm. When you come to the ends, you need something to finish that off. Now you can wags Wyco if if we if you have any available at the moment. I don't know, but these are absolutely spot on, perfect, yeah. really beautiful to finish off your finer designs. Yeah, that is it, isn't it? Oh, that they're is. Lovely. And to get it in sterling silver is not something we see often. I've actually been in to buy cord ends like this into a well-known crafting and hobby store and um, they did a pack of two, I want to say. Was it one or two? I want to say maximum two. They weren't sterling silver um, um, at all. They were brass with a little bit of silver over the top. And I couldn't believe the price of them. They were just shy of just shy of ten pounds. They were, and that was maximum. There was two in a pack. There might have even just been one. It was. It was sort of a year or so ago now. But to get it in sterling silver, I think we're prepared to pay that much for them. You know, we're prepared to pay sort of ten pounds ish for a copper variety because it is bespoke and it is something that makes life so much easier, doesn't it? Absolutely, and if they're nicely finished, then yes, you will put it out there. Mm. But to have that solid precious metal, exquisite. Mm. Mm. Absolutely yeah. exquisite. Yeah, absolutely exquisite. To get it in sterling silver for less than £10 is phenomenal. In particular, when you sort of look at the movement of this and how that is going to move, really easy. If you don't know, like, well, how do I use them? It's a clasp. I'm sure you recognise this, sort of a lobster claw clasp. It's a clasp. But at the end here, you've got, like, those loops, which means that say you finish off like almost a friendship bracelet design a little bit of glue pop it in there leave it until the glue says it's dry and then you've got a fully done piece so your friendship bracelet would kind of go from here all the way around or a friendship necklace maybe you've got someone who's off on their school holidays and they're heading back next week and they're a bit you know they maybe want to make something for one of their teachers or they want to make it for one of their friends you know or school holidays sorry summer holidays are coming up really soon i think i mean sort of a week off's brilliant but let's face it six weeks off is better um but it can get a little bit boring can't it after six weeks we all know that it can and for adults it can get a little bit frightening to think of what to do can't it um something like this to have just as a quick oh here you go have some lovely threads and some lovely cords and pop them in there 
saves you a bit of time and a bit of stress and can keep you busy for hours. £6.95, well done, one and all. Now, it's time. I was talking to you earlier on about Mother Nature and the truth of Mother Nature and how quite sensational she is. What I'm about to bring you now is a very miraculous gemstone. Gem, can I borrow the strand that you have brought with you? Um, because I want to show you this strand. Now, this is not the strand you're going to be able to purchase now at all, but I want to be able to show it to you, thank you, Gem, for what you will normally expect of this gemstone. Kyanite. That's what we usually expect from kyanite, which is rare, which is unusual. But today we're not getting that. We're getting this. That is a whole different kettle of fish and a whole different level of, of intrigue and a whole different level of rarity. This strand right here, absolutely as rare as you like to get blue kyanite with the stories behind it and that miraculous appearance of it being brought together in, in this historic move is astonishing. But we've taken it to a different level with the strands I'm about to bring you. Right here, right now, it's your star buy. This is bigger. This is miraculous. I've got 25. 25 and that is it once this is gone this is gone this is quite simply miraculous in all different ways this is quite simply for you a very rare and scarce opportunity indeed you have got to be quick off the mark to get your hands on true treasures such as this you really really do it is not something we see often at all and why is that well i've got a slide to tell you exactly why well sort of to give you an idea as to exactly why on this slide you are about to see how kyanite in general has been created and how kyanite in general gets to unique and individual locations in the world take a little look now this is Mother Nature. Now for anyone who doesn't know, there might be some, some new people watching who, who don't know this, but basically the Earth in its simplest form, although it looks like a perfect solid round to us, doesn't it? If we look at it on a map or if we look at it in a globe, it looks like a perfect solid round, doesn't it? Well, actually, as well as us uh, moving, as well as us orbiting the sun, actually our Earth is very, very, very slowly, but almost constantly moving itself. So it looks like a solid ball, like a football you might have in your garden, or a tennis ball you might have at school. It looks a little bit like that. But actually, there are elements that the Earth is made up of that are referred to generally as tectonic plates. Now these tectonic plates push and move together and as they push and move together that's what this picture shows. So the top picture there is almost two tectonic plates that are um, meeting and as they meet and they slowly, 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 I'm talking over hundreds of thousands of years, push together you'll see that one has to eventually buckle and that is how you create a lot of these huge mountain ranges. So you can see that that ocean or that river if you will was once there it no longer is because of all of that pushing of tectonic movement which has actually pushed out that river up to this mountain top now that is where you will get this gemstone from that is why this gemstone comes from some of the highest locations in the world because there's tectonic plates moving together and they fight and fight and fight and fight and then they eventually buckle and it creates these these mountainous areas which is where you get this gemstone from in general rules which is why it's difficult to get your hands on because you can imagine having to trek up these huge, huge mountains and then having to bury down and dig inside them. I mean, th the amount of work it would take is astonishing. That's how you get the majority of your blue kyanites. 
To get the green kyanite, you need something different. You need something which has different elements in there, different ingredients in there. Like when you're making a cake, if you add different ingredients, you get a different cake. It's the same for kyanite. This is a very, very, very rare variety. To get kyanite, for all of that tectonic movement anyway, is difficult, but to get it in the green variety is almost unheard of. I have 25 but that's about to change because your graphics are coming live. I wish every single one of you luck. There are your graphics. They're up and in and on your screen. This is rare beyond belief. You have got this exquisite natural colour. It's one of the colours of the year. And it really is true, true, truest of beauty. I think this is completely astonishing. I love and adore it. I need to hear from you what you think of it. People are checking out very quickly. Do continue to do so. Now heading towards 20 of these available. Gem. I know you love kyanite. That's why you bought the blue variety. Tell me what you love about this strands. Exquisite. Absolutely phenomenal. The glitter coming away from it. The completely uniqueness of that colourway. There's nothing quite like it. When you first pulled that out, I thought, huh, I wonder if that's a Colombian emerald. No, no, it's not quite right. You'll have people guessing. They won't necessarily have seen this gemstone before. And I think for me, if I was sat at home purchasing this, I would absolutely be pressing that 25p extra. Please give me an authenticity card for this item. Um, because I think you, you will have people wondering. Yeah. And it's it's stunning, absolutely exquisite. It really genuinely is like a whole other category, a whole other level of, of rarity and individuality. Lots of you with this in your baskets. Margot's in. Hi Margot. Afternoon, JM. I have green kyanite and it is like nothing else. It's beautiful. Love your designs, Gem, and that is from Margot. Thank you very much, Margot. In Fife, I hope you're having a lovely day. And you're absolutely right, there's nothing like it. There totally really agree. isn't. Completely agree with you. There is nothing quite like it. It is not a peridot green. It's not an emerald green. It's not um, um, uh, even, you know, certain jasper greens. It's not a, a turquoise green. It's not a tanzanite. It, it, it's no colour that you can think of. This is just what it is. And this strand does it perfectly, doesn't it? It's like a vintage green. It's like a vintage rose garden. I mean, if you paired those together, you can almost imagine those as the blooms and these as those dainty stems, can't you? If you think about Japan in the spring with the sakura Perfect. blossoms, this is the very delicate, beautiful, grown-up, exotic, gorgeous version. Perfect. You're right. If you want to add a bit of sparkle to maybe some of your most treasured jadeites, what a way to do it! Under £30! No, under 25 Okay, didn't see that coming. As I say, I don't check prices because I forget. £24.95. That is exceptional. That is an astonishing, astonishing deal. This is serious, serious, serious rarity indeed. I am absolutely blown away if you're getting your hands on this. Um, good luck to you all. There are lots of you with it in your baskets. I'm just going on Jewelry Maker right now. Um, we don't have much kyanite at all out there. We really, really, really do not. Kyanite. And don't forget for me, the rarity of this is, is very, very sort of important. It's quite an enticing, interesting gem to learn about. Um, I mean, I'm looking now at what green kyanite we have. We've actually only got two other strands on our website, one of which is 25 carats and it is at 27.95. The other of which is 48 carats um, and that is at 34.95. So do feel free to look at those if you so wish. But in my opinion, well, th this is lower price than both of the ones that we currently have. I think this is your very special chance indeed at 24 95 isn't it? It's outstanding, genuinely outstanding. I did not see that one coming. <laughs> no. I mean, realistically, that is something special indeed. It is. Um, and I am going to be talking to you probably in our final hour um, a little bit more about, about colour and, and um, kind of, because woven wonders, that, which is our theme today, that's what colours that are woven together can create such a stunning look and that's why I will be really focusing on colour a bit more in our final hour. I'll sort of talk you through the colour wheel and analogues and complementary colours and secondary colours, etc, etc. I'm just kind of a brief overview, but colours like this sit so well in so many different varieties and different looks of pieces it really really does so good luck to you if you do like the analog colors oh my gosh how stunning is this 
Wow, 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 wow. Wow. One of my favourite gems of all time, opal. Opal. I know. You would never guess it, would you? Ever. Not really at first glance. You can tell when you lift it up to the light, though, and you get this almost aura emitting from the centre of these. It is... Uh, like apple green de delicate glow you get right in the center of these you'll, you'll be able to see when you get that home but i love those two together i think it's glorious and um, good luck to everyone um on the final two or three of that cayenne i wish you luck once it's gone it's gone um not sure how much um if we're ordering any more green cayenne actually hmm. um anyway well done everyone okay we're gonna head on over to a break after the break this and more When you place your first order with Jewelry Maker, we'll send you a free DVD and booklet to help you get started. The booklet is jam-packed full of information on gemstones, tools, threading, materials and findings. There are step-by-step -step instructions on how to make bracelets, earrings and necklaces. And the DVD includes easy-to-follow video tutorials. So what are you waiting for? Start your jewelry making journey today. Buying from Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When we bring an item to you, all the graphics come on screen. And this gives you all the information that you will need to know. From the item code to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on. And whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So, when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jewellery making journey today. Jewellery Maker, the one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Did you know when you book on a Jewelry Maker workshop, you are given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Fifty-one of these. Once they're gone, they're gone. Nothing quite like it. Quite frankly, have a little look. This is a unique individual colour. Yeah, it's real opal. Oh, hello everybody. How is your day going? I hope you're having a lovely one. Do you know what? It's Wendy after Wendy. It's Wednesday afternoon. It is. 
It's Wednesday afternoon. It's gonna. It's we're more towards the weekend than we were on Monday. If you want a little bit of sunny shine on your face, this is a great one. Apple green opal. Oh, it's jadeite perfection, isn't it? Have a look. Stunning. I absolutely love it. It is individual. It is different. It isn't quite the normal colour. But you can tell it's opal when you get this home. Hold it up to a light or hold it up to the sun if you're lucky enough to be in a place that at the time has some sun. And you will see from the centre this natural brightness emitted. It's almost like an aura or like an inner glow that you get from this. And it's to do with the structure of the tiny, tiny silica spheres that refract the light um, at kind of deep angles to give you the beauty of this. I've already got multi purchases on this. I have now got less than 40 of these ones available. So if you like what you see, you know what to do. Pick up the phone and come on through. I don't know why I keep rhyming today. It's just happening. Um, I have got for you here your green opal. It is sensational. It is beautiful. Left, white right, and centre multi-bidders on this one. If you want to get it, final few chances. JK, are you 10? That is your code on this one today. If you like it, free phone number at the bottom of your screen. Never made an order with us before? Do not worry. It's so easy to do. All the info's there that you need. And also, we're going to be giving you free demonstration very soon, literally within a minute or two. Longest demo of the day for free. And you get to make along with us if you want to. Um, well done to every single one of you who's coming in and getting these. You ready for it? Green Opal, your deal, your option, your price. Wow. My name is Becky, this is 895. I'm joined today by Gemma, who looks as shocked as I feel. That's seriously an impressive price, and I have never seen Opal in this colourway before. It's very refreshing, it's vivacious. And it's natural. Naturally that colour. Seriously? Color. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Totally That's natural. absolutely outstanding. Can you imagine teaming that with some Russian dioxide mm. and saying these two gemstones are out of the ground like this? Yeah. Wowzers, that is amazing. Isn't it stunning? Wow. And let me just briefly, if I may, show it you again with my green kyanite, yeah. which I've literally got like single figures I've left. But just look at them together. Cool. Oop, come back you. Look at those together. Whew. Beautiful. I was just thinking. Oh, I can tell you like them. I do like them. I'm just I thinking. I thought she was just blowing me a kiss, but she was just going, that? ooh. <laughs> It was thinky face. It was, uh, was it? Oh, right. <laughs> I was just thinking, if you popped one of the black pearls with it, that would be Ooh, really unusual. Oh, yes. But I think those colours are absolutely stunning together. Well, that works nicely. You're not wrong. But you're very, something a bit very different. Rarely are. OK, they are about to sell out. So good luck to one and all. Totally natural, real deal, Opal. Got about, I want to say, 15 of those ones left, possibly slightly more. Um, but we are heading towards the teens on those ones now. £8.95, pence, a very special deal. And actually, if you wanted to add a little bit of a springtime pop to the sort of autumnal colours we've got in my kit that's coming up now, what a lovely way to do it. It really would be. It's like old growth and new sprigs of fresh growth. Totally agree with that. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Like when you get those new blooms coming through. £8.95, well done one and all. Just to make you aware, if you have got it in your baskets, you are not alone, because there are a lot of you who do. Um, so do check out, I just don't want anyone to miss out as usual. Well done everyone on that, a great deal. Let me also let you know, I do have another couple of star buys coming up for you today, okay? I've got one coming up for you toward the end of this hour, slash early on next hour, um, that is going to make you smile. We're going to do a bit of a, a bit of a special jewelry make a deal on it. Anyway, 8.95, well done, one and all. Okay, it's time to dive on into our kit. And my kit's over by Gem, so should we go over there? Let's do it. Um, we've had lots of people messaging in, saying, oh, what's, what's going on in this second kit? What are you adorned in, um, Bex? And, um, well, you're about to see. Because for <laughs> this demonstration, I'm heading on over here to the lovely Gem, and she's going to be telling us all about this exquisite kit. Beautiful. The colours are just something we haven't seen for a very, very long time, aren't they? Everything goes together so perfectly absolutely naturally together. Gorgeous. 
And you've done a huge, I better take this off so you can get some pictures of me <laughs> properly, but um, you have done an absolutely huge array of pieces. What were you inspired with with this collection? I started off with the Dreamcatcher, actually, and, uh, you know, the first kit was Dreamy, so this was the Catcher of Dreams. I love that. The Catcher of Dreams. Now, when you think of a Dreamcatcher, I suppose you do think kind of quite natural colours such as this, don't you? You do, you indeed. You do think of these kind of warming, rich tones, and um, I think that's most certainly what we've got here, haven't we? It we've is. got that beauty, do apologise, we've got that beauty and intrigue. Um, of, of those natural colours that are quite sort of feathery and um, in their look, aren't they? If you think of uh, animal skins or, f as you say, feathers, owl feathers were quite often used, owl feathers for wisdom, eagle feathers for courage. Mm. So when you make your dream catchers, you can think about the sort of things that you want to have represented with it. Definitely. I love that as an idea. Um, and you have definitely gone with that feather feel here in, you know, with the dream catcher, with that necklace, with the earrings as well. Um, what is it about the feathers that have inspired you here? I just love nature. I mm. love animals and um, Native American culture. Mm. Uh, all of the, the, the bits and pieces that we're sort of discovering over hundreds of years worth of culture. Mm. I, th I think it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, and nature primarily really, because the colours are so natural. It, it just It's very easy, very easy to be inspired. And you keep saying, you know, natural and beauty and Mother Nature. So it would be rude if I didn't bring you these mm -hmm. two strands. Um, I have not seen strands like this in a kit in a very, very long time. And boy, it feels nice to have them in here. Just so personality fueled two strands of your Jasper pink zebra jasper i mean you must have been over the moon and back oh most definitely i mean i can't remember the last time that i saw a, a jasper coming my way mm. let alone a zebra jasper mm. with those beautiful delicate hints of color in there it's, it is stunning and when you say about personality each and every gemstone on these strands is completely unique yeah. each and every one tells a story just I couldn't get over it. <laughs> Again, that's the way Mother Nature works. She brings in these ingredients that swirl together to make totally unique shapes. Pick any one of these Jaspers, pick any one, and know that you will never ever see one like that again. You will never get to work with one like that again. Not one that is exactly the same with the exact amount of color in the exact place. Because they're all so different, they're all so individual. They're as individual as a snowflake. They are so unique. And that's what I love about Mother Nature. And um, Bev's messaging saying, wow, Gem, your designs have left me speechless. Uh, speechless. I love the uh, love dream captures. Beverly, you'll be glad to know we're going to learn how to create this piece. And Native American men, says Sally. Also, quite a fan of <laughs> Sally is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sally, for that image. It's going to see us through the day. <laughs> You're we'll a little Sally. Hot, hot tubs and cocktails. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> I haven't forgot about that either. Um, um, these are two stunning strands, and we've really gone with the warmth of these colours by bringing you some Swarovski to go alongside them. Now, I've not actually seen these colours together before. I've not actually seen this colour at all. This is your smoky colour of Swarovski. Um, it's got a lovely kind of depth to it, actually, hasn't it? It really does. It's a beautiful creation. And to combine with the silk as well, those two together are such a perfect match. Yeah. Really, yeah. really gorgeous. They've got such a feeling to them. And again, I don't think I've seen these ones either. They were both new colours to me. Yeah, I've never seen either of these ones, personally. What a beautiful feeling and finish these ones are. Aren't they? They are absolutely exquisite. I mean, I've worked with the Golden Shadow before, which is a slightly deeper Slightly tone. deeper, yeah, yeah, you're uh, right. But they are absolutely ideal to go yeah. together. They are 
just a beautiful hue and a beautiful selection of colours in there. That actually work nicely alongside the Jasper. They really do. I mean, you can keep them separate if you so desire. Mm -hmm. You can work with the ones with just the smoky tones, work with just the silk tones, mix it all up together, have just your genuine gemstones in one piece, or add a little splash of Swarovski alongside. Of course you can. Absolutely incredible choices that you've got. Definitely. And all tied together perfectly with our wire, of which I've got a big amount. So let me just go. Sorry if these are slightly sporadic, but I'm going to go for um one mil wire i've also got 0 0.4 wire i've got 0 0.8 wire i've got 1.25 wire i've got 0 0.6 wire and i've got 0 0.4 wire um for you as well and um, we've got that glorious really nice rich color so much warmth and depth that matches in perfectly for scooch it, scooch, 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 with all of these other components. A big kit, actually, I think you'll see. Massive amount of spools, genuine gemstone strands with your well-known Swarovski crystals, all for a dream catcher deal. Um, is that right? <laughs> Um, I did not see that price coming in. I think that was quite blatantly obvious with the shock and panic actually on my face. That really is a sensational well, deal. I can't think of a time I have seen a kit at that price. I mean, how many components? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's two pound twenty basically a component. Yeah. Okay then. Do not hesitate for one second. Get it in your order whilst you can. And please remember for me as well um, that I had some rounds in the first kit for you. So actually, although you might have to tweak a little bit, maybe with some of the gauges. Actually, you wouldn't, would you? You could even use the first kit to sort of... Um, uh, maybe create the ring you learned in the first kit in a different colourway if you wanted to you've got it that way around all same vice versa um, for the different gauges um, and that was um, your fully genuine gemstone kit as well £30 saving on that one big saving on this one also never seen Zebra Jasper before can't take my eyes off it does it come in other colours and that's from Beverly hello Beverly Zebra Jasper does indeed yep um, just let you know this is a real colour this is a real true colour um, Jasper's a really interesting one. I love Jasper because basically, if you find a jazzy looking Jasper, you can call it whatever you like. You can give it any name you like. <laughs> you could literally say you went and discovered a brand new Jasper now in your garden and you decided to call it Bob Jasper. Then you'd be allowed to do that crazy isn't it but pink um, um zebra jasper is one that we don't get to see often at all and it is so individual i've been looking for zebra jasper for ages love 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 i agree why oh why <laughs> oh why do you not bring more of these natural beauties? Zebra Jasper, absolutely gorgeous, as well as other Jaspers, says Claudette. Claudette, absolutely agree with you. Natural beauties are always captivating and always something sensational. And if you do love your natural gemstones, Claudette, and you've just tuned in, my first kit today, which we might still have one or two of, was made up of uh, fully just genuine gemstone strands, um, aquamarine, rose quartz, and a multi-barrel. And there was wire in there as well, that um, um, pearl wire um, too. Um, so if you did want to get your hands on that kit, that was totally natural, genuine gemstones. So why not have a little nosy? And I love these. Their personality, their character, they're yours for a bargain price of £2.20 a strands. Eh? I know. I get them whilst you can. <laughs> and you get, as always here at Designer Inspiration Time, Masterclass Time, you get the longest demo of the day. And again, let me remind you that if you like our longest demo of the day, the best way I could say for you to show your appreciation is to do things like buy the kit, make pieces, send them into the Wall of Fame, let us know how you feel about it on social media because 
if we um, if we feel like you don't like the long demos, then obviously we probably won't do them for you know we'll probably try and find something different to do. But if we think hey they love these long demos, we're going to keep them going, and who knows we might even add more. So do um, you know show your appreciation and let us know the love for it um, in any way you can if you like it. That is. Um, does the kit come with any instructions? Well, Ross, really good question. <laughs> so this is our kit. As you can see, Gem has made all of these pieces from this one kit but actually Jem has some bits left over as well from this kit so Ros you can make all of these pieces um, but you're going to want instructions aren't you so we give you free with our masterclass this section of the day every single day we bring to you free demonstration so if you watch if you buy this kit now and watch this live now. You can actually, when you get the kit home, if you make a note of today's date and time, you can actually watch it back for free on YouTube when you buy this kit, so you can make along at home also. Um, this is the dream catch. We're gonna be learning to make that today. Hi, I'm loving the show. Please, can you tell me how to find the demos on YouTube? And that's from Julia. Yes, Julia, it's really easy. Do you know what? I'm going to get it lined up on here for you. We'll start the demo and then I'll show you literally in a minute or two, if that's all right. Um, so stay where you are, Julia. Lovely lady. Indeed. We're talking weaves today and we're going to be learning how to create this stunning dream catcher, aren't we? It's a slightly different weave. Mm. It still involves a process that would be considered weaving. Fantastic. Uh, because I know that we've got lots of wonderful wire workers here. Uh, so I did quite a classic weave for the first demo, and this is something a little bit different. Perfect. So we're working with two gauges of wire and four of the smaller gemstones. Mm -hmm. Now you could put the Swarovski in your dream catcher if you so prefer, but I really love to have gemstones in mine. Mm -hmm. um, so I've just used four of the smaller ones. Are they four millimetre, the little ones? Yeah, I think you're right on yeah. those. Yeah, okay. four. Yeah. So pick your four favourite for north, south, east and west, mm -hmm. and then you've got your four stations covered. And there's a lot of myth and legend associated with your dream catchers, which um, you will be able to find out there on the internet if you so desire. Absolutely. The general idea is to let the good dreams through. Yeah, and speaking of the internet, Julia, this is for you or anyone else who wants it. Um, so basically what I've done is I've opened up a whole new tab and I've typed in um, youtube.com. So you type it into your search engine up here, as you can see. Um, you then click the little um, button at the top um, that looks like a little searching, what's it called, magnifying glass. Click that and I've typed in jewellery maker. This page then comes up. You can see this jewellery maker logo here. If you press on that, it'll load it. And you'll see at the top it says videos. Go and click on the videos aspect and you will see in date order pretty much all of our shows in order. So you can go way, 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 way back. And um, they will all be on there. So if you make a note of today's date and time, you can click on one of them, you can skip to the time you want, and you can watch the demonstration for free. Um, so I hope that helps you, Julia. Literally just type it into your search engine or go to youtube.com, jewelry maker, click on that button, go to videos, and it's all up on there for you. I hope that helped. What I will try to do is pop a link to the show YouTube video on my designer page. When I upload the photographs of the jewellery, usually the next day, I'll, I try to remember to put a link in. But if I haven't, just ask me and I'll find it for you. Any of the shows that I've been involved with, I can soon put that up there for you. And you can find Jem at Facebook, on Facebook, sorry, at JM Guest Designer Jem Hawks. That's so Jem with a J. Jem with a J. Jem Hawks. Um, so do have a little look at that and she'll try and do that if she remembers. Okay, Jem, let's get going. Let's dive in. Brilliant. So we're working with two gauges of wire today and, as I say, four of the smaller gemstones. And both of these gauges of wire and more is in the kit, don't forget. They certainly are. And I've got probably more than I need here, which is around about 20 inches of the heaviest of the wires, which is from memory 1.25 perfect framework once you put it into a shape it's very likely to stay in that shape that's good so if you have one of our round bangle mandrels at home that's the perfect thing to use you can use a can of pop or i've got some little flakes that i stole off the shelf some i will flakes. put them back yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, but really, it depends how big you want your dream catcher to be. So what I'm going to do is going to go about two thirds of the way along my length of wire and just create a circular form. Now it doesn't need to be too tight or too tidy at this stage. You can see that I've got far more wire than I actually need. Just going to release that out and pop the pot to one side. Once I've got uh, the basic idea of a circular frame, mm -hmm. I'm going to pop a right angle bend in my longer piece of wire and have that coming up and away. The piece that comes around to form that circle, I'm just going to manually edit that so that it sits slightly more nicely to my designs. Once I've decided just about the size that I want to uh, make the dream catcher, I'm going to put a very gentle curve just coming upwards about 20 degrees. So you can see, if I put that on the white, I've decided that's where the size that I want to use, but yep. I've got this little notch going upwards. Mm -hmm. I'm then going to go in with quite a fine set of pliers, and about two millimetres up from where I put that little bend, I'm going to grip quite tightly and push that tail of wire away from me. And I'll show you that that goes at around about 90 degrees behind. Yeah, you see that? The reason I do that is when you have that little notch coming up, you'll end up with a far more perfect circle than if you try and wrap around mm. the upright wire without it. putting the bend in. Good tip, love that. The next idea is to hold that little notch in your pliers and push this shorter tail of wire back around. So we're starting to wrap our upright, mm -hmm. but because it's a very firm wire, if you don't hold the circular section, what can happen is it will drag around and you will end up with that slightly wonky circle. Okay. And I'd quite like it to be a nice circle today. So I'm just going to edit the design, uh, sorry, the circle as I go along, make sure that I'm happy with it. Once I've got that going, you can see the wire has sort of come back on itself now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold that into position and you can still, with your hands, just get a nice little curve going on. And we're going around. Now that's gone slightly wide, so I'm just going to go in with the pliers and give that a squeeze and get that nice and tight around the neckline. Now I'm not going to spend too much time on this right now because this is simply wrapping a coil around wire. So I'm just going to cut the tail off and then just smooth that end around so that it sits flat and away from where your line of sight is. So that's our basic framework. Now, when you come to making your hanging device, you can quite simply do a wrapped loop or you can make a slightly more complicated bale. It's entirely up to you. I'm just going to leave that as a very simple wrapped loop for now. So what I'm going to do is go in with some quite hefty flat-facing pliers. These are from the Deluxe Jewelry Making Kit which you can get if you call the call centre or you join us at jewelrymaker.com. Type in toolkit, you'll be able to see them on there. They're less than 15 quid. They're usually around about the 10 pounds mark. Trust me, you will want the tools to create things like this. Don't think, I've got a toolkit in my garage. It's not the right kind of stuff and you don't want to damage your wires. So if you are new, it's well worth it. And trust me, they will last and last and last and last. So do get them whilst you can. And whilst you're there, actually, we are talking about, what, which one did you want me to do, sorry? Okay, we are talking about mandrels, etc. And we oh, did have someone lovely. before um, um, sort of asking about the uh, mandrel for the ring um, maker, the ring that we made before. Um, and we have actually got a ring mandrel here. So in the first demonstration, we showed you a fully genuine gemstone kit that we took over 30 pounds off, 31 pounds to be precise. And um, we were talking about the ring mandrel. Gem was using this wooden one, which obviously is good. It does the job Jem obviously adores it but as you can see it doesn't actually have any of the sizes on this one does which is great if you don't know your own size but also you can hammer onto this one as well which again you can't do with the wood so that means you can strengthen wire etc so you shape around this to create earring findings ring sizes and ring findings hammer onto it stamp onto it loads you can do with this it comes with a little pouch which does get other um a piece of equipment in there it's only eight pounds and 95 pence so do get that one whilst you have the opportunity um, because we truly, truly, truly don't get to see it that often, actually, do we? You don't. That's actually the one that I use at home every single day. 
this one I carry with me because it's much lighter, lighter and I have to carry a lot of tools with me. So it just makes sense to carry my wooden one, but I, I can absolutely heartedly endorse that. I do use it every day. And the very smallest end is perfect for making the little loops that you put through your ear. Perfect. So you don't have to have all of the tools. You can use that for many different for things. Many. Good yeah. one. 8 mm -hmm. Well done. I'm with you, Gem. Alrighty, just going to make a very simple wrapped loop. If you want this to be a piece of jewellery, you may prefer to make a slightly more fancy bale. Mm -hmm. But uh, to do this, all I'm going to do is bring the length of wire up towards me. If I show you in this direction, it's another right angle just there. And then if you have a bale maker, you can use your bale making pliers to generate a loop at the top. I haven't got mine with me today. I'm just going to draw that wire around to generate a beautiful smooth loop. That will serve for you to either put on something to hang it if you wear it as jewellery. Mm -hmm. I like my dream catchers to hang on the wall. So mm. I would put ribbon or some faux leather thonging or faux suede thonging through it. Now you can see, even though this is a heavy weight wire, it's so easy for me to work that. So I've generated a simple wrapped loop at the top mm -hmm. and a large aperture in which we're going to work the bottom. I'm going to cut away some of this residue but I've left myself about two, two and a half inches just to generate a little coil to cover up the mechanics of that wrapped loop. You don't have to do that. You can get the end pieces of your coils to sit neatly together, but I quite like a swirl. And it also reflects the nature of the circle that you're working with. Circles are quite important in many cultures. Mm, definitely. Now, it is slightly more, uh, let's say, challenging to get the coil with a 1.25, but it is so worth it because it covers up those bits and pieces and it looks lovely. It does. So you can and see. Speaking of lovely, <laughs> Claire's message in for you. Yay, gems on! So Hello, glad I made it back in time from hospital for in t from hospital in time for at least one of your demos. You have been missed and hope you're feeling better. Bless you all for your very kind texts. Thank you so much for looking out for me and for having me back again. I am on the mend. I'm all strapped up with my tape, my special medical tape. It's not gaffer tape or any other tape that might be available. Should have seen us looping it round her before. <laughs> oh, I went on for days. No, no. No, 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 no. There is literally no way of getting out of this, so I'm just going to ignore it. Are you no. trying to say I'm a three-reeler? No. I have never She's heard that. that I've never heard that to him before, but yeah, I, I love just made it. it up. Did you? <laughs> Gosh, you're snazzy. Gosh, you're so intelligent, Gem, aren't you? <laughs> is this you trying to get out of Yes, it yeah. is. Claire, I hope you're feeling okay and thank you for that message. Thank and Marie, I love these. Our design shows everyone knows not to disturb during that time. More please, says Anne Marie. Although I did have to disturb it to read out your messages, but I'm sure you understand. <laughs> Hello, Stephanie. I love the long demonstrations. Thanks, Gem. Beautiful designs. That's from Stephanie. They are stunning, aren't they? Sally, make the those designs in bare copper gem, real for arthritis. This channel has given me so much relief from arthritis, and that's from Sally. It's a good idea, yeah. Amazing. Along with, and I know that's something you suffer with, isn't it? It is, yes. I do tend to wear some some copper mm. on my left side. So yes, thank you very very much for yeah. being with us. Had to buy this kit for the zebra Jasper, Beverly. You got yourself a deal on those Jasper. Jasper. You know what I mean. Well £2.20 for a zebra jasper. Don't mind if I do. Not no, bad, I don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> okay, I'm with you, lovely. So what we've got now is quite a simple but very functional hoop design. Now, you can use that design for all of your tree of life or your pictorial yeah. images. You mm -hmm. can put your little animals in there. All sorts of things that you can do with that. Mm -hmm. But today, we are going to make a dream catcher. I'm now going to work with a jolly arm's length of the 0.4 mil gauge. Now, let me show you what I mean by a jolly arm's length, because okay. it's actually an arm and a half's length. Ah. You need to work with as much as you can. A oh, wrong arm. See, I can't do that backwards thing. No, it's no, the other no. Way. Yeah, no, I get you. Yeah, no, no, so got it. Yeah. It's about a metre and a quarter to a metre and a third yeah, okay. that we're working with. Mm -hmm. And you do need to cut it because we'll be looping in and out of the design. Okay. Now, the first thing we're going to do is capture our 0.4 mil gauge onto the main design mm -hmm. so i'm just going to pull this beautiful swirl up and out of the way and because it's such a heavy quality beautiful wire you can do that a couple of times without worrying overly much so i need to just work out which way i'm going to do this yeah so i've got about three inches of excess 
of my 0.4 mil gauge and I'm going to start by wrapping that around the bottom of my little sticky yuppie bit and then I'm going to make that sit inside the coil as it goes up. Oh, now if I can okay. show that to camera two, yeah. you might be able to see that it's just sitting in between mm, yeah. each of those little coils that have been created with the heavier wire. So it, it hides away mm -hmm. and it becomes quite secure. So pull that round to the back and then just trim off the excess. And now I've never had a problem with that coming loose, but all I do is just give that a little squeeze to make it sit inside. And then we pop our all-encompassing coil of hidiness back into position. <laughs> what a grand name, I love it. <laughs> That's what they're there for. <laughs> Okie dokie, so generally speaking, the outer coil of a, uh, a design with a dream catcher is generally eight little sections. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you how to do two of them. Mm -hmm. And my thin wire has come up the outside of the circle and I'm going to go all the way around. Now this is the bit where it's tricky for me to demo because I need to pull that all the way through and it gets all springy. So over the top again, so I've looped once, I've now got to push this through the centre. Then I need to just about guess a one-eighth of the circle. So that looks to me, if you think you've got your station points of three, six and nine, I'm looking to go about halfway to the first quarter, aren't I? Does that make sense? Yes, I know exactly what you mean. Oh, Jem, Jamal, the imaginary person you made up that one time, is sending <laughs> instructions for putting your feet up and resting when you get home. He's too scary to ignore. Beautiful design. Thank you designs. very much, Jamal. Yeah. I appreciate that. I really, really will. I promise. I'm, then I'm going to sit down all day tomorrow and Friday making jewellery. And then I'll be back on Saturday, OK? Oh, good. I'm glad you're back on Saturday. <laughs> so Just to let everyone know, we are working with a long length of wire here at the moment. It can get a little bit piggledy-piggledy. If it does, this is your tool. It is your wire straightener. It is so easy to use. There's a picture on the front that explains how to use it to you. Um, but also, you can go and have a little look on our... YouTube page as well if you want to on how to use it. It's really easy, it stops your wire getting kinking and um, it makes life a bit easier really. A95 for you there. Really also fantastic for strengthening your wire. So say if you're working True with that. a 0.6mm sterling silver wire for instance and you want to use it for ear wires, 0.6 usually wouldn't be strong enough. Mm -hmm. Pop it through that once or twice, then form your ear wires and it will act much more like a 0.8. Mm -hmm. So great bit I of I use it every day. It really is a great bit of equipment, <laughs> 8 95 for you there. I'm with you. Okay, so I've estimated my 1 8 position on the outer circle of my dream catcher. Wires come over the top, passed all the way through the middle, and I now need to just make that little rainbow of a shape, grip that in my non-dominant hand, and then I'm going to push first the wire through, pull that whole long length through, trying not to kink it if I can, do that twice all the way through, trying not to kink it. So the next step is going to come round to that quarter position. So we've got one, two, to a quarter. Mm -hmm. Again, gripping with my non-dominant hand and pushing with that first section of wire, coming from the other side and pulling. The more gentle and delicate you are with your wire, the less likely it is to give you stress and grief. So again, push to begin with, go to the other side and pull. Now you can see here, the end of my wire has got caught up with the midsection. So just release the design, allow it to do what it's going to do, and then continue pulling and you will rescue it. So we're going to continue to do that eight times until we come back to the centre. Now I have prepared one, which takes us to the next stage. You're not missing out, just repeat eight times. I'm going to put this over to one side and bring you one which has had seven and a bit sections done. Okay. So if I show you that on the overhead camera. Seven like and a so. bit. And seven and a bit. Yeah. Okay, so you can see that our design starts to the upper side of the hanging loop. And instead of taking my eighth loop to this side, where there will be a gap, I'm going to take it to that side so it matches up. Okay, I see. So again, gripping with my non-dominant hand, trying to keep my eight sections as even as possible. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spin that around once, 
but on this design it's pushing up rather than pushing through mm. I'm sorry it's just coming back the other way That's so right. pull the wire length through and then pull tight so you've completed your first circuit and it is you uh, what's the word it's got no end continuous continuous or infinite, infinite yeah. so it comes back to where it starts from mm -hmm. so the next thing that we need to do is create a little bit of a wrap coming along this first section of the hump until we get midpoint on the first section so if I pull the wire around I'm going to come up the center here grab that and pull through now what I'm going to do is push that so it goes down inside that first loop. Mm -hmm. Now, if I pull that all the way through carefully, you will see that that begins to build up. Now, on the outer ring, you're going to need to do that a couple of times until you come to that centre point. So I'm going to pull that through again, push back down very, very gently. Now, you can see what I'm doing here is I'm just getting the first section of the wire. I've made a bit of a loop and I'm pushing that through gently. Mm -hmm. The least stress you can put on your wire at every stage, the longer the design will last, the less likely you are to have trouble with your wire. So I've pushed that through, so therefore I need to pull from the other side. So that's a second time, and you can see what's happening is I'm building a little coil around that inner wire. So push up again, pull that around carefully, I'm going to just push that through very gently and then pull from the other side. You will notice that the most work is being done by the very first section of wire. That's where the most tension is happening. Mm. And that is OK, because in two minutes' time, that wire will be sitting in the position it's going to stay for the rest of its life. So it's all good. OK, cool. So I'm going to do that one more time to bring it up to the middle. Whew. Over the top, down, push that loop through. So that's going inside the little half moon shape, pull, and then we are ready to start on our second row. Now if you're knitters, this might be familiar to you, I can't knit, I can't crochet, but this is how we're building up our weaving. Get that tail of wire out. We are going to do now exactly what we did on the outer ring, just slightly more delicately. Okay. So again with my non-dominant hand, I've decided that that's the size that I want, and I'm running from the centre point of one loop to the centre point of the next loop. So non-dominant hand, push through and pull the tail of that wire through the centre. So what we're in effect doing is wrapping around that little dome or little mm -hmm. rainbow in the middle. One more up through the middle. So I'm going twice around and then continue all the way. Now I will move on and show you the next staged piece Fab. so that you can see exactly how that works and exactly how that looks. Great stuff. As you're getting that one, I'll just read this. The bracelet size of the memory wire is perfect for dream catchers. Love the long demos. Keep them coming, please. And it that's is. love from Sharon. Great bit of a tip there. And as we say, you know, do messages in if you love the long demos. Do buy the kits if you love the long demos and you like the long tuition as well. And do send in those pictures as well. We'd love seeing them. Lovely ordered kit, but miss the beginning. What did you use to get the shape of the circle? And what size wire did you use? And that's thanks from Lynn. We use this to shape it, <laughs> but you can use pretty much anything, a jam jar, a bottle of pop. A can um, of pop's good actually, a yeah, full one. Yeah, a full one, yeah. Um, and we're using at the base a 1.25 and the weaving wire is a 0 0.4. Hope that helps you. The length uh, of the 0 0.4 that you need is arm to arm. An arm and a bit, wasn't it? An arm yeah. and a bit. Um, <laughs> Gem, you were amazing with your demos and that's from Lorraine. They're also lovely. Very great. Love so She's much. great Thank to follow, you. isn't she? She really is. Thank you very much. Okay, Pope. So the next stage. If Ooh, you've been quite enough. patient, we've gone now. How many layers are we in? So that was our base layer on the outside. We've got one, two, three, and I'm part of the way through. Well, I've just started the fourth layer here. I see, yeah. So we're getting to the stage. And you can see how that actually coils in a very nice way. Mm. So you might think that having that extra piece of wire wrapping could detract from your design, but it actually forms. And if you were to make a multi-layered dream catcher that started out at 20 inches or so, it forms around in a little ammonite swell. That's lovely. And it, it just seems to be some kind of mathematical nature mm. 
one of those repeating things. Do you know okay. what I mean? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Good. Yeah. I'm glad somebody does because I'm sure I do half the time. Gem I generally do, which is wonderful and worrying, I'm sure, all at the same time. We speak the same language. We fractals. really do. I was thinking of fractals. You know, like a broccoli. Fractal, yes, I was, yeah. <laughs> like a broccoli. Like a broccoli. Yes. OK, so traditionally we would have four items and you could have little seashells if you've got some little drilled seashells. But obviously this is jewellery maker, so we've got some beautiful gemstones. And I like to put four in mind to represent north, south, east and west. Mm -hmm. That's lovely. Put whatever you want in your dream catchers, genuinely. Yeah. Um, but we've done our three, was it, circuits? Three or four circuits all the yeah, way around. Yeah, fourth, yeah. We've got quite a nice hole still in the middle. So I'm just going to pop one in for demonstration purposes. And this is one of the smaller pink zebra jaspers. And I've literally just slid that on. Now, you can see that when we get to this stage, we've got less wire, mm -hmm. but we've also got smaller apertures. So what you can do, if you prefer, is post the end of your wire through the next relevant hole and we're following exactly the same pattern going from hill peak to hill peak there we go all the way through and give that a little bit of a kink when i get to the center i tend to when i've double wrapped on the the peak of the rainbow every time around when i get closer to the center i just do a single loop and rely on the wire retaining its shape by giving it a squeeze not with pliers just thumb and forefinger so i make another little rainbow shape forgot to push it through the center sorry here we go up through the center and then should we add another gemstone? I think hey, we should. Why not? And then what we'll do is we'll leave it at two gemstones, but I'll show you how to close the centerpiece off. And then you can always add your little feathers that you find in the garden or leaves that are special to you. Anything that's quite decorative and nice. Or you can make a wire work feather if you so desire. So I've come over the top. I've made my little rainbow shape, posting that wire through the next available. They look a bit like fish scales, don't they? Yeah, they really do. The little shapes. So I've made that to be the shape and size that I want. Wait. Give that a bit of a grip with thumb and forefinger. Sorry, the YouTube channel started by <laughs> itself. Do apologise. She was just saying I was talking rubbish again and I should be talked over. No, obviously. no, I wasn't. I was trying to close down the jewellery maker YouTube page, but I pressed the wrong button. Hello, Caroline. You're right. Gem, do you wrap around twice on every half moon or just the first one, please? Wrapped twice on every half moon until I get to the centre when it gets too tight to do that. And also, by this time, your wire is feeling the work that it's done. So I'd rather just go once in the middle, which is what I've done just here, and then created that half moon by pinching. Fab. So I'm not going to add uh, any more gemstones, but what I am going to do is just very, very quickly create a couple more half moon shapes. They're going to be a little bit untidy because speed is of the essence and you don't need to see the same thing over. Through, and again, that is just with the pressure of thumb and forefinger. The wire will want to make those half moon shapes for you quite nicely, so get that nice curve in, give it a squeeze, push up through the middle and around, back down and through, and this is why it feels like weaving although all you knitters out there might have a different idea of what this might be. So I'm going to push back up through the centre, back down to create my next half moon, and then I've got one more to do before I start the last episode, I want to I say. Know what you mean. Whilst you're doing that, I know mm -hmm. you can multitask. There's been a question in. Could Lovely. you loosely coil the wrapping wire end to make threading through easier? Longer demos or what? Get me watching live and buying. Keep them coming, says Joe. Good <laughs> question, Joe. You could indeed, um, but what I find is that I tend to be a little bit heavy handed and I scrunch the coils. Mm. When I'm doing long weaves with heavier wires, I do do that with the ends of the heavy wires, but generally speaking, I try to keep my finer wires as loose, loosey goosey loose as possible. As possible. Okay, uh, perfect. But give it a go because Different people, for £2.20. You know, just have a go, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, why not? So I'm going to bring this one back up to the centre and push back down one more time, creating that lovely half moon shape. Pinch and push. And then when we get to our last go around, and you can see it does look a bit like loose knitting now, what we're going to do is start wrapping three or four times in each half moon. Mm -hmm. So what we just said was, 
Start off doing double wraps on the outside, next, next and next. Then you can get a bit looser if you want to, but for the very last one, what I did is I sort of sewed into position. So if I push that through, give that a grip, I'm just going to actually push that back up because it's just as easy, and then pull, and then go a second time through the same place. And it's like if you're sewing off without using a knot, you sew straight through the same piece of fabric a couple of times. So we would just continue to do that mm. until you get... If I can borrow yeah, the demo piece, I'll, I'll show you how that looks once you've finished off. Yeah, lovely. Brilliant. Thank you ever so much, darling. Sorry, right, babe. So you can see that it's gone back to double or triple looping for that very central piece. Yeah. And then with that last little tail, you just squinch it. Give it a squinch. It's easy. That's a technical term, isn't it? Yeah, I love that technical <laughs> term. So all done. Now you can add your proper feathers, your real feathers, your bits from the garden, or you can make a little wire worky feather. Whatever takes your fancy. Gem, Gem, you are wonderful as always. Thank you for answering all those questions and being so helpful and, and uh, essentially showing us all these treats and goodies. I've got a strand which I think is going to go exceptionally well with this kit and more. If you love your genuine gemstones with true beauty and sparkle, it's your star buy. <laughs> You are going to adore everything about this. This is your genuine imperial topaz. This gemstone you and I wouldn't have been able to buy a few years ago at all um, because quite simply, this is a gemstone that was saved for regal regality and and lords and 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 czars and we wouldn't have been able to purchase this. Thankfully, times have changed and now even as mere mortals get to own this stunning gemstone, Imperial Topaz. Gem, I know you love your quirky gems. This has got to be one for you as a collector. It absolutely is, and to see an imperial topaz with mm. a little faceting to it is amazing. That's not something that you see truly every day, is it's it? It's really not, no. It's really not. And it helps with that glow, not only externally, but internally, doesn't it? It really does. I mean, a way to take a beautiful gemstone and make it even more beautiful. I love it. I mean, how great do you think this would be with the... Um, pink zebra jasper in your kit absolutely perfect especially in the large feather design which hopefully will be uploaded a little bit later this evening onto the facebook page yeah. and tomorrow yeah. i'll pop it on my own uh, guest designer page yeah. but you can imagine using those in in place of the the zebra down the central stunning. part oh it'd be mm. stunning this is an extremely rare gemstone indeed we hardly ever get to see it it's vintage it's bright it's breezy it glows naturally with beauty if you want to um, really show off mother nature at her best this is a great way to do it the internal glow is captivating and it really gives life to actually if we're honest what can be quite dull colours sometimes. Sometimes when you've got more of the chocolate hues and the caramel hues, they can look a little bit flat, a bit lifeless, a little bit lacklustre. This gemstone doesn't let that happen at all. It glows, it effervesces, it shines. And at just 18.95, that is one of the best value Imperial Topazes I've seen in weeks and weeks and weeks. Star crazy, Dion! Oh my gosh, are you serious? I genuinely do not think I've ever, ever, ever seen an Imperial Topaz at that price. I don't even think, genuinely, hand on heart, I can remember bringing you an Imperial Topaz even in nuggets at that price point. That is, oh, star crazy, I've just seen it there. That is star crazy. Oh my goodness, Jen, genuinely. What are you thinking? That is stunning and astonishing. <gasps> One of the is? first shows I ever did with Jewelry Maker, almost two years ago, there was an Imperial Topaz Smooth Nuggets, and I was blown away by that and its beauty. 
it was more than that. That's crazy beans. That really genuinely yeah. is. And, and this is not a measly strand. This is big carrot weight, big gro uh, glow, big amount of colour within it. It's been... Oh, hello, everybody. How are you all? Absolutely loads of you flying through for this. Great to see you all. Please be quick off the mark on it. I don't want people to miss out. I'm sorry, we have now got less than um, 50 available. That number is trying to catch up with us desperately. This is a very special chance indeed and um, it's going to go with so much that we've already had for you including the likes of the one to own and as I say Gem's gorgeous kit as well speaking of gorgeous Gem you are leaving us now but you're back on Saturday um thank you so much for joining us today wonderful lady give us a clue what you're doing on Saturday well it's a day at the races so it's all a bit you know hmm a bit racy a bit hmm uh. It's not even blue, is D had too much sun? No, Claire, it's a <laughs> birthday tomorrow. That's what it is. She's just going off tomorrow. It doesn't matter. Um, lovely Gem, thank you so much for all your inspiration. Remind us how to find you on uh, Facebook. Thank you all for having me and for your wonderful texts. I am JM guest designer, Gem Hawks. That's Gem with J. So do feel free to find her on Facebook. Gem, once again, thank you very much. After the break, I have got more treats, more goodies, more deals, and we're really going to get into the colour wheel. How much fun, seeing a bit. There are four easy ways to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 54,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Buying from Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When we bring an item to you, all the graphics come on screen and this gives you all the information that you will need to know. From the item code to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on and whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on screen price. So when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jewellery making journey today. Jewellery Maker, the one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives 50 If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker, Ivy House, Henley Road, Outhill, Studley, B807DU. Get making and good luck. Genuine gemstones is always exciting. 
but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. appreciates the true wonder and beauty of mother nature and all that she offers us in organic form I think you're going to be very pleased with my deal of the day today Wow Wow That is beauty isn't it what a glorious piece created by our budding beaders. This is just beauty. We have the freshwater culture of pearls. I talked to you previously um, um, earlier on today about, about pearls and, and their natural beauty and what to look for in quality. Well, you've got quality here, haven't you? Not only quality in that surface appearance on each and every one, but also the quality in that natural colouring. Isn't it a really stunning, stunning piece I have here for you? And you can create something like that so easily with some of the products we've had on today. <gasps> Just before I had for you the beading caps on, didn't I, that were very similar to that. I've brought to you some clasps today. All you really need for the focal point is this strand, and it is a focal strand. The smoothness of these is captivating, isn't it? The way that light glosses upon these is beautiful. You have beauty and, 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 and um, quality, essentially, on this strand. And we're going to bring it to you at a very special deal of the day price. So if you've just gone in, it's, you've just finished work, I hope you've had a brilliant day, eh? It's nearly the weekend, don't you worry. We have got here for you your first recap on the deal of the day today. It's smooth, it's quality, it's natural, it's yours. For this price point, we've been able to do this price point today as it is our deal of the day. We've been able to give you a very sneaky treat of these substantial pearls. And they are substantial. They are sizable. £19.95. They're a great deal um, for you today. And I was thinking how great they go with the one to own. That I did for you a sort of an hour and a bit ago. Look how nicely they work together. Not only because of the colours, which are obviously very much matched within these, but also I think because of the shape. I think it could break up a design quite nicely if you wanted to add a little bit of intrigue or interest. Um, and maybe stepping away from these the, the 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 rounds essentially that you've got here. I think that's a nice thing for you to do. I think they're lovely. Or even the. Even the bee wall pearls, the ones I did earlier on, would look quite nice. As well for somewhere a bit jazzy, wouldn't they? Woo! I did these ones for you earlier on. We hardly had any of those left, but I just thought I'd show you them for just a little bit of something else, a je ne sais quoi, if you will. I think these pearls are chic. I think they're elegant. I think with just a little bit of imagination, you could really have fun with them. Hey, maybe even, no, this may well have sold out, but I'll show you it anyway. Maybe even with the green kyanite I had before. I mean, that again works well, doesn't it? Because each one of these, you can almost imagine depicted in a watercolour bloom or blossom painting, couldn't you? And I think this works so nicely to bring that um, almost sort of 
uh, Japanese cherry blossom um, uh, colouring and, and beauty to it, in particular if I sort of spool it around like that, really gives an interesting appeal, don't you think? Lovely. Real nice intrigue. And again, I think it juxtaposes that, that opaque nature of the pearl with the glow. But if you do want to keep the opaque nature, you know, as I said, keep those pearls with it. These were my one to own that I did for you um, earlier on. If you do want to have a little back, look back on those, it's really easy to do so. Just go to jewelrymaker.com, click on today's products, and these will be back there if you scroll down a little bit as our one to own. 19.95 is your deal of the day price point. I got it out eventually. Um, I've got sold by coming up for you very, very soon. It's, it's one of our final ones of um, today. And um, I think it's going to make you smile. Are you pointing at me? What are we saying? I haven't got that hour. You've got it, Pete. Yeah, it's He's going, it's not there. <laughs> um, I have got for you um, a bit of star by coming up. We're going to find it and then I'll show it to you. Oh, I've just had another thought. Thinking of star by just whilst we're on find the special strands task. It'd go gorgeous with that very special ametrine I did for you earlier on. Really nicely. That'd go so nicely, wouldn't it? Because this is a genuine lamatrine strand. Do you remember I was showing you, I showed you a picture of kind of the mine, and I showed you um, how this comes in rough form and everything else. Um, I think they go together so, so nicely because they're both quite muted. They've both got glamour without being sort of over the top, ostentatious, too showy, if you will. Um, I think they work together really beautifully. So if you do want to get your hands on them, do feel free. It is the final hour of our mid-show day today, so get those messages coming in. What have you been up to? Have you got any plans coming up um, for this week? Maybe you're babysitting someone, maybe someone's off school or they're doing their exams and you're you know, keeping them entertained. Maybe you need some hints and tips on how to keep younger people entertained or even how to entertain yourself if you've got a few days off. Um, maybe you just want to let us know what you're up to or what you want to create with each strand. Um, Angela said, Thanks. I got the Biwa pearls. Thanks for showing them, Angela. Not a problem at all, lovely lady. They're beautiful, aren't they? Really nice. And I'm glad you got them. Nice to have them drilled that way, wasn't it? Hey, up, Sam. Hello. How are you, love? I'm good. I'm What's... Have you? You bring me all the best things, Sam. Thank you, my love. Chrysocola. She's found it because you know what? We call her Finder Sam. I mean, we don't. We never have, but it... We can start that trend if you want, Sam. I'd rather coffee, Sam. You'd rather coffee, Sam? What did you say? When I get the coffees. When you get the coffees. All oh, right, OK, yeah, cool. <laughs> oh, she's a funny onion. Have a little look at this. Star by Chrysocola. This is one of the, to me, most mesmeric gems out there. I love it. Coming up for you is a star by very soon. Maybe you want to say, hi. Birthday, Dion, because it's her birthday tomorrow and she's not in tomorrow because she's having a day off. Um, she can't believe it. She cannot believe it. Um, have a look. These, I gave you a sneaky peek of them before. They're like gunmetal colour, almost, I think, anyway. Have a look. Oh, they're nice, aren't they? Oh, black shell pearl in your perfect plain rounds 10 mil on these ones i love them how great would these be with the biwa that you've just you've just treated yourself to if you wanted to add a little judge how perfect would these be with like my first star buy of the day blimey was this my, what, today's flown by do you remember i was doing these was that was a go anyway uh, this would go nicely as well, wouldn't it? What do you think of them together? Oh, hello. There is a gentleman who's in a film at the moment. His name is Jonathan Depp. Um, I think that's his first name anyway, I presume so. I could be wrong. But he's in a film at the moment that is, um, I think it's like the fifth one in the series, is it? Is it the fifth one? 
fifth one and that's related to something a bit similar to this maybe you could do a sort of inspired piece um with those and, and th those strands together i think it looks really nice i've got for you black shell pearl here everyone this is going to be great for your woven wonders because it's shell pearl you're going to be likely to get a lot of cords through this which would be great for crocheting with even your beads and thread or your cords you could pop these on because we're not able to generally oh 5.95 didn't even see that price come in get it while you can that's a great deal we don't generally get such a large hole on the likes of genuine pearls um, or pearls alone but with these ones we get the opportunity to do so because there's a little bit more space in it there's a little bit more shape in it it's a little bit more sturdy five pounds and 95 pence on those ones again could be quite nice with the chrysocolla actually susan happy birthday to you happy birthday to happy birthday to dion for tomorrow happy birthday to you sorry i only just read the warble <laughs> oh you sue oh i know it's exciting what are you doing for it Dee? Going out to eat. And getting myself prepped for Saturday. She's going out up up north. She's going out in Liverpool. So if you're out in Liverpool on Saturday, have a nosy. Have a nosy. If you see Dion, feel free to go and chat to her. Feel free. She doesn't mind a cocktail. I know. If it's blue, more's the better. Dion, that reminds me, you wanted to say hello to someone earlier on. You did. Did you forget? Be honest. No, she didn't forget. She was leaving it for this hour because she knew they'd be in. Is that right, Dion? Yeah. They're watching now. Okay. We'll get Dion out in a second and we'll, we'll, we'll say a big hello to her. Because you might have just tuned in and be like, who on earth is Dion? Well, she's my producer. We can meet her. In fact, if you have a question for Dion that you would like her to answer live on air, Feel free to text him right now. She'll be out on air in about three, four minutes. Um, 60777. Maybe you want to ask her a question live on air that we can pop up on air. She can think about the answer and then she'll run out, answer it and say hello to a couple of special people. 60777. Ask her anything. Maybe you want to be nosy. Want to know what she's doing for her birthday. Uh, maybe you want to know how old she is. I don't mind. Ask. 595 is your prize. Well done, everyone. Quite a caller coming up very soon indeed. Next up. I'm diving, yes I have, my lovely day, I'm diving on into a world of multi-coloured sapphire. And what a world it is to be in. Oh, where? This is sensational. This is, oh, you're joking. Oh, oh. oh you're going to love it. Oh my goodness, take a look. I clean beauty. Look at this. Look at that. Isn't that absolute beauty? Look at the glow on that. Can anyone else see that purple one really near the centre? Just at certain angles it looks purple, doesn't it? And if you don't think that one does... Those ones do, don't they? Oh, look at all of those you're getting. Absolutely loads and loads and loads. Oh, my goodness, this is such a spectrum of colour, everyone. Now, to get that spectrum of colour, it can be easy. Can be if you want to fish a fill. Fish a fill essentially is kind of getting a glass like substance and injecting your sapphire with them. This happens a lot, mind you. Like that, this happens in jewelry that you um, can buy, and they don't technically have to tell you if it's fish or filled. Um, if you go and buy jewelry, if you go and buy strands, they don't have to tell you at all. The biggest companies in the world will fish or fill. It's, it's a very standard practice almost um, in sapphire because they can be a bit fractured sometimes. Um, is basically injecting sapphire with a glass-based substance um, that is dyed. And so you can give it like a, a snazzy colouring by, by putting different coloured glass in it, basically. Or you can do it by heating it, or you can do it by dyeing it, or you can do it by coating it, etc, etc. These are natural. Can you believe it? Beverly, love the purple. I'm exactly the same as you, Beverly. Um, purple's one of my absolute all-time favourite colours, but to be able to get it so much in this strand is astonishing. It really is. I've got, to my eye, one, two, three, four, five, 
five, six, seven. Oh, I've got loads, especially when I do this. Oh, look at that, Beverly. Look at those there. Now those are purple, purple, aren't they? Lo and I've got more even on the other side. And do you know what? You have got like a spectrum of sapphire here. You've got all the colours you could hope for really and more and some of the rarest out there indeed. Multicolour sapphire, 60 pounds. Some people would be happy to pay that just for the purples actually. 40 pounds. £39.95 we're going to for you today. This is a very special deal indeed. Get your hands on these ones. We don't get to see this colour um, um, away or this, this colour palette in natural sapphires often at all. I think this is an astonishing strand for that price point. Even if you were to just think, let's use, oh, I don't know, 10. No, in fact, let's use each colour section in, I don't know, a pair of earrings. Okay, so let me just pop that down, sorry. If I start over here, let's say that's one colour section, I'd use it in a pair of earrings. That's £10, £20, £30, £40, £50 to there, £60, £70, £80, £90. All of those are quite similar pink, £100, then to the reds, more reds anyway, um, 110 probably go to there, then another section of colour, 120 130 40 150 160 170 Do you see what I mean and how far this goes? That is astonishing, isn't it, realistically? Well done to you all. It's lovely to see you. I hope you're all having a good day today. Check those ones out whilst you can. £39.95. I think that is astonishing. And let me just show you as a neckline piece. Get the air out of the way. Oh, they're gold. Um, that, that's touching at the back. Without the tassels, mind you. That is touching at the back. The gemstone of love with a chain that depicts love. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? That's coming up for you really soon. Before that though, I'm gonna be bringing you a star by, which is exceptional. It is um, unique, it is rare. So rare in fact, that when we bought this, we were only able to get a few. And then you look came in and you saw how rare it was and how unusual it was and you bought it and then now we have even fewer. Limited quantity, stop by. <laughs> One of the most interesting colour palettes created by your copper to give you a, a stand-alone, um, almost snapshot of planet Earth from above, Christ the Cobbler. Oh. The copper elements which, which bring you this deep, Aqueous blue green is energizing. It is it is captivating to me. It is something which I think gives you a brightness and a beauty and a detail that we maybe aren't that used to seeing. I think it's something that sits perfectly within the colour spectrum to just cross over those borders in between the green and blue, which means you have something that will actually go with so much. This is extremely rare indeed, and when you see it alongside other gems, you can really see the beauty in each individual one. I brought to you some zebra, um, pink zebra jasper, in the second kit earlier on and we had a lot of people talking about how much they adored the individuality of it the uniqueness of it and that's what this has speckles in some striations in other almost turquoise like webbing in areas areas of translucency of transparency and of opaque 
you have got personality in this. And I think that's what makes it so, so beautiful, in particular as it is natural. I have got limited stock on this. This is another one of those gems that you could talk about and talk about and talk about for ages and ages and ages, but quite simply, we don't have time. And, and quite simply, I don't have enough. Um, if you are a bit of a connoisseur, or even if you just want something a little bit quirky, a bit different in your collection, and you're thinking, you know, maybe this could be an exciting one to learn about, then then do treat yourself to it. Do have a look at it. Do have a hold of it and, and, of, of it and do your research and get ready to fall in love. I'm going to give you all the chance to own with a star by deal. You ready? $14.95 is good, but that is now great. £11.95. That is a very, very, very low opportunity for something which is so rare indeed. Why is this so rare? Well, essentially, there's many different reasons. But one of the reasons is it is a rare gemstone. We don't get to see it often at all, but it's becoming rarer and rarer because there's been a big push on this recently within sort of um, uh, crystal healing and beliefs around crystals and, and genuine gemstones and their properties. Now, obviously, I'm not legally allowed to sit here and, and, and say to you, um, um, you know, that any of those things are factual, but I can sort of fill you in on maybe some of the myths, legends and beliefs that go alongside it, or even though I can't say it's scientifically proven. And um, this gemstone has very much had a push in those areas recently, well, in relatively recent times, as it's said and believed by many to be quite a heartfelt gemstone. It's said to embody goddess energy and therefore is said to be a gemstone really good for wear it pardon less than 10 now I do apologize less than 10 of these available but yeah it's a really interesting gem if you do believe in that sort of area do feel free to have a little look out there and a little read about this because it is it is um, a very powerful seeming gem and do you know what even if that's not your bag and that's not your thing it's a powerful looking gem anyway isn't it and um, Nuno's in saying always wanted Chrysocola but as always uh, was always too expensive Thank you for the bargain, says Nuno. Lovely to meet you. Thank you for sending that message in. Um, Dion's giving you this as a little bit of a pre-birthday treat. It is her birthday tomorrow. She's giving you a bit of a goodie. We will get her out on air very, very soon. She'll be in to say um, hello to um, some people. Um, thank you very much um, for that. Um, um, and you're right, that is a great deal. Six of these left. I'm used to bringing you Chrysocola at sort of £60 mark, maybe £40 mark, eleven ninety-five for sizes as big as this that really get to show the personality that I was talking about in each one with the speckles and mottles then it's perfect someone's messaged in saying have you got any more Chrysocola I'm sorry no we do not ah I'm sorry um I have got another star by coming up for you in a wee while though is this the one you meant Two and a half metres worth in length, everybody. On this star by Spinel coming up for you. Oh, well, before the end of this hour, obviously. Don't go anywhere, you. Um, well done, everyone, on this one. I've got two left now. Um, £11.95. Say so that's me again, lovely. £11.95 for you. Now, I'm going to set up a clock and we are going to go. Fast and Furious Dealathon. And then you're basically just going to have deals and treats and bargains galore. So get ready, get raring, get waiting by the phone. Because we're about to start off with a one minute wonder. We have got for you here. Ooh, head pins. Good afternoon. I am being grandma and they are fed, oh, have ice cream. I'm sat in the garden watching you with a cuppa. That is great grandma ring. You must be the best grandma. I bet you are a popular grandma. I wish you, anyone offers me a, an ice cream and I'm over the moon, but your grandma doing that's just cool, isn't it? You're having a cuppa, they're fed, they're relaxed, they've got, they've got ice cream possibly slopped all over them, thank you. Um, ooh, I love an ice cream. I ate an entire tub of uh, Dr. Pepper last night. Oh, that's 
Mm. Ooh, you cheeky little dibbly brother Pete. Gold-plated sterling silver I've got here for you. Have a little look. You did it in a 15-minute break? Is that what I've just heard? Ten, nine pounds and 95 pence. Boom! There's the price. That means that boom, here's the clock. There it is, everybody. You've got one minute to win this. This is your genuine real deal gold. Blind gold that I have here for you, everyone. And you've got a big amount in here. It's absolutely lovely to see, isn't it? What are we up to this weekend? Is it too early to talk about the weekend? Surely not. It's hump day. We're over, we're over the longest bit. Um, are you up to anything nice this weekend? Have you seen anything um, today that you've got some great ideas for? Do let us know. £9.95 is your deal on this one. A very busy day today, actually, all in all. Um, £9.95 is a great opportunity for you. Um, well done to all of you who's getting these ones. They're great. If you don't know what they are, when you join us on your first order today, you will get a free DVD and a free booklet that will talk you through exactly what these are used for. Let me just say, probably going to be one of your most used findings. This DVD you'll get for free on your first order. Um, it's probably one of our most used findings, so you will need it quite often. How about I bring you some more things to um, enjoy? Gold-plated twisters here for you. I don't know if you... Have, have $3.95! Don't have a laugh. Go, go, go. Tar F95 is your code on this one today. Genuinely, um, if you are keen-eyed like I am, you may well have noticed the lovely gem hawks I had in earlier on was wearing very similar design to these on her wrist, actually, um, highlighting some wonderful amber. Lovely twist design, great to use as space, which basically means you can use them in between gemstones, space out your gemstones. Also means that you can highlight piece with these. Imagine sort of one gemstone in the center, um, um, maybe, you know, maybe like a pearl, let's say, in the center, and just one of these either side. It's really going to catch your imagination. Love a deathon. 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 That's hilarious. <laughs> Love a D le thumb. Um, this weekend I'm finishing my life signs wire chicken with Swarovski and gemstones. Angela, that sounds incredible. Please, I'm sure you're already gonna. Clock's finished. I'm sure you're already gonna, but please send in a picture to the Wall of Fame when it's done. I bet that has been loads of fun, hasn't it? That sounds incredible. Angela, you're so, so creative. Next up, got for you. Wow, this is special, and this is one of the colours. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Wow, everything you could want for in a fancy sapphire, this is quality. There it is for you, your price is up and on your screen. You've only got one minute to win it right here, right now. Um, we are going to be talking about colour in a moment, and I have got pure colour on this one. That colour is genuinely natural colour from this location in Madagascar, and it is um, allowed to shine through because of the quality of this sapphire. The glow in that is impeccable, isn't it? Again, due not only to Mother Nature, but also the craftsmanship that we've gone to um, create this, and that cut we've been giving this to our lapidris our gemstone cutters and they have put a lot of work and effort into this this um color is a very big color this season very big color of the year lots of dainty pinks going in with very delicate blues which would be great if you got our first kit today actually which was um rose quartz aquamarine and morganites and, and loads of other bits and bobs totally genuine gemstone kit um, that we do still have literally I think about 30 available of um, but that would work lovely alongside something like this or if you like something like that okay next up Lapis Laz You Lie. Now, this is going to be a great one for you to be able to work with because the colour of this is so bold. And this season, colour is king. I think it always is in spring. This colour is perfect because it's very archetypal for some of the colours on the colour wheel. Use the colour wheel in your creativity. When we're thinking of fabrics and woven designs as we are today, that is something that you will look at time and time and time again. We are going to roll this down. You are going to 
to have a minute to win it. If you want to work this alongside any, whoa, there you go, 12.95. If you want to work this alongside colours, um, here are a few. Uh, well, here is a suggestion for you. As you can see, this is a picture of the colour wheel, the basic colour wheel. You've got your basic primary colour here that is very um, sort of clear I would say in this strand if you want to use the primary colors together so your blue your red and your yellow you can see they're kind of across from each other in sort of triangular motion and um, these colors are absolutely massive this season there are some of the biggest designers out there working with that color palette um, this season the primary hues you don't have to use them in equal amounts in fact you know I'd probably suggest that you don't always maybe go for a real definite blue and then and go for just a hint of your yellow and a hint of your red in the background maybe even using it alongside the multicolored sapphire I did for you earlier on and just pick out some of those pinky hues and some of those yellow hues to really give an on-trend but glamorous look 12.95 well done everyone rose gold speaking of fashion and quality this is got to, well, this has sorry got to be one of the biggest um, items of news um, that we have got um, for fashion this year rose gold Gold is everywhere. This is a genuine sterling silver with real rose gold over the top of it chain. So this is silver and rose gold together. And it isn't just a little length of chain, it is That price point is a genuine mistake right there on your screen. But we do have to stick to it because it's there now and legally that is a requirement. There is, there is no amount of delete, delete or backspace, backspace that you can do. Basically, Dion got a little bit click happy with the button. So you click a button and it's one of those, you know, sometimes your computer just goes on a go slow. So it, it sort of went, she went click, it didn't do anything. Like, oh. Click. Dun dun, uh, um, that is not the price it should be. Genuinely, it's never been that price point before and never will again. Um, Dion's even going, do you know what? If you don't want to buy it, just don't, because that, that, you know, that's fine. Uh -huh. Either that or buy, 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 because you're getting a deal, deal, deal. And um, Dion's quite happy it's her birthday and she doesn't have to come in tomorrow because hopefully management will have forgotten about it by next week. 7 95 that's naughty. <laughs> Deals this year going. <laughs> um, well done, I'll see everyone. Um, we're going to bring you another bit of a treat in a deal now, and this is a, um, a precious metal piece. Oh, thank you, lovely. Hey, what have we done with this? There we go. Um, hello, all at JM. I know this is a bit late, but I love your long demonstrations. I record them every day they really add to the jm experience thanks and that's from michelle hey how are you thank you very much and um, and love that you love our long demos i love our long demos um, i really do because i got brought on as a presenter here when designer inspiration started i was your first designer inspiration mid-show presenter um i'm sort of getting on to four years now in september um I love the long demos as well, and it is really important, without putting too fine a point in it, to, if you do like our longest demo of the day, do buy the kits, do message in and let us know, do let us know on social media that you've loved the longer demos, because if we know you love it, then it's going to be here to stay, isn't it? You know, it's, if, if we know you like it, then we'll carry on doing it. Um, so that's lovely to know. Thanks. I hope you've had a nice day today. Um, here we go. I've not seen this before. Darn it. Darn it. Pound off. There we go. We've started that out for you today. Six pounds and 95 pence. You've got a lovely rich garnet in here, which I think is highlighting that sterling silver in a big amount. Imagine a pair of these as, as earrings. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Not too heavy, not too over the top, dramatic and dynamic enough. Um, say that to me again, Dee. 
Someone's asking, where on earth can I buy a colour wheel? Um, really, um, you can get them online. You can buy them online. You can print them off as well. And actually, a good thing to do, and this is what I've done. I've got a couple of these at home um, because I do lots of different crafting projects and I, I often use my colour wheel. I have one that I've made where I've literally printed this off and I've cut out um, triangular locations, three apart. So, for example, here's cut out, count along three, cut that out, count along three, and cut that, sorry, four on this one, and cut that out. Um, that does you um, basically your um, um, triadic or secondary colours, but also block out the four together as well if you want your analogue. That's a big look at the moment. Basically, dependent, three or four colours together, analogue looks very much in fashion at the moment um, indeed. So do that. I love the analogue look. In fact, if I see anything analogue, I'll, I'll tell you more about it in a bit. Um, well done everyone on that. Six pounds and 95 pence. <gasps> analogue. Gosh, Dion, you were listening then. You weren't, were you? That was totally luck, wasn't it? No, I was listening. No, I know you weren't. <laughs> but this is literally what I've just been talking about. I've just said analog. Analog on a colour wheel. Now, let me show you analog. Analog is the likes of three colours that are very that are next to each other in the colour wheel, i.e. they're very close to each other in colour, such as this, this and this. That there would be described as your analog colour palette. Now, the analog colour palette is very much what we see in nature, okay? Mother Nature works with analog a lot. You can look into a flower and you can see, you know, one, two, three colours in one petal. You can look into a leaf and see one, two, three colours in one leaf. Analog is worked in Mother Nature a lot. So the fact that this is an analog colour palette in your natural blue gemstones, it just works perfectly. Take a look at them, bang on trend, perfect for your colour wheel and great for anyone who loves high grade gemstones. Whoa, Dion's gone low on this one. It's Dee's birthday tomorrow, she loves the blues and she has given you a week treat here these are very high grade gemstones indeed as you can see neon appetite yes that's genuinely the color that mother nature gives us really out of this world gemstone you've got on here also your wonderful iolite there in the center when you get iolite home take it for a little walk around your garden in particular on a sunny day and change the angle change the direction that the sunlight shines through this do that a couple of times in the day you'll be able to see the blues turning to this antiques bronze color because this is one of the most sort of almost pleochroic gemstones out there you might be able to even see it there just because the angle of the light on this it's almost a little bit golden but then as i turn it, it goes really really rich, deep, deep, deep blue. And then, of course, your one location gemstone of Tanzanite from um, um, the foothills of Mount Kilimanjaro, one location in the world that's found. All three strands, one prize, great deal, well done. I'm about to bring you a sterling silver chain now, but not as we know it. It's actually um, not just a necklace chain, it's a chain to be worked with and it is a meters length. We're talking about weaving today in our woven designs. We've been lovely gem hawks, we've been giving you great demos. Um, don't forget you can weave with chain. It's easier when it doesn't have a clasp on it and this doesn't. You can add one of course if you want to. You should be paying 20 pounds for this. That's great for a meters worth. Have you seen that gram weight? Dion! Dion! That is, that is, she is like, oh no, I didn't see that. She doesn't speak like that at all. Oh no, I didn't see that. Dion sounds literally nothing like that. <laughs> that is an exceptional, uh, this is almost seven grams. This is 6.90 grams of precious metal. Sterling silver is up 4.19% on today, last month, on the last 30 days. If it continued to rise at the price it has in the last 30 days and continues in just six months will be at over 25% price hike. Now it probably won't, you know what it's like, blah, 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 blah. but that's just an idea to put in your mind. Like that's, that's a huge, like that's big, isn't it? That is an exceptional deal, everybody. Um, wow, get that one whilst you can. £11.95 sterling silver b -b 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 bags. Just watch the donkeys going home. What? Just watch, <laughs> just watch the donkeys going home from the beach. 
I see them every day from my window. Jealous? That sounds brilliant. I love the idea of that. Do you call it donkey o'clock? Uh, no. Well, I don't get to see anything like that out my window. Like the school kids going home. Or I get to see, yeah, you and Pete, you and Pete going home, you I get to see me pirate postie. Not donkeys though, that's really cool. And um, hi Sue, lol, you're having fun pressing those buttons, aren't you Dion? Hey, she's not afraid today. It's because it's her birthday tomorrow and she's off and she's like, do you know what? What's anyone going to do? They're not going to see me till next week. Um, well then, everybody, let's do some spaces. Some tube spaces. Oh, I love these. The brushed ones or the swirl ones. Brushed. These are really jazzy. Really lovely look of silver into these. Silvering. You know what I mean? Lovely look of silver to these. Ooh. Oh, imagine them with that imperial topaz. Oh, I. Six pounds and ninety-five pence on these brush tubes. It's genuine sterling silver we've got here for you today. That really hope you highlight some of the rarer gems we've had on for you. Hey, actually, these Chrysocolla were spaced out with that um, sterling, uh, not with sterling silver, but could be spaced out with sterling silver, a bit like they are in the strand. That'd look nice, wouldn't it? Um, sterling silver, precious metal. It's all absolutely beautiful, and it's lovely that you get to own it today. Um, Especially with such a big amount actually in here, because you're getting 20 of these in total. At that, at the price you've got on screen, that does work out as a pretty tiny, minute amount, to be honest, doesn't it? Um, really do add these onto your order whilst you can. And remember, too, you know, you can use these alongside sterling and silver if you want to, or alongside other precious gemstones. Woo! Um, whatever you want to set your mind to. Not long left on this one. £6.95. Well done, everyone. Tans and it's all right. I'll bring it to you now. Um, price point in day. That's really good. We've been given a heads up. Tanzanite is going up in price. Um, I remember. We're, do you remember? We're on a documentary. Oh, I want to say ITV or Channel Four. One or the other. ITV. Good rememberings. Um, and the sister channel that we were with at the time spoke about how, for the first time ever as a company, they'd had to rise, raise the price of this gemstone. Um, we didn't do it at the time. Um, then we nudged it up um, because we had to because we were paying more so y you have to of course because you know we like this channel don't we and um, therefore if we didn't nudge the price up when we had to pay more then obviously we'd be out of business we wouldn't have electricity let alone jobs you absolute liar you said 40 pounds to me <laughs> 29 pounds and 95 pence is your price point on these that is quite simply astonishing look at the glow on this don't you think this is glowing a lot more than some of the um tanzanites we're used to seeing and having it's got almost this glass like luster it's obviously not glass it is a genuine gemstone from tanzania um which is absolutely and completely ethically sourced and ours I would always say be careful where you buy your gems from and be careful where you get them from. These are absolutely um, stunning, high-grade, beautiful tanzanites that you know are from a reliable source and you can get your authenticity as well to prove that these are the real deal because it is being copied more and it is being getting in, in, in sort of dodgy ways if we're straight to the point on it. This is a stunning strand with an absolute glow that's going to illuminate your skin and really show off your gemstones jewelry well done everyone 29.95 that is brilliant a labradorite now um, slightly more delicate and dainty than the one i showed you earlier on and so strewn on have a look at these ones natural real beauty of your labradorite oh they're lovely aren't they imagine the brightness of these really highlighted with some of those connectors i did for you earlier on oh Please notice, the clock is not yet in. Why? Because your price isn't. We're dropping it down. Should have been just shy. 20 pounds. 
£9.95 is your deal on these ones. Woven Wonders. These would look great in your crochet or in your knitting. Um, these would look phenomenal, wouldn't they? You could put maybe your um, beading thread through these. If you don't know what that is, um, when you join us um, on your first order, you get a free DVD, an instructional booklet, and on there it will explain to you the likes of what beading thread is. But you could actually crochet the beading thread with just, uh, you know, even on the stimulus stitch just one of these every three say or even every one you'd create a gorgeous necklace and because of the style of crochet you'd be able to really see around all of these which gives off even more of that beautiful color and that what we call Labrador essence that shiller that sheen that wonderful glossy color that almost looks magical under the surface that by the way is a natural phenomenon and again it shows you perfectly the color palette and the color wheel off wonderfully and um, really Really beautiful 995 well done to every single one of you um great opportunity there loved that okay a cheeky one matrix In the matrix box now I won't open this for you because we haven't got time and it's taped shut but this is basically a box of findings Findings for anyone who's new are things that are essential. They are the mechanics essentially that hold our pieces together. That's an incredibly naughty price. We're not meant to do one to six ninety-five on air. Um, that is quite considerably under three pounds and ninety-five pence. Yes, you get the box and you get all of the components, which includes the likes of these cord ends. Great if you're working with fabrics, whether it be shibori ribbon or whether it be satins, hemp cords, um, 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 silks, or gam whatever it might be you literally just put your cord in um, down the rivet of these turn over each side and, and you've got a clasp that's attached to them you've also got chain in here and your toggle clasp and your jump rings and loads more you do get the box as well which of course has got the lid on just slide across three pounds and 95 pence for you today say that to me again what gem Guest designer gems already in buying these. All right, love. I thought you were putting your feet up. Three ninety-five for you today. Well done, everybody. Ooh. Now, it's time. I'm happy to bring you this gemstone because it has been in the news of late. Um, I have got for you. Let me just type it in. If you, I, I told you about this the other day, but if you um, maybe have, have been away, you've been busy, let me fill you in. There has been serious news around this gemstone um, because, um, um, and I mean in papers and, and well-known ones at that, um, for example, The Guardian has spoken about this, for example, um, well, there's, there's others, but essentially they've spoken about this gemstone I'm about to show you. And they talk about um, a gemstone um, which was um, once used as a child's toy. It is a nugget of this gemstone that was lost for a couple of weeks, mind you, but it was lost. And um, it sold for £80,000. It is a nugget shape. It is ancient, mind you. But this has been in the papers, and if you type in the name of this gemstone, you'll see it. Um, this has been in the papers, this has been in the news, this has been promoted and promoted and promoted. And um, it's also been promoted since, just over a year ago, because it is one of our new birthstones of the year that is literally around the corner. It's coming sooner than you think. What I have for you here is a very, very special gemstone indeed. It's beautiful, it's bold, and there is a lot of it. Stop by. Hi, Black Spinel. Have a little look, everyone. A glorious, rich, intriguing strand of your silky black spinel. Isn't the gloss on this strand incredible? I mean, usually if you get a nugget, you won't get such a glossy finish because we leave it quite sort of space, don't we? We leave it quite sort of um, um, natural, let's say, but 
boy, this has got gloss. Extra time, effort and energy has really, really gone into giving this the sheen and finish it deserves. Now, what does that glossiness do for us as, as creatives? Well, I think it gives sort of a, a, um, a richness, in essence. It, 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 well, do you know what? In fact, there has been things proven um, with this. There was, there's been lots and lots and lots of different sort of techniques um, um, and lots of different studies done on what we like about glossiness. There was actually one done um, sort of about a year and a bit ago whereby they gave a selection of people different types of card, okay? They gave people different types of card and they were basically told to put them in price order, uh, price order, sorry. And it was a few thousand people took part in this experiment and... It was a 100% success rate that every single one of these people put the high shine, glossiest card as being the most expensive. That's what they thought. That's what they perceived as being the most expensive compared to the matte and the duller variety. And, and you know, it's card. It could well, I'm not sure, but it could well have cost the exact same price to make. But it's interesting that everyone saw the glossiness and the shine and thought that is expense. That is going to be the most expensive variety. Surely, therefore, it's the same with gemstones. This is a big, big, big amount of gloss, which I think for your designs is going to give it a really nice finish. It may make people feel that your pieces are more going to be more expensive or more high-end because of that gloss if that sort of experiment is to be followed and to be believed and um, what you have here is gloss and you've got it in abundance because look at the amount you have got on this incredible incredible strand that is a huge amount of gloss a huge amount of luster a huge amount of shine and sheen and surface area and yet it continues. There is absolutely masses and masses of beauty and glamour and glow and luster to these, which just is going to go on and on and on in your designs. Take a little look. A massive 2.5 metres worth of your genuine gemstone, which has been promoted, which has been seen, which has been followed in papers recently, and today can be yours for just £14.95. That is something above and beyond expectation, isn't it? In particular, if you think about it this way, think of a tree of life, which is, I would say, one of our most popular and, and, and uh, most seen designs, actually, on the likes of Wall of Fame, etc. And one of our, well, in my opinion, most inspiring, that DVD done by the gorgeous Laura Binding, um, one of our best designers, is, is my most watched jewelry make DVD. And it explains the tree of life, essentially, is working with nuggets just like this to create a frame, a little bit like what Jem created earlier on with the... Um, dream catcher almost, working with these to create a really lovely leaf look. Now if you wanted to work with the black spinel, perfect for those August babies, because um, it is the August birthday now, if you wanted to create a tree of life, you would literally need about that much to create one tree of life. If you wanted to sell your tree of life for let's even just say £10, you've got on this entire strand the possibility to make 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 pounds, 70 pounds, 80, 90, 100, and 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I mean, it goes on and on and on and on and on. There is opportunity here to make the big bucks, to make big, big, big money here. I mean, it's mammoth. You could literally skip with it. And in fact, I seem to remember Dion doing that with a strand like this once. Um, <laughs> you have got here a very special opportunity indeed. Dion is, um, she's in. Go, go, go. You've got one minute. Skip with it. Yeah, but oh, yeah. she's trying to skip with it. This is Dion. I want to say hi to Isa and Musa. Hey, sorry. And Salima. Hello, lovely lot. We did promise you a shout out. It's Dion's birthday tomorrow, so this is the last time you're going to see her skip in her 20s. <laughs> Yikes. Go on. You got it. How much do you think you can do? You can do. 30 seconds you've got. Oh, go. Three. 
Now, if that isn't a reason to buy this strand, I have no idea what is. You have made a lot of people's day right there, Dion. <laughs> Right, everybody, thank you a lot for joining me. It's been, as always, a complete pleasure. Um, do stay tuned. The Late Show is coming up with more incredible makes. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. I will see you tomorrow with the wonderful Jan. Bye-bye.